Maximum Comprehension, Taking Care of Swords in a Sword Pavilion Chapter 1, Maximum Comprehension, Taking Care of Swords in a Sword Pavilion In the Tian Xian World Western Frontier Juxuan Mountain Outside the gates of Juxuan Sword Sect I have a high level of comprehension. Senior, please give me a chance. At the Azure White Jade Plaza, Han Wei grabbed the arm of the Deist priest in front of him and said in a low voice. When the Deist priest heard this, he flicked his sleeve and swept his gaze across the surroundings. After that, he laughed coldly and said, Take a look for yourself, who doesn't say that their level of comprehension is extraordinary here. Han Wei turned around and saw a cold and mocking expression. The Juxuan Sword Sect was one of the nine greatest sects in the Western Frontier. For anyone who came here to seek discipleship, which of them wouldn't be confident in their talent and level of comprehension? Han Wei felt at a loss. His level of comprehension was truly very high. The benefit of transmigrating from the earth to this world allowed him to attain the maximum level of comprehension. However, during the aptitude test previously, he was evaluated to have the most inferior ninth grade aptitude. A ninth grade aptitude meant that he had a useless spiritual core and he would not be able to reach the foundation level even after cultivating for a hundred years. No matter how good one's comprehension was, when paired with a useless cultivation aptitude, one would still be useless. Thus, he was mercilessly eliminated from joining the Juxuan Sword Sect. He had passed the check on his background, temperament, age, and other tests, yet he ultimately still failed at the last stage. The Tian Xian world was a world of cultivation. Mortals who could not cultivate were basically like ants. And as ants, they would not be looked at properly by the powerful beings. At this moment, no one at the plaza gave Han Wei another glance. The sun rose to the sky and then to the west. The people at the plaza were becoming fewer. Those with sufficient aptitude stepped through the doors to the sect happily. Those with poor aptitude had also left the mountain early while it was still daytime. And in their lifetimes, they would have to give up on their dream of cultivation. Han Wei clenched his fists tightly as he looked at the glowing mountain gate. He only wanted a chance. A chance to cultivate. As long as he was able to join the sect, he would absolutely be able to improve tremendously with his maximum comprehension. To join the Juxuan Sword Sect, he had waited for half a year. However, all his hopes had turned to naught. Should he turn to the other sects? After being turned down by the Juxuan Sword Sect because of his ninth grade aptitude, he would not be accepted by other sects either. Moreover, the other sects that he had set his eyes on were also thousands of miles away. Han Wei did not think that he would be able to make it to the neighboring sect without any cultivation abilities. Han Wei's eyes suddenly lit up as he looked around the plaza. He took a few steps forward and picked up a mahogany chair. This large chair was extremely heavy that it made him grimace in pain. However, he still tried his best to move it towards the mountain gate. Beside him, there were a few people in grey robes who were moving the tables and chairs that had been set up during the disciple recruitment event. Bam! Han Wei had just moved the chair to the mountain gate when a large hand landed on the huge chair he was carrying. The chair fell to the ground and Han Wei staggered. Kid, did you know? Without this robe, you don't even have the right to carry a chair. A burly man who was eight feet tall and as strong as a calf pointed at the grey robe on his body with a sneer, then he stretched out a hand to grab the large chair that Han Wei was carrying, turned around, and strode towards the mountain gate. Bah, what was so impressive about a handyman who was merely doing laborious work? It had to be said that it was indeed impressive. Han Wei quickly went forward and grabbed the leg of the chair. The burly man turned around with a ferocious look in his eyes. Kid, if you continue to cause trouble. His words were cut off by a flash of spiritual light from Han Wei's palm. It was half a piece of spiritual rock. Spiritual rocks were a common currency used by cultivators in the Tian Xian world. They were essential for cultivation, purchasing, traveling, and fighting. 
In the cultivation world, there were four essential elements, wealth, magic, companionship and land. Wealth was placed at the first. Han Wei glanced at the burly man. The burly man looked around and nodded slightly. The two of them pulled the large chair and came to a corner of the mountain gate. Big brother, I only wish to join the Juxuan sword sect. He had to come up with a reason to stay. Han Wei handed over half a spiritual rock in his hand, then lowered his voice and said, I've offended someone and they're waiting for me at the base of the mountain. I'll die if I go down. Tian Xian world was a place governed by rules, but it was not in the western frontier. In the western frontier, being powerful was the law. It was common to see that someone who had offended others being beaten to death. The burly man nodded and grabbed the half-spiritual rock that Han Wei handed over. Hmm. The man raised his head and looked at Han Wei, who was holding the spiritual rock tightly. Han Wei smiled and nodded. All right. I only earned this half-spiritual rock after setting up a stall at the base of the mountain and performing tricks for half a year. How could I hand it over so easily? In his previous life, he had made too many friends who did not do as they say after being paid. Now, Han Wei would not commit himself until he was certain of the agreement. The burly man looked at the half-spiritual rock in Han Wei's hand that he could neither hold nor pull out. He pondered for a moment and said in a low voice, You just want to enter the Juxuan sword sect, right? Han Wei quickly nodded. He didn't expect this burly fellow to be able to help him much. As long as he could enter the mountain gates. When he had entered, given his level of comprehension, he could stir up something as long as he had the chance. All right, the sword pavilion is short of a sword caretaker. I'll lead you there. Sword Pavilion? This name sounded really cool. Sword Caretaker? What kind of job was this? Following the burly man named El Yu Gao to carry the large chair, Han Wei finally fulfilled his wish and stepped into the mountain gate of Juxuan Sword Sect. Taking a deep breath, Han Wei felt as if there was a dense of spiritual energy penetrating through his chest, abdomen, heart, and lungs. This is the smell of spiritual energy. He narrowed his eyes and imagined that the spiritual energy was traveling through his meridians. Forget about it. On the Juxuan Mountain, only the secret territory at the back of the mountain has spiritual energy. Your breath here is no different from that at the base of the mountain. Also, not to mention your useless spiritual core, even a first grade and above heavenly spiritual core might not be able to sense the spiritual energy. El Yu Gao's words interrupted him. After placing the large chair in the storeroom, El Yu Gao led Han Wei towards a pavilion not far away along a mountain path. Under the afterglow of the setting sun, the pavilion seemed to be enveloped in a layer of golden light. El Yu Gao stopped at a distance from it. Here, this is the sword pavilion. Go to the entrance and look for someone called Huang Six. He will arrange for you to be a sword caretaker. As El Yu Gao spoke, he extended his hand again. Han Wei handed him the half spiritual rock, then cupped his hands and said, Big brother El Yu is kind. After I settle down in a few days, I'll treat you to a drink. El Yu Gao grinned. Go on. Go on. Han Wei strode toward the sword pavilion. Behind him, El Yu Gao brought the half spiritual rock to his mouth and bit it, then rubbed it twice on his face. Kind person? Can a kind person live long? Kid, I'm afraid I'll have to drink your wine after you are dead next time. As he muttered to himself, El Yu Gao put away the spiritual rock and turned to leave, as if he didn't even want to cast another gaze at the sword pavilion. Han Wei was already standing outside the sword pavilion. Looking up, the four-story building had a rare grandeur. When standing close, the sword pavilion seemed to be emitting a slight chill, causing one to shiver involuntarily. The pavilion is closed at sunset. According to the rules of the sword pavilion, you have to come tomorrow to collect your sword. Before Han Wei had even stepped onto the nine stone steps in front of the pavilion, an aged voice sounded from within the tightly shut door. Was this Huang Six? 
Han Wei stood outside the pavilion and cupped his fists, Senior, the labor hall arranged for me to be a sword caretaker here. As his voice stopped, the door creaked and opened. An old man with grizzled hair and a wrinkled and shriveled face looked at Han Wei and sized him up. Then, he said while squinting, the sword pavilion has a collection of 100,000 swords. The chi of the sword is rampant and can injure people. Without a cultivation base, you won't be able to live for more than a year here. Are you here to die? Chapter 2, Taking Care of Swords in the Sword Pavilion, Comprehension at a Glance Die? Even though he was mentally prepared, Han Wei was still shocked. Without a cultivation base, one would not live beyond a year. He knew that the Sword Pavilion wasn't an easy place to be in, but he didn't expect it would be this dangerous. After pondering for a moment, he looked at Huang Six and cupped his hands, Senior, I wonder if one can live beyond a year with a cultivation base. Within this period of one year, which month will there the sword chi harm the body? Senior, can you tell me what is so special about the sword chi? If I am careful enough, will I be able to survive a year? His consecutive question stunned Huang Six. He looked at Han Wei with a strange expression and said, Do you really want to be a sword caretaker? No. But there was no other way. Han Wei nodded. Huang Six grinned with his two big teeth missing. Come with me. He beckoned for Han Wei to enter the pavilion. The moment Han Wei entered the pavilion, he felt his hair stand on end suddenly. On the wooden shelves, there were an endless supply of long swords. Some of the long swords flickered with a dark and cold light as if they were about to devour someone. Some of them looked simple and ordinary, but they were like ferocious beasts that were hibernating. They might even hurt someone when unsheathed. In a dark corner from a distance, there was even a flash of light, as if a sword was about to fly out. A breeze of cold air seeped into his bones, making his teeth chatter uncontrollably. Not bad, you hadn't peed your pants after you came in. Huang Six glanced at Han Wei, then pointed at the countless swords in front of him and said, the sword caretaker's role is to watch these swords. These swords had to be watched. Han Wei was confused. The newly refined swords are still all right. Those that have been used and have remnant grievances might become bloodthirsty in the middle of the night. Don't you think such swords should be watched over? Huang Six grinned. His smile with missing teeth, accompanied by the gloomy sword light was somewhat terrifying. The swords were bloodthirsty. Han Wei starting feeling regrets taking on this job. However, as a sword caretaker in the sword pavilion, as long as you don't die, you will receive a monthly salary of ten spiritual rocks and enjoy the same benefits as the other disciples of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. If you don't die within ten years, you will become a manager of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect directly. If you don't die for six decades, he he. Han Wei didn't care about anything else that Huang Six said. With the salary of ten spiritual rocks and the benefits of the disciples, these were sufficient. With his maximum level of comprehension, he firmly believed that he could take on the path of cultivation. Are you tempted? Huang Six pointed to a small room at the side. The previous sword caretaker has just left for three days, you can stay in this room first. Han Wei walked into the room and saw that it was a quiet room with a wooden bed and a long table. As he was exhausted in the past few days, he lay down on the wooden bed and fell asleep immediately. When he woke up and walked out of the quiet room, the sky was already bright. Huang Six looked at him with a strange expression and led him to the small courtyard behind the pavilion to wash up. He then pointed at a few steamed buns on the stone table and said, Eat your breakfast. I'll help you get your waist token and clothes. Huang Six was quite helpful, so Han Wei cupped his hand and said, Thank you, Senior. Huang Six memorized Han Wei's name, background, and other information before walking out. After taking a few steps, he suddenly turned around and said, Don't call me Senior, I'm not much older than you. Han Wei, whose mouth was stuffed with steamed buns, froze on the spot. Even when Huang Six walked out of the sword pavilion, 
he was still in a daze. Huang Sik's body was hunched, his hair was white and even his teeth were gone. He was clearly getting old. But he said that he was only a few years older than him. Was this an injury caused by the sword chi from the sword pavilion? Suddenly, Han Wei felt that the steamed bun in his hand was hard to swallow. After transmigrating to the cultivation world, he was prepared to find a beautiful fairy to experience dual cultivation. He had not even started, and yet he was already going to become old like Huang Six. Wouldn't he be powerless? After hurriedly finishing his breakfast, Han Wei walked to the wooden rack filled with swords. Every sword looked extraordinary. They would definitely be priceless on earth. Han Wei grabbed the hilt of a long sword. He tightened his grip and pulled the sword with great force. Hmm. Seeing that there was no one around, he let go while his face had turned slightly flushed. It was embarrassing that he was unable to unsheathe the sword. Unwilling to give up, he tried a few more times. Han Wei refused to believe it and drew the sword one by one from the wooden rack. Clang! After trying a few wooden shelves, he pulled out a slender long sword. The clear sword light flashed like water. The blade was long and narrow, carrying a faint green light. Okay, sword. Han Wei's gaze landed on the sword's blade. He felt a loud sound in his head as an image flashed through his mind. In front of him, there seemed to be several craftsmen wielding hammers. With one strike after another, sparks flew everywhere. The sword was hammered until a shape formed. These burly men hit with all their might a million times, forming the shape of the iron. They quenched, polished, adjusted, and decorated the iron. Until a long sword was refined. A heavy hit of 38,251 times and a light hit of 86,513 times. Polished 5,620 times and quenched 9 times. The blade is 2.7 feet long and 1 inch wide. The sword weighs 4.3 kg. 9 revolutions tempering technique, 100 fold forging technique. Han Wei muttered to himself as his eyes sparkled. A breeze of an unnoticeable chi seeped into his body and then disappeared. Was this because of his maximum level of comprehension? With just a glance, the sword in his hand no longer had any secrets left. He had even learned two forging techniques. With such a cheat in his mind, would he still need to worry about not being able to cultivate? Han Wei returned the sword to its original position and grabbed the hilt of another sword. Without exerting any strength, he could already feel that he could pull out the sword. What are you doing? Are you tired of living? Before he could draw his sword, Huang Six's voice sounded. Han Wei released his hand and walked out from the wooden shelf. If you want to live longer, stay far away from these swords. Huang Six threw the clothes and waist token in front of Han Wei and said coldly, the previous sword caretaker was too inquisitive so he was sent away from the sword pavilion even before three months were up. Where did he go? Han Wei picked up the waist token to take a look, and then opened up the greenish-gray nine mystic sword sect disciples robe. Where did he go? Huang Six chuckled. He's dead. His blood and chi were sucked dry by a long sword. He left in a very unpeaceful manner. Speaking about this, he looked at Han Wei and said, Didn't you hear anything when you slept in his room last night? Han Wei's arm froze as he was tightening his belt. The swords in the sword pavilion were either newly forged, waiting for the disciples to come and collect them, or they are the swords brought back after the disciples of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect had died to await for their next master. The tens of thousands of swords in the first level of the sword pavilion were mostly ordinary swords. There were more than a thousand swords in the second level of the sword pavilion and even the lowest grade was classified as a spiritual level. As for the third floor, Huang Six did not introduce it to him. No outsiders were allowed in the sword pavilion every day. Huang Six, who was actually only in his thirties, told Han Wei the general situation of the sword pavilion. There are a total of twelve areas on the first floor of the sword pavilion. There are about 3,000 swords in each area. We sword caretakers have to clean one area every month. 
In a year's time, all the swords have to be cleaned at least once. All swords have to be placed under the sun every 6th of June. At all other times, you should avoid the swords if you can. When the pavilion door closed at night, Huang Six patted Han Wei's shoulder and said, You're quite an interesting fellow. I hope you can live beyond three months. As he lay on the wooden bed, Han Wei's mind alternated between the image of the sword being forged and the story of the long sword sucking blood that sixth brother Huang told him. In the half darkness, he suddenly heard a soft call. Gentlemen, do you want dual cultivation? Chapter 3 Rules of Collecting Swords from the Swords Pavilion Dual Cultivation? Is it for real? Is she beautiful? Han Wei opened his eyes and was disappointed. In front of him, there was only a three foot long sword that had a dim sword light. He sighed, rolled over, and went back to sleep. Sword. With a jolt, he jumped to his feet, all traces of sleep gone. Gentlemen, do you want dual cultivation? The elegant, indifferent voice came again. Han Wei curled up on the wooden bed and said softly, If I dual cultivate with a sword, won't I become a slut? You see me as a sword, the elegant voice exclaimed. Black iron as the blade. The blade is two feet eight inches. The hilt has a bronze cloud pattern with three streaks of blood veins intertwined. The sword weighs four kilograms, and the blade is half an inch deep. The body of the sword is forged using the method of Thousand Hammers refinement. The method of quenching is... Han Wei suddenly paused. An image appeared before him. The well-tempered sword was clamped with iron tongs and slowly inserted into the heart of a young girl in green clothes. It was tempered using the blood in the heart of a young girl. This method is not a righteous forging technique. Han Wei muttered softly. He learnt the blood refinement technique. The sword trembled slightly. Traces of sword light trembled on it, as if there was an emotional fluctuation. Then the blade turned and stabbed at Han Wei's chest. At that moment, an old cough came from next door. The sword clattered to the wooden bed. What are you doing in the middle of the night? Go sleep, came Huang Six's voice. Han Wei, who had broken out in a cold sweat, reached out and grabbed the hilt of the sword in front of him. Boom! Images appeared in his mind. The sword light came from the sword in the hands of a white-robed young man and it was like a swimming dragon. Every sword light carried an explosive cold light. Blood bloomed on the blade. They were lives being reaped. Yuner, hand over Yuner. The young man roared, the sword in his hand so fast that only flashes of its shadow could be seen. He fought his way from the foot of the mountain to the top and was finally blocked by an old man in a linen robe. Hee hee, the eighth of the nine mystic sword sect is indeed capable. Coldness flashed across the old man's face. He held a long-handled saber in front of him. It's her you're looking for, isn't it? The old man raised his hand and pointed ahead. There was a young girl in green, her face covered in tears. She looked at the young man and shook her head continuously. Yuner! Let go of my sister! The young man roared and took flight. However, his figure was stopped by a short sword at the girl's neck. Ji Yuan, hand over the sword in your hand. Otherwise, you'll only get her body said the masked man standing beside the girl. Brother, leave now. Don't care about me. Tears streamed down the girl's face. Don't you want this mystic sun sword? The young man named Ji Yuan glanced at the old man in linen clothes, then looked at the man in black in front of him and said, just take it. He raised his hand and threw his sword. The moment he threw the sword, the old man flew out and slashed at his head. The young man, who had no sword in his hand, was forced to retreat. In the end, he fell off the cliff. After Ji Yuan fell off the cliff, the green-robed girl's eyes were filled with despair. The masked man in black took a step forward and reached out to grab the sword that Ji Yuan had thrown. His eyes were cold. This isn't the Mystic Sun Sword. How is that possible? Without the Mystic Sun Sword, 
how could he kill the snow spirit fox? The old man's expression changed. Could it be that he really relied on his talent for sword cultivation? Snorting, the masked man in black grabbed the girl in green and walked away. The scene after that showed a repeat of the scene of the girl's blood at her heart being used for refining the sword. However, what was tempered was the sword that Ji Yuan had thrown over. The sword that had killed the demonic fox was reforged and tempered with the girl's blood. This sword contained the slyness of a demonic fox and the resentment of a young girl. Therefore, this sword could suck a person's blood and chi. The scene in front of Han Wei dissipated, and an aura entered his body from the sword. Unlike the faint aura in the sword during the day, this time, the aura in the sword was deep. It flowed along the meridians in his entire body and finally returned to a calm state. He could feel a subtle change in his body, but he couldn't point it out. Mystic Element Sword Technique, First Leaf He closed his eyes. The sword technique that Ji Yuan was practicing finally came to a still and turned into a repetitive sword movement. This move was called First Leaf. Why is this sword in the sword pavilion? Is Ji Yuan alive or dead? Looking at the sword in his hand, Han Wei was filled with questions. When he walked out of the room the next day, Huang Six met Han Wei. He looked him up and down, his face full of suspicion. Not bad. You weren't drained out of energy last night. In front of him, Han Wei was in high spirits and didn't look tired at all. Han Wei smiled and cupped his hands. Thank you for saving me, brother. The sword. Just send the sword back later. Huang Six waved his hand. As he walked, he muttered, looks like he's tough. He might really be able to stay in the sword pavilion for a long time. In the morning, Huang Six instructed Han Wei to guard the sword pavilion while he went down the mountain to get some wine. According to Huang Six, if he did not drink some wine, he would not be able to sleep at night. After Huang Six left, Han Wei looked at the swords on the wooden shelves, his eyes shining. He walked over, reached for the hilt of a long sword, and drew gently. Unlike the sword from the day before, which did not move at all, the sword was pulled out with a clang. The blade flashed coldly. A sense of closeness came from the sword. This feeling was extremely mysterious. It all came from the aura that had poured into his body last night. It was as if this aura was circulating in his body, and the long sword treated him as family. The sword is three feet one inch long and weighs six kilograms. The blade is four inches wide and two inches thick. It was refined with the thousand hammering technique and quenched with thousand year freezing lake water. Holding the sword, Han Wei gently extended his arm. Swoosh! The edge of the sword shook, as if a green leaf was fluttering and had nowhere to land so it was swirling. Before this fallen leaf, the opponent had nowhere to exert his strength and could not capture any traces of it. Mystic Element Sword Technique, First Leaf This was the sword technique that Han Wei had comprehended from the sword the previous night. Because I have maximum level comprehension, not only can I comprehend this move, but I can also see through the concept of this move. Therefore, I can make this move more unpredictable than Ji Yuan. Han Wei could feel that even Ji Yuan couldn't use his sword. Unfortunately, he had no cultivation base and only had sword techniques. If he really wanted to fight someone, the other party would probably have already cut his sword off before he could even attack. None of the martial arts in the world were invincible. Only speed was invincible. Without the support of cultivation base, one's speed and strength could not be unleashed at all. However, there was no hurry to cultivate. Since he had already entered the Nine Mystic Sword sect, why would he be afraid of not having a chance to cultivate? Returning the sword to its sheath, Han Wei reached for the hilt of the other sword. Long swords were drawn one after another, and he could see all the secrets hidden in them. Unknowingly, faint auras fused into his body. He had also comprehended several ways to forge swords. These swords were unused, and there was no trace of their owner's cultivation. Perhaps he could gain something from the swords that someone had used? 
Han Wei looked up and walked toward the wooden shelves. In the morning, he had placed the sword from the room at the position in front of him. There should be traces of use around the sword. Disciple Zhang Han has come to the sword pavilion to retrieve a long sword. Suddenly, a voice came from the entrance of the sword pavilion. A disciple retrieving a sword. This was one of the main businesses in the sword pavilion. According to Huang VI, it was also the business with the most profits. Han Wei turned around and walked to the door of the pavilion, bowed his head, and said casually, according to the rules of the sword pavilion, before retrieving the sword, you have to take a bath and change out of your clothes first, then burn incense, meditate and eat only vegetarian food for ten days. To retrieve a sword. After a pause, he waved his hand and said, come in. The green-robed disciple standing at the bottom of the stone steps opened his hands. In his palms were three sparkling spiritual rocks. Chapter 4, Comprehending the Mystic Element Sword Technique, Lone Wood Name Zhang Han Why are you retrieving the sword? Eighth senior brother Ji Yuan had disappeared for a year. According to the sex rules, other than his position as the top 100, I am the 101st in the outer section. Now, he had replaced to become the 100th in the outer sect. According to the rules of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect, the top 100 outer sect disciples were qualified to receive a 100 refinement long sword. 100 th in the outer sect, Han Wei muttered, closing the book in front of him. The Nine Mystic Sword Sect was one of the nine sects of the Western Frontier. It was an overlord and controlled everything within a radius of hundreds of thousands of kilometers. A one hundredth in the outer sect was nothing. However, these one hundred outer sect disciples also stood out from the tens of thousands of outer sect disciples. There were still nearly one hundred thousand servants from the various halls underneath them. Above the outer sect were nearly ten thousand inner sect disciples, hundreds of elite disciples, and dozens of direct disciples. These were only the disciples. There were even the managers, hall masters, elders, and other experts. In that case, Han Wei, who did not have any cultivation base and had a crippled spiritual core, was probably at the bottom of the entire Nine Mystic Sword sect. I'm ashamed. I was only lucky to enter the top 100 of the outer section. Hearing Han Wei mutter, Zhang Han blushed and said softly. As he spoke, he took out two more spiritual rocks and placed them on the table. He was the last of the 100 outer sect disciple in the sword pavilion. Five spiritual rocks in one go? Han Wei collected the spiritual rocks, leaving them without a trace. The young man was quite virtuous. Han Wei laughed, then pointed at the wooden shelf in front of him. Go choose a sword. Hearing Han Wei's words, Zhang Han finally looked happy. He had long heard that if the sword caretaker was satisfied, he would be able to obtain a good sword from the sword pavilion. If the sword caretaker was not satisfied, even if he had thrown a piece of scrap metal at you, you would have no reason to argue. Who dared to say that the swords in the sword pavilion were broken? Zhang Han quickly walked to the wooden shelves. He reached out and touched this and that sword, but he didn't dare to really draw any of them. Cultivators valued sword affinity. If he pulled out the swords one by one and put them back, he would be offending the swords. The other swords would not become close to him either. Han Wei didn't rush him. He put the five spiritual rocks in his pocket, feeling the substantial weight of them. He had only earned half a spiritual rock from setting up the stall for half a year. Now, he had earned five spiritual rocks just from a disciple who had come to retrieve his sword. The sword caretaker's job was really lucrative. Han Wei was wondering when he should invite El Yu Gao, who had helped him get this job, to drink. He turned around and saw that Zhang Han had not picked his sword yet. He picked up the small hammer on the table and knocked it on the small bronze bell. Hearing the bell, Zhang Han sighed slightly and took a few steps back reluctantly. He picked up a sword that he had taken a fancy to earlier. The bell Han Wei rang was both to limit the time disciples could spend choosing their swords and to protect them. According to Huang VI, 
these disciples who came to choose swords had all cultivated good sword techniques, so they should protect their sword chi. There was a mix of sword chi in the sword pavilion. If these disciples stayed there for too long, the sword chi would affect their cultivation. This was also the reason why the sword pavilion's sword caretaker was not chosen among the disciples. If a cultivator stayed in the sword pavilion for too long, their cultivation skills would be crippled. Zhang Han held the sword and handed it to Han Wei. The sword caretaker had to register every sword that had been taken away. After receiving the sword back, Han Wei gripped the hilt and drew gently. Clang! The sword came out of its sheath, emitting a green and cold light. There was a small seal inscription on the blade. Light shadow, Zhang Han said softly. A trace of joy flashed across his face. A sword that had its name was considered a good quality item. Number 39587 The sword's name is Light Shadow. After registering, Han Wei paused and said in a low voice, The sword is 3 feet, 5 inches, and 7 centimeters long. It weighs 7 kilograms, worth 6 tails and 7 coins. The blade is an inch and a half wide, and the spine is 3 inches thick. Zhang Han looked at Han Wei in surprise. Just by gripping it, the sword caretaker in front of him could tell all the information about this light shadow sword. When Han Wei handed the sword back, Zhang Han pulled it out and examined it carefully. He gently twirled his sword and brandished a few familiar sword moves. He felt that what Han Wei said was really true. It was said that the sword pavilion's sword caretaker was mysterious and strange. It seemed that it was true. Zhang Han sheathed his sword, cupped his hands at Han Wei, and turned to walk out of the sword pavilion. As long as he walked out the door, the sword was his. Wait a minute. Suddenly, Han Wei's voice came from behind. Zhang Han tightened his grip on his sword and turned to look nervously at Han Wei. Senior, is there any other procedures that haven't been completed? He had been given five spiritual rocks and the sword had been transferred to his hands. Zhang Han thought that he would not be dealing with the sword pavilion's sword caretaker for a long time. I think you'd better change your sword. Han Wei looked at Zhang Han and spoke indifferently. Why? Zhang Han frowned. Five spiritual rocks was more than half of an outer sect disciple's fortune. Spiritual rocks were usually needed for cultivation. No one would complain about having too many. Could it be that the sword caretaker in front of him wanted to extort another sum? The sword moves you are practicing does not align with the sword properties. This sword is a little heavy for you. Han Wei sat at the long table, tapping his fingers on the surface. Heavy. Holding his sword, Zhang Han sensed it slightly, and his expression changed. A sword was a matter of life and death for a cultivator. If Han Wei hadn't pointed it out, he really wouldn't have noticed that the sword was a little heavy for him. He felt a little heavy as he weighed it in his hand. And given your height and arm length, you should have used a three-foot-one sword. This one is too long. Too long. Holding the sword tightly, Zhang Han's palm trembled slightly. No wonder his movements were slightly deformed when he sheathed his sword. Originally, he only thought that it was because the sword was not used to him. He recalled what the outer sect sword technique instructor had said when he first entered the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. The sword was the second life of a cultivator. He had to coexist with it. Only by understanding his sword could he live long. He thought that after he had cultivated for several years and was in the top 100 of the outer sect, he was a person who knew swords. But when Han Wei reminded him, he broke out in cold sweat. He was like a fool who didn't know anything. Zhang Han took out the remaining five spiritual rocks from his pocket and bowed to Han Wei. Senior, please teach me more. He was a little stupid, but he was quite sensible. Han Wei put away the five spiritual rocks, then pointed at the wooden shelf in front of him. Third row, seventh sword, King He. Zhang Han quickly walked over and put the light shadow sword back. Then, he found the third row and reached out to hold the seventh sword. 
The sword is 3 feet and 1 inch long and weighs 5 kilograms. The blade has two sides and blood grooves. When you swing it, it produces a scream in the air. It's perfect for your sword move. As Han Wei's voice came through, Zhang Han slowly drew his sword. With his hand on the hilt of his sword, he felt his blood connect with it. There was no need to look. This sword was what he wanted. Your sword technique focuses on the opponent's chest, abdomen, and neck. When you attack, you need to be three times faster. You can't draw back your sword directly. You have to stretch it out. And remember, when you draw your sword, you have a habit of thumbing the hilt. It's a deadly mistake. Han Wei leaned back in his big chair and said casually, Consider this a gift. Zhang Han gripped his sword tightly and bowed to Han Wei before gently leaving the sword pavilion. After walking down from the steps, he straightened his back and heaved a long sigh of relief. He narrowed his eyes and looked at the bright word sword pavilion above his head. These ten spiritual rocks are really worth it today. Zhang Han's eyes flashed with surprise. Even the seniors of the inner sect can't tell me the weakness of my sword move but this sword caretaker actually saw through it at a glance. I've always felt that my sword strike wasn't smooth, but I couldn't find the reason. It turns out that my hand position was wrong when I attacked. Zhang Han turned around and strode away. An indescribable battle intent rose from his body. I'm confident that I can enter the top 80 of the outer sect after I practice even more intensely. In the sword pavilion, Han Wei closed his eyes slightly, and sword lights circulated in his mind. The swordsman still looked like Zhang Han, but the sword light was countless times stronger. Mystic Element Sword Technique, Lone Wood After comprehending another sword technique, Han Wei's lips curled up slightly. He liked the job of a sword caretaker. Chapter 5, We Sword Cultivators Are Invincible Among Our Peers At Noon Huang Six returned with a gourd that could hold one and a half kilograms of wine. As soon as he entered the sword pavilion, he scurried to the long table, his movements extremely agile. On the long table were three spiritual rocks. Reaching out to rub the spirit stones, Huang Six grinned and said, Little Han, you're really something. You've only been in the sword pavilion for a while, but you've already received spiritual rocks. As he spoke, he stuffed a spiritual rock into his pocket and pushed the other two in front of Han Wei. The unwritten rule of the sword pavilion was that if there were any gains, the sword caretakers would split it 30 to 70. Currently, there were only Han Wei and Huang Six. Han Wei received 10 spiritual rocks and gave Huang Six three. Keep it. You'll have to use it soon. Hearing his words, Han Wei smiled and shook his head. These are all yours, brother. I've already taken my share. He had taken his share? The three pieces on the table weren't all of them? Ten spiritual rocks? Which idiot Huang Six eyes widened as he looked at Han Wei. He lowered his voice and said, It better not be some elder, direct disciple, or inner sect elite. It's not good to take these people's spiritual rocks. Previously, Huang Six had told Han Wei about the rules of the sword pavilion. It was fine to ask for some benefits, but he had to be observant. Putting aside the elders in the sect, the direct disciples of the sword sect and the elite disciples of the inner sect all had bright futures. If he had extorted these people's spiritual rocks, they might cause trouble when they became successful. Although most sword caretakers did not live long, but if they did, they might suffer the punishment afterwards. Hearing Huang Six's words, Han Wei waved his hand with a smile and opened the book in front of him. 100 th from the outer sect, Zhang Han. 100 th from the outer sect? You can even scrape off ten spiritual rocks from such a fellow, Huang Six kept all the spiritual rocks on the table and muttered a few words before carrying the wine gourd into his hut. When he reached the door, he turned around and said, I'll guard the sword pavilion this afternoon. It'll be good for you to take a look outside. At this point, he paused and said, you can buy two body strengthening pills from the medical hall with seven spiritual rocks. 
This pill can strengthen your muscles and bones. You can also live for a few more days under the effects of the sword chi. All right, thank you, brother. Han Wei smiled and cupped his hands. Seeing Huang Six shake his head and walk away, Han Wei didn't know if it was because he really cared about him or if he wanted to guard the sword pavilion in the afternoon and see if he could catch a fat sheep or two. However, leaving the sword pavilion was exactly what Han Wei wanted. He did not enter the Nine Mystic Sword Sect to waste his time in the sword pavilion. After lunch at the nearest cafeteria, Han Wei did not return to the sword pavilion. There were hundreds of thousands of people in the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. The Nine Mystic Mountain stretched for hundreds of kilometers and was divided into areas. There were more than a thousand dining halls for disciples to eat in. Nearly 100,000 servants were there to take care of the disciples' living. Han Wei did not immediately go to the medical hall that Huang Laoliu had mentioned. Instead, he asked around along the way and found the training hall where the new disciples cultivated. The outer sect disciples did not have their own masters. They all cultivated in various training halls. After three years, those with outstanding aptitude could then enter the inner sect. Of course, three years was the minimum duration. The longest duration could be eight to ten years spent in the outer sect, or even a lifetime as a green-robed outer sect disciple. When Han Wei arrived at the training hall, there were already two or three young disciples practicing martial arts and tempering their bones. There were all kinds of stone locks, chains, and long and short weapons in the arena. Not all disciples of the Nine Mystic Sword sect practiced with the sword, as other weapons were not prohibited. Han Wei glanced at these disciples and shook his head slightly. Messy. Their moves were lousy, but their learning was even worse. He had no interest in such things. Instructor Lin is here. He had only turned halfway around when the noise from the arena reached him. A burly man in a grey robe strode over. The big man was dressed in a grey martial suit. He had a bronze face and thick limbs. He carried a large sword on his back. He walked straight to the stone steps of the limestone arena and sat down. The group of new disciples hurriedly sat cross-legged in front of him, puffed out their chests, and looked straight ahead. Han Wei found a place to sit down. I taught you the basics yesterday. You have to practice hard and train your muscles and bones. Today, I'll teach you a sword technique. When they heard that he was going to teach them the sword technique, everyone's eyes lit up. Didn't they come to the Nine Mystic Sword Sect just to learn the sword techniques? Han Wei also sat up slightly. Ahem, before I teach you swordsmanship. I have to introduce you to the history of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. After a light cough, Instructor Lin straightened up, his expression solemn. Han Wei knew that this was the inevitable process before all the sects imparted their skills. Ideological shaping, the condensation of sect honor, and the nurturance of collective consciousness were more important than teaching swordsmanship. Otherwise, no matter how good the cultivation technique was, how could he deal with it if they all became ingrates? Instructor Lin's voice was loud and clear as he passionately introduced the glorious achievements of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. When the disciples below heard this, they were almost cheering. Based on what Han Wei had heard, the Nine Mystic Sword Sect was quite impressive. In the western border of the Heavenly Mystic World, among the top nine sects, the Nine Mystic Sword Sect was ranked third in terms of Sword Dao. The western frontier was countless kilometers in radius, and there were as many sects as there were hairs on an ox. To be able to become one of the top sects, its capability could be seen. Cultivation in the world was divided into three realms and nine heavens, the human realm, the earth realm, and the heaven realm. There were three small cultivation realms in each realm. There were several heaven realm experts in the nine mystic sword sect. Do you think sword cultivators are the same as ordinary martial arts cultivation? Instructor Lin's face was filled with arrogance. He looked around and shouted, We sword cultivators are invincible among our peers. Invincible among peers. Such bold words really made the new disciples' blood boil. 
They wished they could learn sword moves now and be invincible among their peers. When the Sword Dao experts of Nine Mystic Sword Sect walk out, they can fight one against many and are respectfully called Sword Immortals. The burly instructor Lin spread his legs and stood on the stone steps, looking up proudly. Of course. Sword Dao is also one of the most difficult cultivation methods in the world. He slowly pulled out the sword on his back. There seemed to be a strange aura circulating around Instructor Lin. The nine mystic sword sex sword techniques are divided into five elements. It starts from the mystic element sword technique, up to the nine mystic sword technique. There are a total of ten grades. Today, I'll teach you a move. Mystic element sword technique, rock shattering. With that, he raised his sword and slashed it down hard. Boom. The stone railing in front of the limestone arena cracked and split in half. Gravel flew everywhere, scaring the new disciples sitting in front of him into scrambling and fleeing in panic. Instructor Lin laughed and held the sword horizontally, the hilt facing forward. Did you comprehend it after seeing it? Who's going to demonstrate? Comprehend. Demonstrate. The disciples shook their heads. They had been too busy watching the performance to understand how the sword came down. Instructor Lin frowned and was about to speak when he suddenly heard someone speak. Instructor Lin, I want to try. He turned to see Han Wei striding forward, his hand rising to lightly grasp the hilt of the great sword he held out. Chapter 6, Medical Hall, Comprehending the Mystic Fire Alchemy Technique As his fingers touched the hilt of the sword, Information directly entered Han Wei's mind. The refined iron heavy sword was four feet long and weighed 40 kilograms. This heavy sword was not forged. Instead, it was created from grinding materials and then polished. This sword was crudely made, but the material used was good. It was high-quality iron and was expensive. Narrowing his eyes slightly, an image of a shirtless man brandishing a sword flashed in front of Han Wei. When we practice the sword, we pay attention to how hard work can make up for our shortcomings. The Nine Mystic Sword Sect has five lineages being passed on the five elements metal, wood, water, fire, and earth. Among them, the sword technique of the earth lineage emphasizes weight and stability. Draw a million swords and shatter a mountain. This burly man was Instructor Lin. Boom! The sword shattered a piece of limestone. Instructor Lin laughed. Draw a million swords. Soon, I'll be invincible among my peers. Mystic Element Sword Technique, Rock Shattering. Mystic One Sword Technique, Mountain Crusher. The Mystic One Sword Technique was already the highest level of sword technique cultivated by the Outer Sect disciples of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. After comprehending two sword techniques, a thick aura poured into Han Wei's body causing his body to tremble slightly. This time, he clearly felt the existence of the power that traveled through his meridians. Could this be the spiritual energy from cultivation? But he did not cultivate any technique at all. Han Wei tightened his grip on his sword hilt. Ahem, um, this sword is heavy. Instructor Lin looked at Han Wei's figure and said nervously. In the next moment, Han Wei had already raised his sword with one hand. With the strange power circulating in his body, Han Wei realized that he didn't need much strength to hold the sword. The sword was held high. His back arched slightly, and the force extended from his feet to the blade. This was the trick to summoning the rock-shattering sword technique. Only by circulating all the strength in his body could he destroy mountains and rocks. Um, don't break my sword. Instructor Lin rubbed his hands and reminded him softly. Wu. Before he could finish, Han Wei had already slashed down. The sword slashed into the air, causing the wind to whistle. The new disciples sitting in front turned pale and subconsciously retreated. By the time they came back to their senses, Han Wei had handed the sword back. Instructor Lin, how's my strike? Han Wei cupped his hands. This attack, Instructor Lin hesitated, then nodded. Very good. Very good. He looked at Han Wei, then lowered his voice. 
What's your name? My name is Han Wie. I'm the Sword Pavilion's sword caretaker. Han Wie smiled, cupped his hands, and turned to leave. This was all Instructor Lin could do. There was no point in staying. Sword caretaker. Instructor Lin was stunned. Only when Han Wie had walked far away did he say with a confused expression, to be able to comprehend 50% of the essence of the mystic element sword technique just by watching it once, how can such a genius be a sword caretaker? After leaving the training hall, Han Wie headed for the medical hall. It seemed that the outer sect disciples could not learn any real skills. If he wanted to learn, he would probably have to go to the inner sect to take a look. When he returned, he would ask Huang Six about the inner sect. The medical hall was not nearby. Han Wie walked for an hour before he smelled a burning smell mixed with the fragrance of medicine. He crossed the foot of the mountain and saw a series of low bamboo buildings. That was the medical hall. The medical hall wasn't built with bricks because the place was prone to fire. If it was built with masonry, reconstruction would be too much trouble. If it was built with bamboo, they won't feel much heartache if it was burnt down and had to be rebuilt. There were already many disciples at the entrance of the medical hall. Some were there to buy pills, while others were medical hall disciples selling pills. Han Wie stepped forward and explained his intentions. A medical hall disciple in a green and grey robe led him into the bamboo building. Which senior has a body strengthening pill for sale? This senior wants two body strengthening pills. The leading medical hall disciple shouted at the top of their lungs causing the alchemy disciples who were wandering around the furnace to raise their heads slightly. Body strengthening pills? That stuff isn't used much so I've never refined one. I don't have a body strengthening pill. Do you want a spirit concentration pill? Only disciples training earth element skills would use the body strengthening pill. Not many people usually buy this pill. Among the five lineage of sword cultivators in the nine mystic sword sect, four of them focused on agility and speed. Only the earth lineage sought strength and stability. Body strengthening pills were usually only useful to their lineage. None of the medical hall disciples in the room had body strengthening pills. You want two body strengthening pills? I'll help you refine them for six spiritual rocks. How about that? A female cultivator in her twenties looked up at Han Wie. This female cultivator had delicate features and pure eyes. She sat there cross-legged like a green lotus. Junior, you don't often refine body strengthening pills. If you waste a few more furnaces of spiritual herbs, the gains won't make up for the losses, someone beside the female cultivator whispered. Sister Mu Wan, why are you doing this again? Cultivation is all about opportunities. If he can't buy a body strengthening pill, it means that his opportunity hasn't arrived. Not far away, a deist in his thirties frowned and said in a deep voice. The others chimed in. Hee hee, then since he encountered me refining pills today, doesn't that mean that his opportunity has arrived? The female cultivator stood up and waved her hand, putting away the foot-tall bronze pill furnace in front of her. Let's go get the herbs. Holding the pill furnace in one hand, the female cultivator waved at Han Wie and walked towards the corridor on the side of the bamboo building. My name is Mu Wan. What's your name? Are you an earth lineage disciple? As they walked, the female cultivator asked. I'm Han Wie, the sword pavilion's sword caretaker, Han Wie said. Sword caretaker. Mu Wan stopped in her tracks and turned around sizing up Han Wie with a strange expression. Everyone says that sword caretakers are abnormal existence in the sect. But I don't see anything strange about you. After muttering a few words, Mu Wang continued walking forward. In front of them was the place to collect spiritual herbs. Mu Wang quickly collected three batches of nine types of spiritual herbs to refine the body strengthening pill, which cost a total of three spiritual rocks. Look. I am really not trying to profit from your spiritual rocks. Mu Wan asked Han Wie to help carry the spiritual herbs as she spoke. I understand. Han Wie nodded and said softly, 
I'll buy body strengthening pills from you from now on. Hearing his words, Mu Wan laughed and led him to a secluded spot. Are you going to wait here while I refine pills, or are you going to look elsewhere? Mu Wan sat cross legged as the cauldron floated up in front of her. A flame rose from her left palm. Was this alchemy? Han Wei curiously took a few steps back and watched Mu Wan refine pills. The flames heated up the pill furnace, causing steam to rise from it. At this moment, Mu Wan began to pour the first spiritual herb into the pill furnace. This was a spiritual herb that was thick to the roots. As soon as it was thrown into the pill furnace, a bitter smell spread out. Mu Wan spun the pill furnace with one hand and continuously threw various spiritual herbs into it with the other. Some of these spiritual herbs were tree roots, some were grass and leaves, and some were directly made of limestone. The nine spiritual herbs were thrown into the cauldron in different order. Then, the flames kept changing in size. Mu Wan began to carefully rotate the pill furnace. In Han Wei's opinion, this was to allow the medicinal power of the spiritual herbs inside to fuse. Bam! Suddenly, the cauldron shook with a dull thud. Mu Wan's face stiffened. Then, with a depressed expression, she stopped spinning the cauldron and lifted the lid. A charred smell wafted over. I'm indeed out of practice. I wasted a furnace of spiritual herbs. If I waste another batch of this, I'm going to lose money. After pouring out the pill dregs, Mu Wan began to refine pills again. Han Wei closed his eyes slightly, and images circulated in his mind. He had comprehended the mystic fire alchemy technique. He comprehended the refinement method of the body strengthening pill. Opening his eyes, he looked at Mu Wan, who had already thrown the seventh spiritual herb into the cauldron. Han Wei suddenly said, Wait. Clear the yarrow first. Otherwise, this batch will still be wasted. Chapter 7, Fine Quality Pills, Ultimately Not a Person Who Relies on Looks for a Living. Hearing Han Wei's words, Mu Wan paused and looked up at him. Brother Han, have you learned alchemy before? Han Wei shook his head. He had never learned it. Mu Wan smiled and said, Then brother, how dare you advise me in alchemy? She known for being an alchemy genius among the younger generation of the Nine Mystic Sword sect. If not for the fact that the Nine Mystic Sword sect's alchemy was not considered well in one, her reputation would have been even more resounding. Now, a sword caretaker who had never refined pills before was telling her that her method of refining pills was wrong. Wasn't that a complete joke? Or was the person in front of her deliberately attracting her attention? It will be on me if this furnace of ingredients are wasted. Han Wei raised his hand and placed six spiritual rocks on the stone platform in front of him, then placed another spiritual rock aside. Mu Wan frowned. Is this guy for real? Other things could be faked, but not spiritual rocks. They were all low-level cultivators, and their spiritual rocks did not come from nowhere. All right. Frowning. She raised her hand and exchanged the spiritual herb in her hand for a green spiritual herb before throwing it into the pill furnace. After that, Han Wei did not speak again. He waited for Mu Wan to throw all the spiritual herbs into the pill furnace, and then began to gently rotate the pill furnace. A dim spiritual light flashed in her hand. Han Wei watched enviously. This was a cultivator who had condensed spiritual energy. Huang Six had told him that the cultivation realm was divided into the three realms heaven, earth, and man. The human realm cultivates essence energy, condenses qi, and builds the foundation. The earth realm is able to sense the origin, awaken the spirit and condense the core. The heaven realm births the essence energy and forms the soul. To be able to condense one's own spiritual energy meant that she had surpassed the first phase of essence energy cultivation and had reached the second stage of the human realm of qi condensation. One's body would gather the spiritual energy and temporarily leave from their mortal body. Han Wei had comprehended a few sword techniques, had just comprehended the method of alchemy, and knew a lot of sword forging methods. However, without cultivation techniques and a cultivation base, 
these abilities were just like water without roots. Although he had maximum level of comprehension, he firmly believed that he lacked an opportunity to cultivate. However, the burden of a useless spiritual core made him feel a little less confident. Hum. The pill furnace shook. Mu Wan raised her hand and beckoned. Two bean-sized pills flew out of the pill furnace. Reaching out to catch it, a trace of joy flashed across Mu Wan's face. Two of them. Logically speaking, a furnace of spiritual herbs could only refine one pill. If she refined two pills, she would save a furnace of spiritual herbs. This was equivalent to earning an amount of spiritual rocks equivalent to a furnace of spiritual herb. Mu Wan looked at the pill in her palm with surprise. The quality of this pill was much better than the ones that she had refined in the past. Alchemy pills were also like cultivation spiritual cores, from unranked to first grade. However, in addition to the rank of the pill, it also mattered whether the medicinal strength was pure and the condensation was just right. This would determine the pill quality. It could be either inferior, ordinary, fine or supreme. Ordinary pills could be divided into these four qualities. As for whether there were other qualities, it was unheard of in the world and impossible to verify. Inferior pills were mostly poisonous and not suitable for consumption. Most of the pills refined by ordinary alchemy cultivators were ordinary. Fine quality pills required skill. As for the supreme quality, that was something that could only be chanced upon by luck. If the quality of a low-grade medicinal pill was good enough, it could completely compare to a high-grade medicinal pill. For example, the supreme quality ninth-grade pill's medicinal strength was even much richer and purer than ordinary eighth-grade pills of the same attribute. The higher the quality of the pill, the purer the medicinal power contained, and the fewer impurities. A fine quality one, hey. Mu Wan muttered softly and handed the two pills to Han Wei reluctantly. Although the body strengthening pill was only a ninth grade pill, but it was a fine quality one and was considered good. However, Han Wei had entrusted her to refine this pill, and he had even given her pointers during the refinement process. Mu Wan wanted to keep the pill for herself, but she was not so thick skinned. Are these pills? After receiving the two bean like body strengthening pills, Han Wei sighed with emotion. No matter where he went, anything that could be eaten was not cheap. And the smaller it was, the more precious it was. Seven spiritual rocks just for this little thing. If Mu Wan knew what Han Wei was thinking, she would probably cry. The price of a fine quality body strengthening pill was five times that of an ordinary body strengthening pill. Now that she had given it to Han Wei at the price of an ordinary body strengthening pill, he was still displeased. Who was the one who'd lost out? Sister, I'll leave first. Putting away the pills, Han Wei cupped his hands at Mu Wan. It was not good to keep watching others refine pills. Mu Wan nodded, then looked at Han Wei and said, Brother Han, you said that you've never learned alchemy. Why were you able to point out that the order of the two spiritual herbs in my body strengthening pill was wrong? I knew you'd ask. Han Wei laughed, then said, I don't know much about alchemy, but as a sword caretaker, I do know a little about forging swords. If it's too hard, it won't last long. If it's brittle, it can't be bent. There should be some similarities between sword refinement and pill refinement. With that, he turned and walked out of the bamboo building. The place was not close to the sword pavilion. He had to get back before dark. If it's too hard, it won't last long. If it's brittle, it can't be bent, Mu Wan muttered as she watched Han Wei leave. Hee <laughs> hee, this sword caretaker is really an interesting person. Turning the furnace in her hand, Mu Wan began to refine pills again. After she had refined two fine quality body strengthening pills in one batch just now, her confidence had greatly increased. While that feeling was still there, she was confident that she could refine another batch of fine quality body strengthening pills. Han Wei rushed back before the door of the sword pavilion closed. So, did you get the body strengthening pills? Huang Six asked with a smile. 
Han Wei nodded and took out two pills. At this body strengthening pill, Huang Six was shook and hurried forward. This is a fine quality pill. Fine quality. Seeing that Han Wei was confused, Huang Six introduced all the grade and quality of the pills. When he heard Han Wei say that he had spent seven spiritual rocks to buy two fine quality pills, Huang Six's eyes widened. Tisk, tisk. She probably likes you. Huang Six looked Han Wei up and down, his words sour. He reached for his wine gourd and took a big gulp, then handed it to Han Wei. Han Wei shook his head. He didn't like to drink. When he didn't take it, Huang Six took the gourd back and smiled. You can rest easy tonight. The sword has been taken away this afternoon. The sword. Stunned, Han Wei whispered, the one from last night. The sword that had been screaming for dual cultivation the previous night. Huang Six nodded. Seeing his expression, he grinned. Why? Do you want to dual cultivate again? Han Wei frowned slightly. There was something strange about that sword. It was not the refining method, but how it came to the sword pavilion. It was strange. Who claimed the sword? He looked at Huang Six. Huang Six glanced at him and spread out the book on the long table. Then he pointed at it and said, The inner sect disciple, Su Yang, gained the opportunity to receive the sword as a mission reward. I didn't get a single spiritual rock from him. Han Wei didn't care about the spiritual rocks. In his opinion, the benefits of being a sword caretaker were secondary. The key was the benefits of being an inner sect disciple and the opportunity to comprehend sword techniques from various swords. It's strange. When that guy came to collect his sword, he just took it and left, Huang Six muttered as he closed the book. He just took the sword. Han Wei turned to look at the wooden shelves in the sword pavilion and narrowed his eyes. Forget it, who cares? We're just sword caretakers. Huang Six reached out and patted Han Wei's shoulder. Tomorrow, we'll wipe the swords on the first floor. It's a tiring job. Take the body strengthening pill first tonight. At this point, he looked at Han Wei. It's good to be good looking. Why didn't I meet someone who gave me a fine quality pill for free back then? Han Wei was tall and straight. Although he wasn't muscular, his face was handsome, and he did look good. However, Han Wei knew that Mu Wan had given him a fine quality pill because of his words when he was refining pills. In the end, he was not someone who relied on his looks to make a living. He still had to rely on his capabilities. With a soft sigh, he returned to his quiet room. Han Wei sat cross-legged, and two pale yellow pills appeared in his palm. He took the pill. Will it hurt the first time? Chapter 8, 5 Mystic Sword Technique, Prairie Fire When the pill entered his mouth, it was like a light-flavored candy. Before he could taste it carefully, it had already turned into a strange aura that passed through his intestines and spread to his limbs and bones. Then, Han Wei felt his body heat up slightly. Nothing else. A fine quality body strengthening pill and that's all. After much hesitation, Han Wei put away the other body strengthening pill. This thing could be exchanged for more than ten spiritual rocks. It could not be wasted. Perhaps this was the reason why he had a ninth grade aptitude. He could not blame it on the pill refined by others. Sitting cross-legged, Han Wei narrowed his eyes. Ever since he stepped into the Nine Mystic Sword sect, he had already relied on his maximum level comprehension to learn many things about cultivation. He learned the technique to refine weapons, alchemy, and a total of four sword techniques. There were three types of mystic element sword technique, one leaf, lone wood, and rock shattering, which he had learned from instructor Lin in the afternoon. Mystic One Sword Technique, Mountain Crusher he had a deep impression of the sword technique he had comprehended, but that did not mean that he did not need to practice it. When he was in the training hall that day, Han Wei had clearly comprehended all the essence of the rock-shattering sword technique, but he had only been able to unleash 50% of it. 
It seemed that in the path of cultivation, comprehension alone was not enough. One also needed to practice diligently. Just like that instructor Lin, he swung his sword thousands of times and crushed the mountain with one strike. Han Wei had a good night's sleep. He didn't know if it was because of the body strengthening pill or because he was not disturbed by the dual cultivation sword at night. The next morning, Han Wei casually found a sword and went to the backyard of the sword pavilion to practice. One leaf, lone wood, rock shattering, mountain crusher. Without a cultivation base to support his techniques, only sword light condensed in front of him as he practiced the moves. After several times, the four sword techniques had become one, turning into an endless dark halo. For Han Wei, who had comprehended the essence of the four sword techniques, it didn't matter if the sword moves had a shape or not. The key was the feeling of it. For one leaf, the sword flew out like a leaf. There was no trace at all, as if an antelope was hanging on its horn. For lone wood, it was difficult to unleash it, but it was firm, unyielding, and unafraid of wind and frost. There was determination in this sword move. Rock shattering and mountain crusher were simple. The moves were steady, ruthless, and accuracy did not matter as much. A sword that could shatter mountains was the same whether it struck from the top or the bottom. When Huang Six came out, he saw Han Wei hacking away with a sword. He grinned but said nothing. In his opinion, Han Wei just had nowhere to use his energy after swallowing a body strengthening pill. Since he had nowhere to vent his energy, he might as well move around a few more times. However, he did not see the subtle cracks appearing on the stone wall in front of Han Wei. It was a crack that had been eroded by some force. After breakfast, the sword pavilion closed its doors. Then Huang Six walked solemnly to the rows of wooden shelves. These swords are all sorts of human realm sword cultivators. There are swords from the early stages of the human realm to the peak of the foundation establishment realm. Huang Six's expression was solemn as he pointed ahead. The sword has a spirit. It is not blasphemy for us sword caretakers to draw out the swords. Bowing to the front, then holding a piece of linen smeared with grease, he walked to the wooden shelves. Clang! Huang Six reached out and pulled out a long sword. Then, with a solemn expression and his eyes flashing, he wiped the linen from the tip of the sword to the hilt. After three rounds, he sheathed his sword and breathed a sigh of relief. Did you see it? We must treat these swords with reverence. Huang Six looked up at Han Wei and said in a deep voice, These new swords are still okay. But for those older swords, if you're not sincere, you won't be able to pull them out. Han Wei nodded. He knew about this. He had embarrassed himself before as he tried his best but could not pull out the sword. Imitating Huang Six, Han Wei first bowed and prayed, then raised his hand to draw his sword. With a gentle touch of the linen cloth, the sword light shone as clear as water. The sword returned to its sheath. Opposite him, Huang Six opened his mouth, then lowered his head and muttered, You are born to be a sword caretaker. They each took charge of one side, drew the swords, wiped them, and sheathed the swords. As long as Han Wei placed his hand on the hilt, he could sense the length and weight of the sword, as well as the refining technique. In the beginning, he wiped it extremely quickly. The swords here had just been refined, so there was not much information for him to comprehend. It wasn't until later, when he reached for the hilt of a sword, that an image fell into his mind. A young swordsman in a green robe ran amuck with his sword, carefree. The sword light was like water, rippling with smoke. Mystic element sword technique, clear water. A cool aura seeped into Han Wei's body. This time, he could clearly feel the cool air circulating in his body and then spreading into his chest and abdomen. What is this aura? Curious, Han Wei raised his hand and drew another sword. Another image appeared. An old man in a grey robe was practicing with only one sword. This sword shattered the wind and lightning, blocking the mountains. Purple flame, it's finally time to say goodbye. The old man said softly, 
and then with a swing of his long sword, he burned the mountains and rivers for hundreds of miles. When the smoke dissipated, the old man was gone. Only a mottled sword remained. Five Mystic Sword Technique, Prairie Fire Boom! A violent force suddenly poured into Han Wei's body. The magma-like heat instantly wreaked havoc in his meridians, making his entire body seem to spasm and tremble. Clang! The sword fell to the ground. Huang Six hurried over. Little Han, what's wrong? Han Wei turned and grinned. Then his entire chest felt like it was going to explode, and a force of fire shot through it. Spitting out a mouthful of blood, Han Wei slumped to the ground. In his days, Han Wei heard Huang Six's voice. Thank you, sir. When he opened his eyes, apart from Huang Six, there was also a white-haired old man in front of him. The old man held a mottled short sword in his hand. It was the sword that Han Wei had pulled out earlier. Although this sword is only an ordinary sword, it's the sword of Patriarch Ta Ran, who betrayed the sect back then. Holding the short sword, the old man's expression was a little strange. The Patriarch's sword. Huang Six was stunned. The Patriarch's sword? Doesn't that contain sword intent? Patriarch, is he all right? The sword Qi has entered his heart. Let's see his own destiny. The old voice sounded. The old man's expression was indifferent. Seeing that Han Wei had woken up, he placed the short sword on the wooden shelf and turned to leave. Huang Six shouted from behind, then whispered, Goodbye, Patriarch. Han Wei watched the old man mount the stairs to the second floor of the sword pavilion and disappear. Stop looking. There are only three of us in the sword pavilion. When you see him in the future, just call him Patriarch. A trace of envy and longing appeared on Huang Six's face. He said softly, he has spent sixty years caring for the swords in the sword pavilion. He's a middle-ranking and grand elder of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. The Patriarch. Was there always a third person in the sword pavilion? Han Wei froze. However, when he thought about it, it made sense. He and Huang Six were only responsible for the first floor. The second and third floors naturally needed an even stronger person to oversee them. Brother, didn't you say that it's difficult for a sword caretaker to live past a year? If one can live for ten years, one will become a sect deacon. This person has lived for more than sixty years. It turned out that it was possible for sword caretakers to live for sixty years. So how did this person survive? Seeing Han Wei's expression, Huang Six snorted and waved his hand. Kid, don't think too much. If the sword chi enters your chest, it's hard to say if you can last three months. At this point, his expression softened as he looked at Han Wei. If you want to eat something or drink something. If you want to do something, do it. Picking up the linen cloth used to wipe the sword, Huang Six patted his shoulder and said, Go, and rest. I'll wipe the rest of the swords. Then, with a little sigh, he hunched his way around the front of the wooden shelves. Clang! There was the sound of a sword being drawn. Han Wei was confused. I only have three months left to live. I thought we said it was a year. The sword chi has entered my chest and abdomen. Sword chi! The thought jolted him, and an image exploded in his mind. Now he saw the image in his chest and abdomen. A ten-foot-wide scarlet flame rolled. Around it, there were green clouds, grayish-yellow earth energy, and a foggy image. Then, in the empty space around, wisps of faint aura constantly intertwined. This was the Sword Chi? Where were these Sword Chi? Chapter 9, The Nine Mystic Sword, Whole Life's Cultivation for the Sake of Hundred Breath Realm In the next moment, he sensed that these Sword Chi were all gathered in an empty and illusory space. This space was indeed where his heart was. The sword chi entered his chest. Was he really going to die soon? With a thought, the sword chi moved slightly. Han Wei could feel the emotions coming from these sword chi. It was aggrieved. 
Sword Chi has emotions. Feeling aggrieved. Could it be that these Sword Chi was trying to tell him that whether he could survive past three months had nothing to do with them? Sure enough, as soon as Han Wei thought this, the Sword Chi starting vibrating again. It was so intelligent. Han Wei sighed inwardly. As if sensing his praise, the Sword Chi rose and fell as if they were happy. As soon as the Sword Chi moved, Han Wei could feel power surging through his limbs and bones. Traces of Sword Chi passed through the illusory space and passed through his meridians. The fiery red Sword Chi brought along heat, making him feel warm all over. The earth and yellow Sword Chi made his muscles and bones feel endless power. The green Sword Chi seemed to be able to stimulate his body growth. There was also a cold Sword Chi that seemed to be water vapor swimming in his body, calming his heart. Would these Sword Chi really hurt him? Han Wei slowly got up and looked at the wooden shelves that stretched around. In that moment, he thought he could sense every sword call out to him. Every sword here seemed close to him. How could such sword chi hurt him? With a thought, the illusory space dissipated, and all the sword chi in his body gathered like clear water. Little Han, go to the inner sect in two days to learn a body cultivation technique. Huang Six's voice came from the wooden shelf in front. Perhaps it will allow you to live a little longer. Body cultivation technique? Han Wei nodded. Indeed, he needed to learn a cultivation technique now. Moreover, he needed to gain more knowledge about the cultivation world. Brother, I heard from Instructor Lin yesterday that our Nine Mystic Sword Sect has a Heaven Realm expert guarding it. Is the Patriarch a Heaven Realm expert? What did the Heaven Realm look like? Nonsense, he's flattering the Nine Mystic Sword Sect, Huang Six said angrily. There isn't a single nascent soul cultivator in the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. The nascent soul realm was the first level of the Heaven Realm. Without a nascent soul, how could they reach a Heaven Realm? Was Instructor Lin really spouting nonsense? But judging him based on the day before, he seemed an honest person. Not to mention the Nine Mystic Sword Sect, there are only three nascent soul cultivators in the entire Western Frontier. Huang Six snorted. There were only three heavenly realms in the Western border? Han Wei had thought that the world was full of heavenly realms, and the Earth realms were worse than dogs. The day before, he was motivated by Instructor Lin and thought that the Nine Mystic Sword Sect was very powerful. It turned out that it was just like that. Huang Six's voice came again. But that guy wasn't lying to you. Although our Nine Mystic Sword Sect doesn't have a Heaven Realm expert, we have a few perfected core formation cultivators, who are halfway to nascent Soul Realm, and with the power of the Nine Mystic Sword in the third floor of the Sword Pavilion, we can fight a Heaven Realm expert without losing. At this point, Huang Six stuck his head out from the wooden shelves and said in a low voice, there's a divine sword on the third floor of the sword pavilion. With this sword, one can fight against the heaven realm. There was such a treasured item in the sword pavilion? Han Wei's expression changed. That kind of treasure can't be easily used. After guarding the swords in the sword pavilion for 60 years without dying, a sword caretaker can condense the unforged sword chi all over his body to activate this sword for a hundred breaths. At this point, Huang Six's expression darkened slightly, but there was a hint of boldness. Within a hundred breaths, you can fight a Heaven Realm expert. After a hundred breaths, all the sword chi in your body will be exhausted. If you want to condense it, you need another sixty years. Another sixty years. Han Wei knew that was impossible. If the sword chi was exhausted, it was equivalent to all his strength dissipating and turning into an ordinary person. How could he possibly live for another 60 years? Even if he could live for another 60 years, he probably wouldn't be able to condense such sword chi. In other words, the sword pavilion's sword caretakers had to endure for a year, 10 years, and 60 years before they could reach the hundred breath realm. One had to risk his 60 years for the glory of the hundred breath. Looking at Huang Six in front of him and seeing his expression, Han Wei said softly, did brother come to the sword pavilion for this? Huang Six shuddered, 
then nodded gently. Hundred breath heavenly realm. I once boasted in front of others that I would definitely reach the heaven realm in this life. Even if it's a hundred breaths, it's still a heaven realm, right? Huang Six chuckled, then lowered his head and turned back to clean the sword. Was it worth cultivating a whole life for the hundred breath? Han Wei looked at Huang Six back but said nothing. People should have some pursuits when they're alive, shouldn't they? Then what did he want from this world? Turning around, he saw the swords that stretched across the wooden shelves in front of him. Each of these swords seemed to call to him. Sword. A sword. The image of Patriarch Tao Ran burning a hundred miles with one sword appeared in Han Wei's mind. Wasn't his purpose for coming to the cultivation world to master such power? With a sword in hand, he could sweep through the world. This trip was not in vain. For a moment, Han Wei felt full of strength. The sword qi in his body instantly surged as if it was about to rush out of his body. On the entire first floor of the sword pavilion, the thirty thousand swords all emitted an almost imperceptible vibration. Huang Six held the trembling sword in his hand, looking puzzled. He looked up at the second floor. Is the patriarch refining the nine mystic sword? Instead of going to rest, Han Wei picked up the sackcloth and wiped the swords again. At this moment, he could sense the joy on each sword. Stroking the sword, he could still feel a hint of shyness on the blade. It was as if it had been gently touched by its beloved. Unknowingly, wisps of aura seeped into Han Wei's body. In his illusory space, traces of sword qi also seeped out and flowed into the sword in his hand. At this moment, Han Wei could feel the tremble coming from the sword in his hand. It was like indescribable pleasure. Dual cultivation? These two words flashed through Han Wei's mind. As soon as this word appeared, the swords in the entire sword pavilion shook. A trace of confusion appeared on Huang Six's face. He muttered, What's wrong with the patriarch? Did he eat a nourishing pill? After wiping three thousand swords in a day and taking in all the sword qi, Huang Six's face was pale and his body was swaying. He drank a few mouthfuls of wine and went to sleep. Han Wei lay on the wooden couch with his eyes closed, his mind focused on the empty illusory space as he watched the countless sword qi intertwine. As he could tell that Huang Six was exhausted, Han Wei wiped a lot more swords. On this day, he obtained nearly two thousand sword qi. A few of them were one-tenth the power of the purple flame sword. At this moment, Two thousand sword chis were wandering in the void, seemingly extremely happy. Apart from these sword chi, Han Wei had also comprehended many sword techniques. There were thirty-one types of mystic element sword techniques. There were thirteen types of the one mystic sword techniques. There were three types of two mystic sword techniques. There was one type of three mystic sword technique. As for the type that was above three mystic level was the five mystic sword technique, prairie fire. It was enough. The five mystic sword technique was equivalent to the power of a core formation realm expert. He had already mastered such a sword technique so soon. Shouldn't he be satisfied? Lying on the wooden couch, Han Wei grinned. With sword chi and dozens of sword techniques, could he be considered a swordsman? Chapter 10 Purple Flame, Exchanging Swords Early the next morning, Han Wei found a short sword on his couch. The sword was no more than two feet and eight inches long. It was flashing with green light. Reaching for the hilt, Han Wei froze. Purple Flame This was the Patriarch's rusty sword, Purple Flame. However, the Purple Flame sword had completely changed. If it was an outsider, they would definitely not be able to recognize it. The sword was ordinary, but when he held the hilt, Han Wei could feel the blazing fire in the sword, which glowed with the sword qi in his body. Warm air spread from his arm to his entire body. Who are you? Do you want to follow me? Muttering under his breath, Han Wei walked into the small courtyard with his sword and began practicing with it. Dozens of sword techniques was unleashed using the blade. 
the sword light was sometimes heavy and sometimes slow. Sometimes it was blazing, sometimes it was cold. With so many sword techniques that had different concepts and strengths, if an outsider practiced the sword like this, their meridians would probably have been destroyed. However, in Han Wei's hands, these sword techniques changed at will and were unrestrained. The various sword qi in his illusory space followed his sword technique and constantly changed to move along his meridians. This feeling was extremely comfortable. Huang Six, who had come to the courtyard, looked at him for a moment, then shook his head. He could not understand why Han Wei was waving the sword around. Of course, he would not stop Han Wei. From Huang Six's perspective, Han Wei only had less than three months to live. He could do whatever he wanted. No one came to the sword pavilion in the morning. Han Wei pestered Huang Six to tell him about the various matters in the cultivation world. Huang Six had been in the sword pavilion for more than seven years and had heard many cultivation stories. For example, he told him about the number of sword cultivation sects in the western frontier, the ones that the Nine Mystic Sword Sect was not on good terms with and the ones that they were allies. Also, in the western frontier, he told him who had the highest cultivation level and which sect liked to make things difficult behind their backs. Whether it was true or false, Han Wei listened with relish. He felt that this cultivation world was also filled with human desires and worldly affairs. After talking about the cultivation world, Han Wei pestered Huang Six to talk about the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. Huang Six yawned, but he could not resist Han Wei's pestering. He could only tell him about the elders, direct disciples, and the elites of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. As long as we don't offend these people, we don't have to care about anyone in the section. We have a rotten life anyway. We have nothing to fear. Huang Six yawned and stood up. He shook his head and said, I'm going to sleep. Wiping the swords yesterday had harmed my essence energy. At this, he turned to Han Wei with a curious expression. Why do you look so good? Indeed, Han Wei's face was flushed, and he didn't look tired at all. Yet he was the one who had been injured by the sword qi the day before and was almost dead. Han Wei himself was puzzled by it too. Perhaps it's the effect of the fine quality body strengthening pill. Before Han Wei could figure it out, Huang Six had already guessed the reason. When I get my stipend next month, I'll get a fine quality body strengthening pill and try it too. Huang Six turned back to his quiet room as he spoke. Han Wei shook his head, stood up, and went to the wooden shelves where the swords were. He reached for the hilt of a long sword and gently drew it out. The sword hummed as if in joy. Picking up the linen cloth that had been used to wipe the sword, Han Wei wiped the blade clean, then sheathed the sword. As he wiped the sword, he could clearly feel the sword qi in his body pouring into the blade of the sword. The sword qi contained in the sword also seeped into his body. The sword that was infused with sword qi became even clearer. There was also an additional wisp of sword qi in his body. It was a win win situation. Walking to the wooden shelves, Han Wei began to wipe the swords Huang Six had wiped the day before. In any case, he had nothing to do. He could wipe the swords and obtain some sword qi. If he encountered a long sword that he had used, he could even comprehend the sword techniques. Unknowingly, more than an hour had passed. He had already wiped more than 100 swords and comprehended three sword techniques in between. Many of the sword techniques used by the low-level disciples overlapped. However, during the comprehension process, Han Wei's comprehension was different according to the sword techniques used by different people. Using the mystic element sword technique one leaf as an example, some people used it as if it was a falling leaf, and it was light. Some people used it as if it was a new sprout that was full of vitality. Wiping the sword Han Wei's understanding of swordsmanship deepened. Huang Six. He was cleaning the swords when a voice came from the sword pavilion door. Han Wei turned around and saw a young man in an intersect white robe standing there, looking around. There was new business. Ahem. With a cough, 
Han Wei strode forward and shouted with his hands behind his back, Don't make any noise in the Nine Mystic Sword sect. The young man froze and looked Han Wei up and down. It's not Huang Six? When did the Sword Pavilion have a newcomer? Muttering, he reached out and handed a burlap bag to Han Wei. Are you new? I came to exchange swords. Exchange swords? There was a saying in the Sword Pavilion that sword igkening could only be done with great merit to the sect or proof written by an elder. Han Wei frowned, took the burlap bag, and untied it. His face changed. Inside the burlap bag was a broken sword. There were holes in the broken sword. Reaching for the hilt, an image came from the broken sword. A young man in a white robe held a long sword and had a cold expression. He thrust his sword at the limestone wall in front of him. Each strike hit a spot. Two mystic sword technique, gold point. After comprehending this sword technique, Han Wei frowned even more. The essence of the gold point sword technique was to stop when necessary. There was no need for the blade to really hit against the limestone. However, not only was the tip of the sword broken, there were also many holes on the blade. How was the sword broken? Han Wei spoke in a low voice. The young man who'd come to exchange swords raised an eyebrow. Hey, kid, don't you think you're meddling too much? He hissed. I told you to exchange the swords. Just do it. Han Wei sat in front of the long table and spread his hands. If you don't tell me why the sword broke, how can I change it for you? Hearing his words, the young man sneered. This sword was broken by senior brother Luo Tian. If you don't want to exchange it, I'll go back and report to him. Luo Tian. Han Wei thought for a moment, then shook his head. He was not an elder or a direct disciple. Then it's all right. Seeing Han Wei shake his head, the young man's face darkened. He looked at Han Wei and smiled angrily. Okay, okay. New kid, don't fall into my hands next time. Then he reached for the short sword on the table. Han Wei raised his hand to block it and said calmly, The sword is damaged. Once it enters the sword pavilion, I will have to register and destroy it. You the young man pointed at Han Wei in midair and gritted his teeth. Kid, this sword belongs to senior brother Luo Tian. Even the sect master's sword has to be registered upon entering the sword pavilion. Han Wei opened the book and started recording. Inner disciple Luo Tian has destroyed a sword for no reason. It is now kept in the sword pavilion. When he finished, he looked up and said, What's your name? The young man paused, uncertain. What for? With a smile on his face, Han Wei said softly, Anyone who destroys a sword for no reason is not allowed to enter the sword pavilion for three years. After three years, the merit points required to exchange for a sword will double. What's your name? I'll record it down too. The young man's expression changed. He flicked his sleeve and turned to leave. Han Wei chuckled and added two words to the book. Purple Flame Chapter 11, Replacing the Broken Sword Mu Wan delivers the pill. Since the purple flame sword was willing to follow him, he would let it follow him. The broken sword in front of him just happened to fill in the missing sword in the sword pavilion. In a way, Han Wei could be considered to have stolen what was entrusted to him. But in the eyes of the sword caretaker, it was really nothing. With so many swords, who cared if one or two were missing? Huang Six himself had also hidden a good sword. The day before, Han Wei had even seen him secretly wipe it. Looking at the broken sword on the table, Han Wei gently reached out and fixed it in place. A faint sword aura extended from his palm and poured into the broken sword. The broken sword vibrated slightly. At the area of breakage, there was a trace of green aura that was difficult to see with the naked eye. Ten breaths later, Han Wei let go. It really works. Joy flashed across his face as he looked at the broken sword that had been reattached. Previously, when the sword Qi in his body started fusing with the aura in the sword, he had already wanted to explore the use of the sword Qi. 
now he saw that it was indeed beneficial for the sword. Although there were still traces of breakage on the sword in front of him and it would break if he waved it, it had really become reattached. In the future, if he slowly repaired it with his sword chi, it would become as good as before. Even though it would only take 32 sword chi to repair a broken sword, Han Wei felt that it was worth it. There were still many sword chi left in his body. If he wanted more sword chi, he just had to wipe the swords frequently. After delivering the sword that had been mended from the table to the wooden shelf, Han Wei began to polish the swords again. In the afternoon, Huang Six, who had slept and looked much better, came out and saw Han Wei wiping the swords. He frowned. But he didn't try to dissuade him. Han Wei only had three months left to live. He could do whatever he wanted. Someone came to exchange swords just now. I had chased him away. Han Wei spoke as he wiped the sword. Exchange swords. Huang Six flipped open the book on the long table and saw Han Wei's record. He frowned. Luo Tian? The son of the inner sect deacon, Luo Yi. Han Wei turned and raised his eyebrows. He is a royal relative. Huang Six closed the book and chuckled. It's fine. They're just ordinary people from the inner sect. It's not like we sword caretakers have anything to do with them. As he spoke, Huang Six looked up at the entrance to the sword pavilion. Little Han, the sword pavilion has been much livelier since you came. In the past, it was common for no one to come for half a month. As soon as he finished speaking, a clear voice came from the door. Mu Wan a disciple of the medical hall, has come to the sword pavilion to look for senior brother Han Wei. Huang Six grinned and said, So you're here for little Han. Mu Wan. Was it the little girl who refined pills for him the day before? Han Wei sheathed his sword and walked to the door of the sword pavilion. I'll go out for a walk first. You guys take your time to talk. Huang Six's toothless smile looked a little comical but in Han Wei's eyes, it was amiable. Huang Six patted Han Wei on the shoulder and walked out of the sword pavilion. Then he chuckled at Mu Wan and left. This is the sword pavilion. Mu Wan, who had stuck her head in, felt a chill run down her spine. The light filling the room made her feel dizzy. It was said that the sword pavilion's sword chi hurt people and it was best to not enter the place if one could avoid it. It seemed that it was true. Han Wei waved his hand, and all the swords in the building seemed to have received the order to hide their sword chi. When Mu Wan stepped into the sword pavilion, she no longer felt any bone-piercing chill, as if what she had just felt was just an illusion. I didn't know those two body-strengthening pills were fine quality until I got back. Han Wei took out the remaining body-strengthening pill and put it on the long table. I'll return this one to you. I've already swallowed the other one. When I gather enough spiritual rocks for the pill, I'll send it to the medical hall. Since she had already come, he couldn't hide it, could he? A fine quality medicinal pill cost 15 spiritual rocks. It was not good for him to take any advantage. Not to mention that it was an advantage of a young lady. Hearing Han Wei's words, Mu Wan was stunned, then covered her face and laughed. Senior Brother Han, do you think I'm here to ask you for spiritual rocks? The young lady had a good figure and pretty eyes. Her smile was also not bad. Han Wei gave her a 9 out of 10. It was mainly because her body had yet to grow completely. In terms of size, there was still room for development. As if sensing Han Wei's gaze, Mu Wan snorted softly and raised her hand to take out a small jade bottle. It was all thanks to your guidance that I was able to refine a fine quality pill yesterday. These are the two body strengthening pills refined in the third batch. I'm here to give them to senior brother. With that, she placed the jade bottle on the long table. For me. Han Wei was surprised. In the cultivation world, the lives of low-level disciples were not easy. No one had many spare spiritual rocks. These two fine quality body strengthening pills could be exchanged for a lot of spiritual rocks. This young lady is quite interesting. 
Of course it's for senior brother. Mu Wan's expression did not change. Han Wei reached for the jade bottle, then looked at Mu Wan. Tell me, what do you need me to do? Hearing his words, Mu Wan blushed, but she still nodded and whispered, Senior brother's words yesterday made me very emotional. Unfortunately, I'm rather slow-witted and can't understand it for a moment. With that, she looked up at Han Wei. I've been learning how to refine a furnace of pills recently, but it's always difficult. I want to ask senior brother to take a look and give some advice. Watch her pill refinement. He would not lose out anyways. Han Wei calculated in his mind and nodded. Okay, then, the day after tomorrow. I'll go to the medical hall that afternoon. He planned to go to the intersect the next day to see if there were any suitable cultivation techniques. All right, I'll wait for senior brother in the medical hall the day after tomorrow. A smile appeared on Mu Wan's face. She bowed slightly and turned to leave. Han Wei shook his head and looked at the jade bottle in his hand with a hint of joy in his eyes. These were all money. Hey, where's the young lady? She's leaving already? Isn't she staying for a meal or something? Huang Six, who had returned from some place, first looked in the direction of Han Wei's chamber before speaking regretfully. What was he thinking? Han Wei couldn't be bothered with him. He reached out to open the jade bottle and poured out two pills. Oh my, another fine quality solid pill. Huang Six leaned forward and said enviously, How many spiritual rocks did you buy them for? Junior sister Mu gave it to me, Han Wei said calmly as he put his last body strengthening pill into the jade bottle. Huang Six felt an urge to scratch Han Wei's face. Did all female cultivators in this world care about appearances? She could even give away fine quality pills for nothing? Why, do you want it? Han Wei looked at Huang Six and handed him the jade bottle. If you want it, exchange with ten spiritual rocks each pill. Huang Six frowned and was about to speak when Han Wei said, I want to accumulate more spiritual rocks and go to the intersect training hall tomorrow to see if I can buy a cultivation technique. This body strengthening pill doesn't feel very useful to me. Huang Six nodded at his words. Without a cultivation technique, the medicinal power of pills could not be enhanced and was indeed not very useful. It would be different if he could cultivate a body tempering technique. Perhaps it would give Han Wei a chance of survival. All right, I'll take this pill. Huang Six took the jade bottle and returned to his quiet room. He placed a bag of spiritual rocks on the table and turned to leave. Han Wei unwrapped the cloth and looked startled. Inside the cloth bag were 100 spiritual rocks. Intersect cultivation techniques are not cheap. Without 100 spiritual rocks, you won't be able to buy a good cultivation technique. Consider it alone. Remember to pay me back with interest. Huang Six's voice came through. Chapter 12, Intersect Demonstration Building, Iron Bowl Strength 100 Spiritual Rocks Huang Six also saved his spiritual rocks one by one. This favor was huge. Han Wei put away the spiritual rocks and chuckled. Brother, aren't you afraid that I won't live past three months and won't be able to repay the spiritual rocks? With three months of salary and additional tips, even if he had not spent a single cent, it would probably only add up to 70 spiritual rocks. If Han Wei died within three months, Huang Six's investment would definitely go down the drain. There have been dozens of sword caretakers joining and leaving in the past seven years. You're the one who compliments my temperament the best. Don't die too soon. Huang Six's voice sounded old, but there was a different emotion in it. Han Wei nodded. Sword caretakers were a special existence in the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. Most of them did not live long, and outsiders rarely interacted with them. It was rare for Huang Six to get along with Han Wei. He really didn't want him to die. Don't worry, none of us will die, Han Wei whispered, turning to look at the swords on the wooden shelves. The swords on the other side vibrated softly, as if in response. 
The Intersect Demonstration Building was located on the peak of the Nine Mystic Mountain and was much further away from the Sword Pavilion. The next day, Han Wei set off at noon and only arrived in the afternoon. On the way to the Demonstration Building, Han Wei met a few Outer Sect disciples who were in the same line of work as him. They had joined in the sect's mission some time ago and earned some merit points. This time, they came to the demonstration building to exchange for cultivation techniques. Although they were young, each of them was at the seventh or eighth level of the human realm. As long as they cultivated for another year or two, they would be able to reach the Qi condensation realm. At the Qi condensation realm, one's body would absorb the spiritual energy of heaven and earth and use the spiritual energy to cleanse one's meridians. Then, one would have the power to transcend mortality. Although one could not fly in the air at the Qi condensation realm, one could control the sword with Qi. Their figure would become like a bird, allowing them to step on the snow without a trace. These series of special abilities was fascinating. These were all told to Han Wei by a young girl called Jiao Qing'er, who was an outer sect disciple. Senior brother Han, that's the demonstration building. A 16-year-old girl in a green robe pointed ahead and said happily. She was Jiao Qing'er. From afar, the five-story loft occupied a vast area and was much more imposing than the sword pavilion. Senior brother Han, we're going to look for master. Do you want to come with us? Jiao Ching'er smiled at Han Wei. On the way, Han Wei already knew that Jiao Ching'er and the others were valued by the inner sect deacons and were accepted as disciples in name. When they reached the Qi condensation realm, they would directly become disciples. Unlike ordinary outer sect disciples who were struggling, they were much stronger than others from the beginning. This was because their cultivation aptitude was at 6th or 7th grade. Those with cultivation aptitude above the 5th grade could directly enter the elite ranks in the Nine Mystic Sword sect. There would be elders in the sect who would take them in as personal disciples and nurture them carefully. A 6th or 7th grade aptitude was already top-notch among ordinary disciples. Jiao Ching'er and the others did not have to worry about cultivation at all. They just had to cultivate step by step. This time, they were able to obtain the mission reward as outer sect disciples because of their master's arrangements and the help of their senior brothers. Junior sister, master is only looking for us. If outsiders go, he will be unhappy, a thin young man in a green robe suddenly said. You guys go ahead. I'll go look for suitable cultivation techniques. Han Wei smiled and cupped his hands, then turned around and walked towards the demonstration building. Seeing Han Wei walk away, the skinny young man in the green robe snorted coldly, then looked at Jiao Ching'er and said, Junior sister, why waste your time on a sword caretaker? I think this person won't live for more than half a year. Hearing his words, Jiao Ching'er turned around and chuckled. Huo Ping, let's bet to see if he can live for half a year. One hundred spiritual rocks. I bet he can live for half a year. Hearing her words, the young man named Huo Ping said without hesitation, Let's bet. I bet he won't live for more than six months. Chiao Ching'er laughed and walked to the side. A young man with a long sword on his back followed forward. Then, he turned to look at Huo Ping and said, what you should be thinking is, if this senior brother Han really lives for half a year, will you receive a sword from him? Their aptitude was at the top among their peers. If they cultivated for a while longer, they would only be able to reach 100th position in the outer sect. It was only a matter of time before they entered the inner sect. If Han Wei could live past half a year, they might really have to receive their swords from him. It was said that there were many rules in the sword pavilion. Some people had been made difficult for three months because they had offended the sword caretaker. In three months, others had already become familiar with their swords and their combat strength had increased greatly. If a cultivator was one step was slow, his every step would become slower. Huo Ping was stunned. He looked in the direction Han Wei had left, and his eyes flashed. Six months. Let's see if you can survive that. Around the demonstration building, 
many intersect disciples in white clothes were scattered on the limestone square. Some were whispering, while others were chatting. Unlike the outer sect training hall where there was one instructor teaching dozens or hundreds of disciples, the demonstration building had intersect elites and deacons teaching the cultivation techniques and sword techniques. It was said that elders would come to the demonstration building from time to time. If they liked someone, they could directly take them in as their disciple. That meant that one's opportunity had arrived. Han Wei walked into the building, slightly disappointed. He originally thought that this demonstration building was similar to the outer sect training hall. There were many disciples practicing, so he could secretly learn a little for free. Unexpectedly, there were only bookshelves and a quiet room. However, there were signs hanging at the door. Silence in the hall. A middle-aged man in a green-gray robe stepped forward and asked Han Wei softly, Junior brother, what do you need? Han Wei was wearing an intersect disciple's robe and holding a cloth bag in his hand. It was obvious that he was here for business. I want to find a body tempering technique. Han Wei nodded. A body tempering technique, the middle-aged man muttered. He turned around and pointed at the rows of bookshelves in front of him. All the body tempering cultivation techniques are there. If you like any book, it can be brought to the quiet room to issue a demonstration task. Someone will accept the task and teach you the cultivation method. As the saying went, skills should not be passed on to too many people. It was a good idea to only demonstrate it in the quiet room. Han Wei nodded, cupped his hands, and headed for the bookshelves. The bookshelf that the middle-aged man pointed to was indeed filled with body tempering cultivation techniques. Iron armor. Bronze skin three segments. Golden bridge. Han Wei took out the books one by one. There were only a few introductions on these cultivation techniques, followed by the required aptitude and cost needed to practice them. The rest of the content was empty. After cultivating the iron armor technique, one could condense a body of iron armor from their bones and muscles. It was difficult for them to be injured by weapons. Cultivating this technique required an eighth grade aptitude. The price was 300 spiritual rocks or three merit points. Han Wei didn't have 300 spiritual rocks, nor did he have the sect merit points equivalent to that, nor did he have an eighth grade aptitude. As for the bronze skin three segment technique, after three rounds of refinements, one would finally achieve bronze skin and iron bones. One strength could reach 1,500 kilograms. Cultivating this technique required a medium 7th grade aptitude. The price was 500 spiritual rocks or 5 merit points. This was even more impossible for Han Wei. After flipping through a few cultivation techniques, Han Wei felt a chill in his heart. Either he did not meet the qualifications requirements, or the price was too expensive. These intersect cultivation techniques seem to be very difficult for low-level disciples to learn. With a soft sigh, Han Wei whispered to himself. Actually, that was the way it was. The cultivation techniques in the demonstration building were prepared for intersect disciples who had cultivated for several years and had good cultivation levels. Even the few outer sect disciples who were qualified to come were not lacking in aptitude and spiritual rocks. Flipping through all the body tempering cultivation techniques, the expensive ones cost more than 10,000 spiritual rocks and the aptitude requirement was above the fifth grade. Most of the cheaper ones cost 200 to 300 spiritual rocks. Most importantly, their aptitude was basically at the eighth grade. After searching around, Han Wei could only pick up a book. The iron bull's strength allowed one to temper the muscles and bones. It could accumulate the strength of a bull, forming the body of an iron bull. This cultivation technique did not require cultivation aptitude. One just had to practice hard and the price was 80 spiritual rocks. Chapter 13, Cultivation Technique, Ancestral Return of 10,000 Swords A bull's strength was equivalent to 500 kilograms. By cultivating the body tempering technique, he had already gained the strength of a bull. To be honest, 
this iron bowl strength was definitely the weakest of all the body tempering techniques. There was no requirements for aptitude and the price was 80 spiritual rocks, making it the most suitable for Han Wei. If it was more expensive, he could not afford it. And if the aptitude requirement was high, he might not be able to cultivate it. Even if it was a little weak, this was still an intersex body tempering technique, right? Wasn't it much better than those fancy moves in the outer sect? Besides, although Han Wei didn't believe that the sword chi would hurt him, he felt more at ease practicing a body tempering technique. After taking the manual, Han Wei turned around and prepared to leave the bookshelf. Cultivation Technique The rows of bookshelves beside were all filled with manuals for cultivation techniques. These were the techniques that could allow one to live longer after cultivating them. He hesitated, then walked over. It's not against the law to look even if he can't afford it, is it? The white cloud art was a qi condensation cultivation technique. It was a cultivation technique of the water lineage. It could condense cloud qi in one's body and clear one's impurities in the blood to increase one's lifespan. This cultivation technique required lower 7th grade aptitude. In exchange, the cost was 3,000 spiritual rocks or 30 merit points. Was a qi condensation cultivation technique that expensive? How long would it take to save up 3,000 spiritual rocks? Putting the manual for white cloud art down, he picked up another book. The red sun art was a fire attribute cultivation technique that mainly cultivated using fire as the origin of power. After cultivating it, one's spiritual qi would be like fire and one could condense the yang energy and fight ferociously. This cultivation technique required the affinity of fire power, cultivation at the third level of qi condensation, and it was priced at 30,000 spiritual rocks. It was really d asterisk mn expensive. Han Wei raised his hand and threw the cultivation technique manual back onto the bookshelf. Looking at the other cultivation techniques, no matter which lineage it was, None of them cost less than 2,000 spiritual rocks. Cultivation required the accumulation of resources. Wealth was indeed the top priority. Without enough wealth, it was difficult to even start cultivating. Why? Is there no suitable cultivation technique? An old man in a green daist robe asked with a smile when he saw Han Wei looking around. Judging from his green daist robe, he was either an outer sect disciple or an elder. This person looked so old and exuded an extraordinary aura akin to an immortal. It seemed like he was an elder. Could it be an opportunity? Han Wei nodded and smiled bitterly. It's really too expensive. Hearing him say that it was too expensive, the old man chuckled. Cultivation is never cheap. Then, he looked at Han Wei and said, I know the price of most cultivation techniques here. What price are you looking for? What price? Han Wei calculated and decided to look for one that cost 20 spiritual rocks. He only had 100 spiritual rocks on hand. After spending 80 spiritual rocks on the iron bull strength, wouldn't he only have 20 spiritual rocks left? Seeing that Han Wei was silent, the old man said, do you have 2,000 spiritual rocks? Han Wei shook his head. Then, 1, 000. The old man's expression changed slightly. Han Wei still shook his head. At least 500, the old man asked with a frown. Han Wei still shook his head. The old man took a deep breath and said, 100. Han Wei still shook his head. The old man opened his mouth and turned to leave. After taking a few steps, he suddenly looked back at Han Wei. You really want to find a cultivation technique? Isn't that obvious? Han Wei nodded. The old man raised his hand and handed over a book. This cultivation technique only costs 10 spiritual rocks. Whether you decide to cultivate it or not is up to you. Han Wei took it and saw the words on the cover. Ancestral Return of 10,000 Swords. Ha, the name of this cultivation technique was impressive. When he opened the cover, it was empty. This cultivation technique was worth 10 spiritual rocks. 
why was this thing as unreliable as the legendary Buddha's palm? When he looked up again, the green-robed elder was gone. Could this be a test from some senior expert? Holding the book, Han Wei hesitated for a moment and decided to spend another ten spiritual rocks. At most, he would just treat it as dumping money into the water. Junior brother, have you chosen a cultivation technique? When Han Wei arrived at the long table in front of him with two books under his arm, the middle-aged man who had welcomed him previously handed him a sign with a smile. Room 73 Han Wei took the sign and walked along the door to room 73. This room was empty and only contained a space of 20 feet. However, there was a jade wall in front of him, and spiritual light kept flashing on it. Room 3 demonstrates the 100 origin technique for 1000 spiritual rocks, or 10 merit points. Room 124 demonstrates the circulation technique of the rising sun force for 300 spiritual rocks. Room 17 demonstrates the mystic threefold strength technique for 1000 spiritual rocks. The words flickered. Some disappeared as soon as they appeared. Others rolled several times and remained. Han Wei tried to write down all the demonstration requirements for each room. Room 73 demonstrates the iron bowl force for 80 spiritual rocks. This was according to the price label on the cultivation technique. He had just written down the requirements when a halo flashed and someone answered. A moment later, a tall, bald young man with a large sword on his back strode in. The bald young man frowned when he saw Han Wei. You want to cultivate iron bull force. He sized up Han Wei and shook his head slightly. Iron bull strength requires a strong body. With your physique, I'm afraid you won't be able to endure it. So complacent. Han Wei nodded. I know. Hearing his words, the bald young man stopped talking. He spread his feet, placed his fists flat against his waist, and punched. Iron Bull Strength has a total of five fist techniques. Strength starts from the feet and using the waist as the axis. The young man practiced every move and even explained the chant for it. It could be seen that he was extremely proficient in Iron Bull Strength. Han Wei could see that when he circulated his strength, it was extremely natural. After the young man finished practicing the five forms of the fist technique, Han Wei automatically dissected the five forms of the fist technique in his mind, and then began to practice it along with the chant. He had comprehended iron bull strength. My name is Zhao Piyu. If you have any problems with your iron bull strength during cultivation, you can come to the inner sect to look for me at any time. The bald youth said and extended his hand. 80 spiritual rocks. Han Wei nodded, opened the cloth bag counted out twenty spiritual rocks to keep, and handed the rest to Zhao Piyu. Zhao Piyu took the spiritual rocks and left. Zhao Piyu. He was an intersect elite disciple and was known as the top ten experts of the earth lineage's new generation. Huang Six had introduced this name the day before. It seemed that this guy was quite honest. He even asked Han Wei to look for him if he had any problems. Standing in the quiet room, Han Wei slowly put his feet apart. His fists descended slowly, stopping at his waist. A surge of power rose from his heels. Ho! Oh. With a low growl, he punched. Wu! There was a soft sound in front of him. The wind from his fist whistled as it struck the wall ten feet away. Is this iron bull strength? Han Wei practiced every move and immediately felt a lot more strength in his body. Even without the full strength of a bull, he had released at least 250 or 300 kilograms of strength. He clenched his fists slightly and felt full of power. His muscles and bones felt much stronger. No wonder Huang Six said that body tempering cultivation techniques were beneficial for resisting the corrosion by the sword qi. Joy flashed across his face. Han Wei walked back to the jade wall, hesitated, and wrote another sentence. Room 73, requesting for the cultivation method of the ancestral return of 10,000 swords for 10 spiritual rocks. Spiritual light flashed on the jade wall. After about a hundred seconds, 
the message was answered. A moment later, the door to room 73 was pushed open. Han Wei was surprised to see who it was. Senior. Wasn't this the old man who had passed him the ancestral return of ten thousand swords? The old man's expression was solemn as he clasped his hands in front of him. He looked at Han Wei and said calmly, Are you really going to cultivate the ancestral return of ten thousand swords? Chapter 14, No Sword in Hand, But Sword in Heart The old man's expression was solemn, and his aura condensed. This made Han Wei panic a little. Was there a need to be so serious about a business worth ten spiritual rocks? Or could it be that this senior was a big shot in the Nine Mystic Sword sect who had taken a fancy to him and wanted him to inherit his legacy? Perhaps this was fate. With a respectful expression, Han Wei cupped his hands and said, I want to learn. The old man nodded, his expression unchanged. He looked at Han Wei. Okay, then I'll ask you a few questions. You have to answer them truthfully. This process was very similar to the inheritance of a certain big shot. Han Wei suppressed his excitement and nodded seriously. All right, let me ask you. Why did you come to the Nine Mystic Sword Sect? The old man asked, his eyes seemingly surging with light. Why did he come to the Nine Mystic Sword Sect? Han Wei thought back, and the rows of swords in the sword pavilion flashed across his mind. For the swords. Shaking his head, Han Wei said solemnly, to wield the swords and rule for a long time. After being reborn, he had to have some ambition. Hearing his words, the old man opposite him smiled and clapped his hands. Great. If you didn't have the intention to dominate and suppress the world with your sword, you wouldn't be qualified to learn my technique. Han Wei was delighted. He had made the right bet. He was about to bow when the old man raised his hand again. Let me ask you again. Is your cultivation aptitude above fifth grade? Above fifth grade cultivation aptitude? Did he need such aptitude to cultivate the ancestral return of ten thousand swords? That was true. With such a grand name, it had to require at least a fifth grade aptitude. Han Wei's face stiffened, and he shook his head. No. He sighed in his heart. It seemed that he did not have the opportunity to cultivate such a peerless cultivation technique. All right. The old man opposite him shouted, scaring Han Wei. If your aptitude is good enough, you don't need to learn my ancestral return of ten thousand swords at all. You would just learn and cultivate according to the instructions. At this point, the old man stared at Han Wei as if he were staring at a beautiful piece of jade. People with the heart to dominate the world, but no aptitude and no resources. There are plenty of people like that in the world. These people should resign themselves to being ants for the rest of their lives. The old man's face turned red as he shouted. A violent aura seemed to rise from his body. The old man was a little crazy. Are all mysterious experts like that? Han Wei kept his mouth shut. After roaring, the old man retracted his aura and looked at Han Wei with a normal expression. Today, I'll teach you the technique. Remember, you're walking a great path to heaven for all ordinary sword cultivators in the world, understand? Han Wei nodded. Wasn't this responsibility a little too much? Seeing Han Wei nod, the old man put one hand behind his back and took a step forward. I, M O U N have studied 360 sword techniques since I entered the Nine Mystic Sword Sect for a hundred years, but I've never been able to master them. When the three elders of the Sword Pavilion attacked, their sword chi spanned 30,000 feet. They could split mountains and rivers with one strike. Only then did I comprehend the move. Cultivate a wisp of sword energy, refine it, split it into 128,000 threads, and condense it into sword intent. The sword intent will be kneaded into 100 folds, turning into tempered steel. It will wrap around your fingers, then gather 3000 sword intent, and transform into the power of the world. This, therefore, is. The old man raised two fingers of his right hand and pointed. 
Ancestral Return of 10,000 Swords. His gaze was distant and firm. His figure was tall and straight, and his posture was as sharp as a sword. If it was coupled with thousands of swords flying, endless sword light lingering, and the world trembling, then it would really be ancestral return of 10,000 swords rushing into the sky. However, in the demonstration room, there seemed to be a weaker aura. After a long silence, Han Wei couldn't help but whisper, that's it. The old man slowly withdrew his hand. Instead of answering him, he asked, how much have you comprehended? Comprehend? Just this move, no, posture. Han Wei closed his eyes, and the image of the old man standing in place with his fingers raised slowly appeared in his mind. This time, the image moved so slowly that Han Wei wanted to fast forward. But he could feel something in the image. He looked carefully at the old man's eyes in the image, the old man's movements when he pointed, and the old man's expression when he shouted ancestral return of ten thousand swords. Unconsciously, he sensed a difference. Seriousness. Determination. There was determination in the old man's eyes. The old man's two fingers probed with determination. The old man looked determined. As the images changed again and again, the old man's aura became more and more solemn until all the images shattered. Han Wei opened his eyes. He had comprehended ancestral return of ten thousand swords. The moment he comprehended the Techniu, he felt all the sword chi in the illusory space in his body tremble and surge, as if it was about to surge out. He could control the sword chi in his body? The ancestral return of ten thousand swords was real. This ancestral return of ten thousand swords really condensed all the sword techniques in the world. Just one sword could shatter the galaxy. Looking at the old man in front of him, Han Wei only felt admiration. He raised his hand and bowed. Thank you for your guidance, senior. I have comprehended it. A mighty figure who could create such a cultivation technique was worthy of respect. You've learned it. The old man was stunned when he saw Han Wei's actions. What have you comprehended? Was this the final test? Han Wei straightened up, one hand clenched into a fist, his gaze firm. With a sword in hand, the world is mine. The old man frowned and was about to speak when he heard Han Wei say, I've comprehended that there's no sword in my hand, but a sword in my heart. No sword in the hand, but a sword in the heart. The old man was stunned and whispered. No sword in the hand, but a sword in the heart. Haha, no sword in the hand, but a sword in the heart. The old man let out a long laugh and turned away. It wasn't until he left that Han Wei remembered that he hadn't paid the ten spiritual rocks. And what happened to him taking in disciples? To be able to comprehend a cultivation technique like ancestral return of ten thousand swords after reading it once, this big shot still didn't accept him as his disciple and pass down his legacy? This was not a cultivation technique that could be used on the streets. How could he be so casual? Shaking his head, Han Wei could only put away the two books and prepare to leave the room. Perhaps this was fate. He was not born to be the elder's disciple. After putting away the book, spiritual light flashed on the jade wall in front of him. At a message on the jade wall made Han Wei's heart skip a beat. Room 85 requires an explanation of the two mystic sword technique, blue wave for 500 spiritual rocks. Blue wave. He had comprehended this sword technique the day before, and it was not just once. He subconsciously reached out and tapped on the jade wall, and the message dissipated. So he has accepted a mission. Han Wei walked out of the room to the door of room 85, took a deep breath, and pushed the door open. In the quiet room, a young man in an intersect white robe looked Han Wei up and down and frowned slightly. Senior brother. I don't think I've seen you in the intersect before. Han Wei said lightly, Do you think you recognize all 3,000 intersect disciples? That's not the young man's expression turned anxious. Before he could finish speaking, Han Wei waved his hand and said, You want to a demonstration of the blue wave sword technique. 
The young man nodded. Han Wei looked at the sword at the young man's waist and extended his hand. Give me the sword. Chapter 15 The First Person in the Outer Door, M.O. Yuan For sword cultivators, carrying a sword is a treasure, which is comparable to the existence of a Taoist companion. Ordinary people don't even want to touch it. Hearing that Han Wei wanted the long sword around his waist, the young man's expression changed. After hesitating for a moment, he raised his hand and drew out the long sword, then reversed the blade and handed the hilt to Han Wei. Han Wei stretched out his hand to take the long sword, and there was a twinkle in his eyes. The sword is named Yuliu, it is three feet three inches long and weighs eight caddies and two tails. The three-foot sword can handle this weight, the forging technique, and the spiritual materials used are all good. Han Wei's words made the young man's eyes light up. It is not bad to be able to distinguish the light, heavy, and long with the sword, which is a bit of a trick. I used one or two light irons in this sword. The young man said in a low voice. Lightweight iron? One or two pieces of light iron can turn a long sword into a semi-spiritual weapon. It seems that this thing is a treasure. Han Wei narrowed his eyes, and a picture of this sword forging appeared in his mind. The forging method is the method of pleating forging. The black iron is mixed with a piece of blue-gray spiritual material, and it is made by thousands of tempers. This forging method is called the first forging of spiritual tools. This is a common method for refining long swords suitable for condensing qi to the stage of foundation building. On the first floor of the sword pavilion, many swordsmen use this method. In fact, such swords are semi-finished products called semi-spiritual tools, and belong to the category of ordinary products. In the future, if you want to use it for a long time, you can use your own aura to refine it and improve its spirituality after the sword cultivator has improved to the realm, and finally it can be turned into a spiritual tool. Spirit Tool The sword tool hidden on the second floor of the Jianj Pavilion is the envoy of the strong in the realm, the sword flies into the sky, and the light of the sword is divided. The picture changed again, Han Wei saw the young man in front of him holding a long sword standing in front of a big river and dancing the sword constantly. The light of the sword is clear, it is Bibo, the second profound swordsmanship. The stream of light in the picture is shining, in Han Mu's opinion, this young Xiu's swordsmanship is not bad. Just looking at it, something is missing. Han Wei held the long sword in his hand, his palm turned upside down, and the blade of the sword gently probed forward. This style is countless times slower than the youth dancing sword in the picture. The young man across from him was about to make a sound when his expression suddenly changed, his eyes fixed on the sword in Han Mu's hand. The sword light flickered lightly, neither hurried nor slow, and kept suppressing. From the young man's point of view, this repression is the essence of this style of Bibo. When his master was performing for him, he once said that the blue waves in the cold pool should be like clouds and fog. This blue wave swordsmanship is about keeping the waves calm and the waters calm. Han Wei whispered softly, then the long sword moved gently, the sword light swaying like water waves, the front was light and the back was heavy. I see. When I was practicing swordsmanship on the big river, the water was rippling, and all the energy was drained. Surprise flashed on the young man's face. He raised his hand and clasped his fist. Just as he was about to speak, Han Wei put away his long sword and said calmly, This is just the first artistic conception of Bibo swordsmanship. The first wait? What's the meaning? The young man had a look of doubt on his face. When Master taught swordsmanship, did he not say that Bibo swordsmanship has a second artistic conception? Han Wei lightly pointed the long sword in his hand and then gave a low voice, look at it. The fragrant youth of that sword light is like a wandering dragon, swaying thousands of clear waves. The young man only felt that the endless waves were rushing towards him, and he exclaimed in surprise. He took a few steps back, bumped his back against the wall of the quiet room, and stopped just now. When he fixed his eyes on it again, there was only a long sword in front of him. 
Han Muye lightly clasped the sword's eaves with his fingers and handed the hilt to him. Silently took the long sword, the young man returned the sword to its sheath, and then bowed to Han Muye, Yang Shao, thank you brother for your guidance. With that said, he held the five pale golden finger-length jade tablets and sent them to Han Muye. This is the certificate of merit for the nine profound sword sect. One piece can be exchanged for one hundred spirit stones. Han Muye stretched out his hand to take over the meritorious deeds, turned around and walked away. When he reached the door, he paused and said softly, Actually, this blue wave swordsmanship has a third level. After speaking, Yang Xiao, who had widened his eyes, had already walked out of the quiet room before he could make a sound. And the third level. Second profound swordsmanship, how can there be a third level? Yang Xiao looked at the door of the quiet room, which was gently closed, with a dazed look on his face. By the way, who is this senior brother? His swordsmanship has reached the point of being light and light, and he can show his artistic conception without instilling spiritual energy. Could it be, which new heir is? A smile appeared on Han Wei's face as he walked out of the quiet room. The business needs to be done for a long time. With this type of blue wave, maybe you can make a profit. Bibo swordsmanship is originally the second profound swordsmanship, and it is rare to have a double artistic conception in it, and the third level should not exist. The reason why Han Wei said that there is a third level is that when he was wiping the sword pavilion and wiping the long sword, he realized this sword technique three times. After three confirmations, he actually had another insight, and deduced the third level of Bibo swordsmanship. The first stage is turbulent, the second stage is turbulent, and the third stage is returning to the essence, standing still. Han Wei walked to the front desk and handed back the door number of quiet room number 73 and two blank books. The middle-aged King Bao who received the reception stood up, put away the house number and Tai Niu Jin, and then said with a smile, This senior brother, Wang Jian Guizong does not belong to my Yanfalo exercise. Does it not belong to the Yanfa building? Also, this return of all laws is so powerful that it should not be practiced by ordinary inner disciples. Then I don't know where that elder Moun lives in the door. I forgot to ask just now. Han Wei asked. Hearing his words, the middle-aged King Bao grinned and said, What kind of elder is that? Moun, the number one person in the outer sect, has been with me in the Nine Profound Sword sect for almost two hundred years. Speaking of this, he chuckled and shook his head, I said that the first person in the outer sect is not the first in the outer sect, but he is the oldest in the outer section. Exterior doors? Not an elder, just an old man who has been around for two hundred years? That bearing, that finger sticking out, as if the sky is tilted and his face does not change his aura, he is just an outer sect disciple? It is said that when he first practiced, his aptitude was very good but he didn't know what was wrong, so he had to learn some kind of swordsmanship that embraces all things. You you reading www.yukansha.com Look, it's been two hundred years, and it hasn't condensed yet. Come to think of it, he also has little life expectancy. The middle-aged King Bao shook his head, looked at the book Wang Jian Guizong in Han Wei's hand, and said, This practice is deceptive. What kind of good practice can a disciple who can't enter the inner door in his entire life create? It took two hundred years of time and no condensed energy in his life to create this book The Return of Ten Thousand Swords. Han Wei looked at the book in his hand and felt that it was extremely important. He gently put away the book, then turned around and left. That, senior brother, would you like to take up the mission in the Yanfa building? The middle-aged King Bao said behind him. Han Wei turned his head and said lightly, What mission? Answering the practice questions of the disciples in the Yanfa building will not only get you a reward, but every time you answer ten times, the Yanfa building will also reward you with five meritorious deeds. The middle-aged King Bao smiled and said, Senior brother Yang Xiao was very satisfied with your answer just now, and is willing to add three more meritorious deeds. With that said, 
he handed out the three merit certificates. Can you still do this? Han Wie stretched out his hand to take over the meritorious service. Three hundred spirit stones, it would be a fool not to take them. It's okay to answer questions about the performance, but I don't want to be known by outsiders. Putting away the merit certificate, Han Wie said aloud. It's easy, the middle-aged King Bao said with a smile, there are many senior brothers and even elders who don't want to reveal their identities to take the task. They all reported a pseudonym and covered their faces with masks. Saying that, he stretched out his finger and pointed forward, look, that one is not. Han Wei turned his head to look and saw a man in a long robe and a bronze mask pushing the door into a quiet room. Okay, I've accepted this task. Han Wei nodded and left. Chapter 16, 3000 Sword Intense, Formation of the Iron Bull Knowledge was power. Han Wei had a deeper understanding of this statement now. If not for the fact that he had obtained so much understanding of swordsmanship through his extraordinary comprehension abilities, how could he have earned eight merit tokens? When he came, he only had one hundred spiritual rocks. But when he returned, he already had nearly one thousand spiritual rocks. On the way back, Han Wei was in a good mood. After all, money was a man's backbone. With money in his pocket, he had nothing to worry about. And that was only the beginning. In the future, he might be able to earn even more money. As he strode forward, he circulated his iron bull strength in his body. Instantly, there was a feeling of dust under his feet and his body was as light as a swallow. Was this what it would be like after cultivation? It really felt good. He could travel several feet with each step and it took him three times faster to get back to the sword pavilion than when he had left. Dark clouds enveloped the area, and golden spiritual light scattered outside the sword pavilion. As soon as he arrived at the entrance of the sword pavilion, a tall sword cultivator in a black robe walked out. This person was tall and had a straight figure, with a long sword on his back. His expression was gloomy. He glanced at Han Wei and left without saying anything. With just this glance, Han Wei felt his entire body tremble. The sword chi in the illusory space in his chest surged, wanting to rush out of his body. It was as if these sword chis were being provoked and wanted to fight back. Was this person an extraordinary expert? He walked into the sword pavilion. Huang Six was putting away the book on the long table. Brother, who was that? Hearing Han Wei's words, Huang Six did not even look up. Sword Battle Hall Deacon Ling Che an Earth Realm Spirit Awakening Realm expert. The Sword Battle Hall was the main hall of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect that was responsible for defending against enemies. There were many experts there. How is it? Do you feel uncomfortable just looking at him? Huang Six grinned and said. This was the first time Han Wei had seen an Earth Realm expert. It turned out that the experts in the cultivation world were really indeed powerful. There were three stages in the Earth Realm, connecting origin, spirit awakening, and core formation. An Earth Realm spirit awakening realm expert was actually so powerful? Then what about the core formation stage and even the Heaven Realm? His eyes flashed as he thought about the Human Realm, Earth Realm, and Heaven Realm. With the enhancement of his special abilities, he looked forward to his future. His goal was to rule over the world with his sword. An Earth Realm expert from the Sword Battle Hall died a few days ago. His sword will be returned tomorrow. Putting away the book, Huang Six looked at Han Wei and said grimly, Tomorrow morning, we will welcome the sword into the pavilion. Receiving the sword, welcoming it, polishing it, and drying it. Among these tasks, the last thing sword caretakers wanted was to welcome the sword. New swords were still alright as most of the sword chi was weaker. The swords of a fallen master contained all kinds of resentment and killing intent. To the sword caretakers, every time they welcomed such swords, it was torture. There was once a sword caretaker who faced a long sword of the spiritual artifact level. In the end, he was injured by the resentment in the sword and died in less than half a year. What body tempering technique did you learn at the demonstration building? 
Huang Six seemingly did not want to put pressure on Han Wei, so he changed the topic. I found a book on Iron Bowl Strength, Han Wei said with a smile. Iron Bowl Strength, Huang Six muttered, as if he had never heard of it. By the way, brother, your spiritual rocks Han Wei reached into his pocket and prepared to take out a merit token. It's fine. It's just 100 spiritual rocks. I don't need them anyway. Before Han Wei could take out his token, Huang Six waved his hand and left. Sleep well tonight and let's welcome the sword tomorrow. Be careful how you deal with it. Clutching the merit token in his hand, Han Wei chuckled and said nothing more. It was only 100 spiritual rocks. A favor was more precious than spiritual rocks. Back in his quiet room, he sat cross-legged and gently opened a book. This book only had five words Ancestral Return of Ten Thousand Swords. Slowly closing his eyes, the image of Mo Yuan's hand behind his back and pointing forward appeared in his mind again. Han Wei felt all the sword chi in the illusory space in his chest begin to stir, as if it was about to gush out with his call. However, there seemed to be something missing in the middle. Opening his eyes, Han Wei looked at the wall in front of him. His heart trembled as he thought of what Mo Yuan had said. Cultivate a wisp of sword chi, refine it, split it into 128,000 threads, and condense it into sword intent. The sword intent will be kneaded into 100 folds, turning into tempered steel. It will wrap around your fingers, then gather 3,000 sword intent, and transform into the power of the world. Only 128,000 threads of sword chi could condense into a sword intent. 3,000 sword intents would then transform into the power of heaven and earth. Using the power of heaven and earth, one sword was equivalent to the power of 10,000 swords. This was the meaning of ancestral return of 10,000 swords. 128,000 threads of sword chi condensing into a sword intent. Did he not have enough sword chi? Boom. In an instant, the ball of fiery red sword chi taken from the purple flame sword in the illusory space suddenly exploded, turning into countless strands of sword chi. It dispersed into sword chi and condensed into sword intent. It turned out that this huge and pure sword chi was the sword intent that condensed the mental energy via sword cultivation. Not only this sword intent exploded, but the thick sword chi in the illusory space also turned into countless wisps. In an instant, the illusory space was completely filled with sword chi. In this illusory space, there were more than a million sword chi. His eyes shining, Han Wei raised his hand and looked at his palm. A surge of energy was awaiting him. As long as he pointed his finger forward, the mountains and rivers in front of him could shatter and he could fight the world. This was the ancestral return of ten thousand swords. This was a sword that no one in the world could block. Outside the room, all the swords seemed to sense something. They trembled slightly. The swords seemed to be soldiers awaiting their summon. As long as Han Wei pointed his arm forward, all the swords would advance forward and fight to their deaths. Suppressing the surging sword chi in his chest, Han Wei slowly retracted his palm. This room was not a place to test out the ancestral return of ten thousand swords. Retracting his palm, the sword chi in his illusory space circled, then gathered again and slowly rotated. The sword intent from the purple flame sword seemed to have become even more refined during the condensation and scattering just now. The other sword chi that originally filled the space collided and fused, finally turning into thirteen thick sword intents. Countless sword chi gathered and condensed into these thirteen sword intents. At this moment, Han Wei had a total of fourteen sword intents and could activate the skill fourteen times. I wonder what it will be like if there were three thousand sword intents condensing into the sword momentum. The sword momentum had the power to control the world. One strike was enough to overturn the world. How many people in the world could master such a sword? One sword momentum required 3,000 sword intents. Han Wei smiled, his eyes sparkling. The swords in the sword pavilion contained endless sword chi. When would he be lacking in it? There would finally be a time 3,000 sword intents would condense. 
at that time, who in the world could block the sword in his hand? Retracting his sword chi, Han Wei slowly circulated his newly cultivated body tempering technique, iron bowl strength. This was a body tempering technique that could strengthen his muscles and bones and resist the corrosion of sword chi. Although he did not believe that the sword chi that was close to him would hurt him, he still cultivated his body tempering technique. It was always better to be prepared. Even if it was used for traveling, it would make him faster, right? The scene of Zhao Piyu practicing the iron bull strength in the demonstration building kept recurring in his mind. On Han Wei's body, a condensed chi and blood began to gather. An illusory green ox with a metallic color slowly appeared behind him. The iron bull had formed, it was a success. Chapter 17, Iron Bull Strength Success, Second Level of the Blue Wave Sword Technique If outsiders saw this scene in the room, they would probably be dumbfounded. After cultivating for less than half a day, Han Wei had already reached the Greater Mastery Stage. From the beginner stage of the cultivation technique, one still needed to perfect the initial mastery stage in order to progress to the Greater Mastery Stage. No matter how simple a cultivation technique was, it was not something that could be achieved overnight. Which person did not spend years or even decades of hard work to master a cultivation technique? His maximum level comprehension was too heaven-defying. After the Iron Bull formation, Han Wei's eyes emitted a faint divine light. There was also a faint dark golden halo around his body. However, this halo was too faint to be sensed at all. Using a body tempering cultivation technique, my body has become as hard as iron and my meridians are stable. Is this considered entering into the essence energy cultivation stage? Han Wei muttered to himself and smiled bitterly. Is that considered a surprise? What he wanted to cultivate was a cultivation technique that could allow him to live forever, not this body tempering technique that could only strengthen his body. Even if one cultivated a body tempering technique to the peak, it would only be at the peak of the human realm. There was no one in the world who could cultivate to the earth realm with body tempering techniques. The green ox shadow behind him slowly dissipated, and Han Wei prepared to stop cultivation. The images in his mind kept changing, making him stunned. Could it continue after condensing into a green ox? Hum. With a soft sound, a second green ox shadow appeared behind him. The blood in his body seemed to be about to rush out of his body. In an instant, Han Wei felt his strength skyrocket, as if his muscles and bones had become extremely full. He was certain that he could shatter the wall in front of him with a single punch. Han Wei's eyes widened, and the image in his mind dissipated. After I master the cultivation technique, I can still cultivate further. Is there a second level of iron bull strength? A body tempering technique bought with 80 spiritual rocks could be cultivated to the second level? Perhaps the iron bull strength was not the lowest level body tempering technique? The image in his mind had dissipated, and Han Wei did not manage to cultivate further. He decided to ask Zhao Piyu about the cultivation of this iron bull strength when he had the chance. After all, this intersect expert was quite kind. Han Wei's pitiful little cultivation experience told him that to cultivate, he had to be steady. On the Nine Mystic Mountain, where intersect disciples lived, Yang Xiao stood in front of an attic with a complicated expression. Junior brother Yang Xiao, master doesn't want to see you. You should leave, a white-robed young man with an arrogant expression said coldly. You couldn't cultivate the blue wave in three months, so you are no longer qualified to cultivate under master, said another young man in a white robe with a jade belt. When you go out in the future, don't say that you are my junior brother. With that, the young man flicked his sleeve and strode away. He was one of the 72 intersect experts, Su Chinjiun. The 3,000 intersect disciples were all above the Qi condensation realm. Most of them were already in the foundation establishment realm. Su Chinjiun was an expert who had already stepped into the foundation establishment realm. Yang Xiao nodded and stood where he was without saying anything. After a long time, a voice came from the attic. Yang Xiao, 
I'll give you three more days. If you can't cultivate Blue Wave in three days, you don't have to come to my Three Lake Pavilion in the future. His voice was cold and calm. Excitement flashed across Yang Xiao's face as he bowed. Master, I've already mastered the Blue Wave. There was silence in the attic at his words. Then a voice said, OK, I'll give you one last chance. Come up and see me. Yang Xiao straightened his clothes and strode into the attic. In front of the attic, several young men in white robes looked at each other. A young man with a long sword on his back frowned and said, he didn't have any clue yesterday, but he can cultivate it today. There was a three-legged cauldron pattern on their clothes. It was the mark of a fellow disciple. The Three Lake Pavilion was the cultivation sect of the inner sect elder, Su House Hung. All his disciples would have this three-legged cauldron symbol. Let's go take a look. As long as he doesn't embarrass the Three Lake Pavilion. The lanky young man standing at the front turned and stepped into the pavilion. The others looked at each other and quietly followed. At this moment, Yang Xiao had already bowed in front of an old man in grey clothes with white hair. Yang Xiao, back then, I said that your aptitude is not bad, but your comprehension is a little lacking. This blue wave sword technique is a test for you. The old man's face was expressionless as he spoke. I understand, Yang Xiao lowered his head and replied softly. How many intersect disciples could become disciples of an elder? He would risk his life to seize such an opportunity. However, just as his master had said, his comprehension was indeed not too great. He still could not comprehend the blue wave sword technique after three months. The fellow disciples quietly approached and bowed to Su House Hung, who was sitting at the head of the table. Su House Hung nodded and looked at Yang Xiao. He waved his sleeve and said, you may begin your demonstration of the blue wave sword technique. Yang Xiao nodded, took a deep breath, and slowly closed his eyes. In the demonstration building that day, the senior brother used an extremely slow method to explain clearly, making him suddenly enlightened. So much for the blue wave. With his hand on the hilt, Yang Xiao's thoughts were no longer at the first level of the blue wave. His master was an elder of the sect, an earth realm expert, and had countless experts under him. If he wanted to obtain his master's recognition and favor, he had to stand out. Today, he had to seize this opportunity. Clang! Yang Xiao unsheathed his sword and flicked his arm. The sword light transformed into a thin line. The thin line was fast, fast to the extreme, like a great river running. Sigh, he still hasn't comprehended it. Nearby, Someone shook his head gently. He he, you've cultivated the blue wave sword technique to this state even after three months. How are you qualified to stay in the Three Lake Pavilion? On the other side, someone sneered. We can't blame senior brother Su for looking down on you. Master doesn't leave mediocre people behind. The thin and tall disciple standing in front said coldly. At the head of the table, Su House Hung frowned slightly. He stared at the sword in Yang Xiao's hand with a hint of confusion in his eyes. The sword light in Yang Xiao's hand was very thin and fast. He imagined what he'd seen, and the sword seemed to tip the sky. It was a sword that made him lose his mind. There was still the second level of blue wave. Hum. The sword in his hand seemed to understand his intentions. Rays of light spread out as if it had exploded. Instant brilliance. The sword light flickered with a dazzling cold light, like surging waves in a calm ancient well. Su House Hung stood up and took a step forward. He raised his hand and pointed at Yang Xiao's sword. Clang! The sword vibrated, flew thirty feet, and landed on the floor. Su House Hung stared at Yang Xiao, his aura extremely solemn. Why do you have to practice your blue wave like this? Why? Hugging his trembling right hand, Yang Xiao said in a low voice, I thought that even if the cold lake is calm, there will eventually be waves surging. This strike is when the waves rise. He <laughs> he, you had comprehended the second level of the blue wave after three months. Yang Xiao, your comprehension ability is beyond the level of the test. 
Looking at Yang Xiao in front of him, Su Haosheng felt like he was looking at a beautiful jade that had yet to be polished. Clenching his fists slightly, Yang Xiao raised his head and looked at Su Haosheng. Master, I think there's still a third level of the blue wave, but I haven't comprehended it yet. Su Haosheng's outstretched arm froze. The third level. Chapter 18, Legacy, Welcoming Sword into the Pavilion Silence filled the lobby. Su Haosheng, who was standing there, seemed to have thought of something and his gaze became a little unfocused. The disciples below lowered their heads and hid the shock on their faces. Yang Xiao did not know if he had made the right bet. All right. Su Haosheng suddenly shouted. His eyes were filled with light as he patted Yang Xiao's shoulder and laughed. From now on, you will be my, Su Hasheng's, third direct disciple. Direct disciple. In the hall, the white-robed disciples widened their eyes. There were dozens of disciples in the Three Lake Pavilion, but only two of them who were direct disciples. Even Su Chinjiun, one of the 72 inner sect experts, was not a disciple of the Three Lake Pavilion. The two inner disciples of the Three Lake Pavilion were both elites. Yet at this moment, his master wanted to take Yang Xiao as his third direct disciple. Without hesitation, Yang Xiao knelt on one knee and bowed. Disciple Yang Xiao greets master. A teacher was like a father. He became a direct disciple like this. Becoming a direct disciple meant that he could continue the legacy. The resources he would obtain were worlds apart from outsiders. Su Haosheng, who had retracted his palms, said in a deep voice, Yang Xiao, if you can comprehend the third level of the blue wave sword technique in three years, I'll let you be part of the legacy. The legacy. The nine mystic sword sect had tens of thousands of outer sect and three thousand inner sect disciples. How many direct disciples who could gain the legacy were there? Including those who had cultivated for who knows how many years, wouldn't there be at least a hundred of them? Which direct disciple in the sect wasn't famous and had a faction of influence in their hands? After that day, his position would soar into the sky. Greetings, Senior Brother Yang. In the Three Lake Pavilion, all the disciples bowed to Yang Xiao. The direct disciples were ranked above the inner sect disciples. And direct disciples were existences that competed with all their peers in the entire sect. Since their master valued Yang Xiao so much, how could the disciples dare to be disrespectful? Yang Xiao smiled and gently raised his hand. Junior brothers, don't stand on ceremony. In the future, his status in the Three Lake Pavilion would be above Su Jiun's. Except for the two other direct disciples, the others were all his juniors. All of this was because of the explanation and demonstration of the senior brother in the demonstration building. Thinking of Han Wei, Yang Xiao's heart burned. After cultivating to the third level of the blue wave, he would become his master's most valued disciple and become a core disciple of the sect. Yang Xiao seemed to see a shining bright path in front of him. From now on, he would live in the demonstration building. Han Wei didn't know if it was because he had cultivated the iron bull strength or because he had mastered the ancestral return of 10,000 swords technique, but when he woke up in the morning, he was in high spirits. After practicing his swordsmanship a few times in the small courtyard, he actually felt that his understanding of swordsmanship had improved. Little Han, when you welcome the sword later, stand behind me. Huang Six, who was dressed in a black shirt, stood slightly taller, but his eyes were still old-looking. As the two of them packed up, in the distance, a bell rang. The bell rang three times. If someone from Earth Realm has fallen, the bell would ring three times. If it's someone from Heaven Realm, the bell would ring six times. Huang Six shook his head and muttered to himself, it seems to be the seventh time in the past two years. His words shook Han Wei slightly. Seven times meant that at least seven Earth Realm experts had died. Earth Realm experts were the pillars of the sect. They were considered experts in any sect. A cultivator from the Earth Realm had a long lifespan and would not usually die. Unless it was a battle with someone. Could it be that the cultivation world was not peaceful either? 
At the entrance of the Sword Pavilion, Han Wei, who was standing behind Huang Six, asked, Didn't they say that the Nine Mystic Sword sect doesn't have anyone from Heaven Realm? Why would there be six rings? There are no Heaven Realm experts. Isn't the Sword Pavilion's elder Huang Six suddenly stopped? Han Wei turned around and saw the white-robed Patriarch stepping down. If the Patriarch of the Sword Pavilion had died, the bell would ring six times? Han Wei muttered to himself. When can I hear six rings? The Sword Pavilion Patriarch did not look at the two of them and walked to the stone steps of the Sword Pavilion. In front of the Sword Pavilion, a group of black-robed sword cultivators walked solemnly. These people carried long swords on their backs and wore black robes. They paused with every step, as if their footsteps weighed a thousand kilograms. In front of the black-robed sword cultivator, a white-bearded old man held a long and narrow wooden box with both hands. He looked ahead with a solemn expression. Han Wei had seen this person the day before. He was the deacon of the Battle Sword Hall, Ling Che, an Earth Realm Spirit Awakening Realm expert. Ling Che walked to the steps of the Sword Pavilion and stood with his sword in both hands. Ling Che, the deacon of the Nine Mystic Sword Sex Battle Sword Hall, is bring back senior brother Zhou Yans, the deacon of the Battle Sword Hall, sword. Ling Che stepped forward and shouted. Behind him, the two rows of black-clothed sword cultivators bowed and cupped their fists. Senior brother Zhou Yan joined the Nine Mystic Sword Sect for 300 years and achieved great success. He entered the Battle Sword Hall and fought a hundred battles for the section. Senior brother has died today. The Battle Sword Hall will send senior brother Zhou Yan off to the Sword Pavilion with his sword. His name will live forever. Ling Che shouted and held the wooden box with both hands in front of the Sword Pavilion Patriarch. All the black-clothed sword cultivators shouted in unison, Farewell to senior brother Zhou Yan. The sword pavilion patriarch raised his hand and opened the wooden box. Then, he reached out and took out a green-sheathed sword. Hum! The sword vibrated, as if with indignation or endless resentment. A murderous and cold aura instantly filled a ten-meter radius. Han Wei felt a chill run down his spine. He unconsciously activated his iron bull strength to block the chill. Senior brother, don't worry. My battle sword hall will definitely avenge you and take Qin Yu and his head to offer to you. Great spiritual sword sect. It was one of the nine sects of the western frontier, and ranked fourth among the four great sword sects. An earth realm expert of the nine mystic sword sect had died at the hands of an expert of the great spiritual sword sect. This was no small matter. If the two great sword sects of the Western Frontier were to be at war, the entire Western Frontier would probably be involved. Han Wei poked his head out and looked at the sword in the hand of the Sword Pavilion Patriarch. Welcome Deacon Zhou's sword into the Sword Pavilion. The Sword Pavilion Patriarch raised his hand and handed the sword behind him. Huang Six took a step forward, bowed and raised his hand. Let him do it. The Sword Pavilion Patriarch still raised his sword and spoke calmly. Huang Six shuddered. Patriarch, Han Wei had just joined. Before Huang Six could finish, the Sword Pavilion Elder turned slightly and looked at Han Wei. Hum. Han Wei instantly activated all his iron bull strength, and his muscles and bones seemed to have been hit by a heavy hammer, causing his vision to blur. The fourteen sword intents stored in the illusory space in his chest trembled, as if they were about to rush out. With just a glance, he had stirred up all the sword intent. How strong was this sword pavilion patriarch? However, this power seemed to be completely different from Ling Che's at the spirit awakening realm. It was all guided by sword intent. With a sigh of relief, Han Wei stepped forward and nodded to Huang Six, who gave him a meaningful look. Then he bowed and said, Disciple welcomes the sword. The sword pavilion patriarch placed the sword in Han Wei's hand. Put it on the second floor. Han Wei nodded, holding his sword in both hands, and turned toward the second floor. Huang Zhenxiang, you've been a sword caretaker for seven years. Haven't you seen enough? 
once you become a sword caretaker, your life and death will depend on fate. Behind him, the voice of the sword pavilion patriarch sounded faintly. It turned out that Huang Sik's real name was quite domineering. Holding his sword, Han Wei looked neither sad nor happy. The sword pavilion patriarch's words were meant for himself. Since his sword Qi had already entered his heart and he did not have long to live, leaving the task of welcoming the sword to him could be considered making the best use of it. The sword pavilion patriarch could not be blamed for being heartless. As a sword caretaker, he should be prepared to die from the corrosion of sword Qi. Except maybe that wasn't the case? As he stepped onto the second floor of the sword pavilion, Han Wei smiled. He placed his palm lightly on the hilt of the sword he held. Hum. The sword hummed, and images appeared in his mind. The sword of an earth realm expert. Chapter 19, Sending the sword to the second floor of the sword pavilion and comprehending it again. Images appeared one after another in Han Wei's mind. Under the green pine tree and bamboo, a young deist in a green robe held a long sword. Sword light flowed back and forth. The swordsmanship was smooth and concise. The man grew from young to middle-aged to white-haired. The sword light kept flowing, simple to cumbersome, and from cumbersome to concise. He had comprehended the mystic element sword technique, golden thread. He had comprehended the one mystic sword technique, melting gold. He had comprehended the two mystic sword technique, gold point. He had comprehended the three mystic sword technique, gold fragments. Other than the two mystic sword technique, the other metal elemental sword techniques were all new to him. It could be seen that the owner of this sword cultivated metal elemental sword techniques, and his level of cultivation was profound. However, could an earth realm expert only cultivate the three mystic sword techniques? With his cultivation level, he should at least cultivate up to the four mystic level. Han Wei carried his sword upstairs and suddenly stopped. In the image in his mind, the Deist's sword technique, which was originally simple, suddenly became sharp. His every move changed drastically. The sword move was filled with killing intent. He had comprehended the four spiritual sword technique of the Great Spiritual Sword Sect Clearance Kill. The swordsmanship of the Great Spiritual Sword Sect. Wasn't this the Nine Mystic Sword Sect's rival sect? Wasn't the Battle Sword Hall's Deacon Zhou Yan killed by someone from the Great Spiritual Sword Sect? The sword techniques of our Great Spiritual Sword Sect place more emphasis on essence, energy, and spirit than the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. That's why you only have a chance to make a breakthrough by cultivating our Great Spiritual Sword Sect's sword techniques. Don't worry. No one in this world knows that you've cultivated the great spiritual sword sex sword technique. You're my brother. Would I harm you? In the image, a young man in a green robe smiled. Sword light flashed in his hand. It was the four spiritual sword technique clearance kill. Qin Yu and he, what you're looking for is in the sword pavilion. As long as I make a breakthrough, I'll help you get it. From now on, we're even. There was a hint of hesitation in the old voice. Finally, he turned and left. The image ended there. Qin Yu and he? The expert from the great spiritual sword sect who killed Deacon Zhou Yan? What are they looking for? Was anything taken from the sword pavilion? Zhou Yan was killed. What was the mystery behind the dispute between the nine mystic sword sect and the great spiritual sword sect? After seeing the images, Han Wei was even more puzzled. A sharp aura flowed from his palm into his body. The sword Qi was indeed harmful to the body. At this moment, he sensed something. He could feel as if the meridians in his body had been scraped by a blade. A sharp pain went straight to his chest. In an instant, a green sword intent seeped into his meridians from the illusory space, calming the pain. If sword Qi could harm the body, could it also nourish the body? He knew too little about sword chi, so he didn't know if this was a good or bad thing. A ball of golden sword energy landed in the illusory space. Above this sword chi, there were wisps of green-black sword chi interweaving. 
This sword Qi seemed to have yet to accumulate into 128,000 threads and had yet to condense into sword intent. Compared to the other 14 sword intents in the illusory space, it was slightly weaker. At this moment, Han Wei had already stepped onto the second floor of the sword pavilion and stood in front of rows of wooden shelves. Endless sharp, cold air came at him. The sword Qi on the second floor of the sword pavilion was countless times sharper and colder than the first floor of the sword pavilion. Two green ox phantoms appeared around him. However, before the phantoms could condense, they were shattered by the sword Qi. The sword Qi rushed into his body, as if it wanted to tear him into pieces. Escape. If you did not escape, you would be killed by these sword Qi. Such thought surfaced in Han Wei's mind. A voice in his head seemed to urge him to turn and run. But he didn't move an inch. The hand holding the sword slowly clenched, and Han Wei's eyes flashed. The fiery red sword intent in the illusory space in his chest exploded. A scorching aura surged throughout his body. His meridians and limbs were instantly filled, and wisps of flame-like aura floated out of Han Wei's body. On the second floor, the swords vibrated. All the sword chi that rushed at him dissipated. What a bunch of naughty little guys! The flames melted, and the meridians in his limbs ached. Han Wei shook his head and said softly. It was obvious that the swords on the second floor of the sword pavilion were not only sharp but also aggressive. They were not as docile as those on the first floor. If he wanted to gain the recognition of these swords, he had to show them strength that would convince them. Patriarch Ta Ran's sword intent was proof of his strength. As he moved forward, there were no more sword chi wreaking havoc. They seemed to have become obedient. Finding an empty spot, Han Wei placed his sword on the shelf. 5869, Bright Peak. That was Zhou Yan's sword, Bright Peak. Turning, he headed back. He had taken only a few steps when he paused and turned slowly. Looking at the rows of wooden shelves in front of him, Han Wei smiled. If he was not summoned by the Sword Pavilion Patriarch, he was not allowed to go to the second floor of the Sword Pavilion until he had served ten years. This was a good opportunity to go to the second floor of the Sword Pavilion. Raising his hand, he held the hilt of a long sword. Clang! The sword was drawn. Images flashed into Han Wei's mind. One sword technique after another was comprehended. He reached up and grasped the hilt of another sword. When Han Wei woke up, it was already noon. When he opened his eyes, he saw the walls of his room and Huang Sik's anxious face. Brother. He got up slowly. Apart from feeling sore and bloated, his head was buzzing and spinning. Lie down, lie down. Huang Sik quickly reached out to hold Han Wei down. Sai, the sword chi on the second floor is too strong, Huang Six couldn't help but turn his head when his gaze landed on Han Wei's face. Rest well. He patted Han Wei's shoulder and turned to leave. On the wooden couch, Han Wei slowly sat up and smiled bitterly as he recalled the situation in the morning. He had underestimated these swords. Cultivation. Life. Joy and sorrow. Comprehension. On the first floor of the sword pavilion, he did not realize that every sword on the second floor of the sword pavilion was the life of an earth realm expert. The sword chi was only secondary. Those swords contained the life scenes of every sword cultivator. Just now, when Han Wei was comprehending the tenth sword, his mind suddenly hurt, and then he lost consciousness. Now that he thought about it, he must have comprehended too much in a short period of time and his mental strength was not enough. Ignorance is bliss. With a small sigh, he slowly got out of bed. In the future, he had to improve his knowledge about cultivation. Otherwise, he wouldn't even know how he died. Standing in front of the door, Han Wei's pale face broke into a smile. Danger was often accompanied by gain. At this moment, Ten resplendent sword intents appeared in the illusory space in his chest and abdomen, slowly spinning around the ball of fiery red sword intent in the middle. In addition to sword intent, 
he had also comprehended the ultimate sword technique cultivated by ten Earth Realm experts. Five types of four mystic sword techniques. Thirteen types of three mystic sword techniques. Thirty types of the second mystic sword techniques. Eighty-two types of one mystic sword technique. There were five types of mystic element sword techniques. Those Earth Realm experts had almost forgotten all about the mystic element sword techniques. Han Wei walked out of the quiet room. Huang Six, who was sitting at the long table in a daze, looked up. You didn't I tell you to rest? Han Wei shook his head and whispered, I'm going to the medical hall. He had promised Mu Wan that he would help her comprehend alchemy. Huang Six opened his mouth and finally nodded. All right, go. Then, he asked, do you have enough spiritual rocks? Han Wei laughed and looked at him. Brother, you're still lending me spiritual rocks? Aren't you afraid that I'll die and be unable to pay back? Chapter 20, It's Good to Do Something You Love What do you mean you won't live to pay back? Huang Six glared at Han Wei and stood up, preparing to get the spiritual rocks. Han Wei pulled him back and said, I'm just going to watch Junior Sister Mu Wan refine pills, not buy pills. With that, he turned and walked out of the sword pavilion, smiling. Not to buy pills, but for that. Huang Six shook his head and sat back at the long table. Anyway, the patriarch said you only had a month to live. It's good to do something you love. Looking at Han Wei's back, Huang Six said softly with a lonely expression. I wonder how long I'll last. When Han Wei arrived at the medical hall, Mu Wan was already waiting in front of the bamboo building. Eh, senior brother, you don't look too good. You seem to have injured your essence energy. Seeing Han Wei, Mu Wan frowned and said softly. It's fine. I had welcomed a sword today and suffered some sword chi attacks. Han Wei waved his hand, then chuckled. Let's go. What pill do you want to refine? Is senior brother really fine? Mu Wan asked again, worried. Han Wei shook his head and walked into the bamboo building. Mu Wan led him to a quiet corner. Senior brother, I want to refine one of the more difficult ninth grade pills, the Cloud Chi pill. This pill can split up the spiritual energy and soften the meridians. It's one of the best pills in the Qi condensation realm. A cloud chi pill can be sold for 30 spiritual rocks. Mu Wan looked up at Han Wei and smiled shyly. With this pill, I won't ever lack spiritual rocks for cultivation. Han Wei nodded. Poverty was the problem faced by all heroes. The world of cultivation was even more so. A good cultivation technique cost tens of thousands of spiritual rocks. Moreover, if one cultivated alchemy, Refining a furnace of spiritual herbs and failing would result in a huge waste of spiritual rocks. Hum. In front of Mu Wan, flames rose from the pill furnace and spiritual herbs were placed on the table. Han Wei watched her with narrowed eyes. It was obvious that Mu Wan had refined this cloud chi pill more than once or twice. She was very familiar with throwing pills and operating the pill furnace. However, after the spiritual herbs were placed, it seemed that her cultivation level was insufficient. Her forehead was sweating, and it was very difficult for her to circulate the pill furnace. Half an hour later, the furnace began to shake. Mu Wan looked regretful and slowly stopped. She had given up. It was still not working. She looked up at Han Wei and froze. At this moment, Han Wei was staring at the pill furnace that was still spinning three feet above the ground his eyes shining. Matching of the literature and martial arts, harmony of the yin and yang. Han Wei muttered softly then said, Junior sister Mu Wan, there's a medicinal primer missing from your pill. Medicinal primer. Mu Wan looked confused. She had only heard that medicinal primers were needed in the mortal world. She had never heard that medicinal primers were needed in alchemy. Then, senior brother, what is the medicinal primer you mentioned? Han Wei looked at Mu Wan and asked, Junior sister, are you in the Qi condensation realm? 
Mu Wang nodded. I've been in the Qi condensation realm for more than three months. All right, inject a wisp of your spiritual energy into the pill furnace as a medicinal primer, Han Wei said. A wisp of spiritual energy? What kind of method was this? Doubtful, Mu Wang raised her hand, and a wisp of faint green spiritual energy shot out from her fingertip and landed in the pill furnace. Hum. The pill furnace that was originally shaking continuously swayed gently, and then the scattered medicinal strength began to spin in an orderly manner. Mu Wan's eyes widened as she watched the medicine in the cauldron gather into a ball. Why aren't you condensing your core? Han Wei reminded her. Oh, okay. Mu Wan hurriedly took action, hitting her palm on the pill furnace. The medicine in the furnace slowly condensed and finally turned into a light green bean-sized pill that flew out of the furnace. It's done. Mu Wan reached out to catch the pill and examined it in her palm, her face full of joy. When she looked up, she realized that Han Wei had already left. Senior brother Han is really a strange person, Mu Wan muttered to herself as she held the pill in her hand. After leaving the medical hall, Han Wei did not return to the Sword Pavilion immediately. Instead, he asked around and headed to the plaza not far away. Just now, while watching Mu Wan refine pills, he had comprehended the method to refine Cloud Chi pills. Not only that, but the suggestion he had provided to Mu Wan had also inspired him. As long as he used the spiritual energy of the Qi condensation realm as a medicinal primer, could he also refine pills? Alchemy was a profitable business. When he reached the small plaza, Han Wei looked around. Around the plaza were small shops. Some of these shops were opened by disciples of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect, some by foreign cultivators, and a few were directly owned by the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. This was a market specially for the disciples of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect to trade. Han Wei looked at the shops and saw that many of them sold ores, swords, talismans, and pills. The quality was not high, but it was relatively cheap. After all, it was specially prepared for outer sect disciples. Those elites in the sect did not need these at all. They could directly exchange for the items as their sect mission rewards. The inner sect disciples could also obtain swords from the sword pavilion. Only a large number of outer sect disciples and servant disciples who wanted to cultivate would exchange for valuable treasures in such a market. Seeing the white-robed Han Wei, the eyes of many shop owners lit up, and they smiled eagerly. In this small market filled with people with green and grey robes, the white robes of the inner sect were extremely eye-catching. Han Wei turned half a circle and walked into a shop called Sahen Store. There were some spiritual herbs and items related to alchemy placed outside the shop for sale. As he entered the shop, the two female cultivators who had been chatting turned around. Senior brother, what are you looking for? The green-robed female cultivator, who was obviously the owner of the shop, looked at Han Wei and smiled. The female cultivator who was chatting with the shop owner sized up Han Wei curiously. When she saw Han Wei's pale face, she frowned slightly. I want to find a pill furnace and some spiritual herbs for the Cloud Chi pill. After a pause, Han Wei continued, It would be even better if I could have a Cloud Chi pill. The shopkeeper was all smiles when she heard Han Wei's words. Yes, yes. She placed a three legged pill furnace the size of a watermelon on the shelf behind her on the counter then retrieved a few medicinal packets. Immortal Jinyuan, please give me a cloud chi pill. The shop owner reached out her hand and smiled at the female cultivator beside him. The female cultivator nodded and took out a pill. This pill was the cloud chi pill that Mu Wan had refined previously. 30 spiritual rocks for the pill and 100 spiritual rocks for 10 sets of spiritual herbs. As for this pill furnace, the shop owner sized up Han Wei and said softly, I'll take 500 spiritual rocks from you, senior brother. Han Wei looked at the pills and spiritual herbs, then at the furnace, and said lightly, 500 spiritual rocks altogether. The shopkeeper was stunned for a moment before she smiled and said, Senior brother, you were really a daring bargainer. 
500 it is. However, if senior brother can refine extra cloud chi pills, you have to sell them to me, Bai Sohen. Bai Sohen. He wondered if her husband's name was Su Xian. Han Wei muttered and nodded, then pulled out five merit tokens and placed them on the counter. He put away the pills and walked out with the cauldron. Senior brother, I'm afraid you won't live long. Suddenly, the female cultivator in the shop spoke in a low voice. Han Wei stopped and turned. Look at me, how long can I live? Han Wei looked at the female cultivator. The female cultivator's eyes flickered as she carefully sized up Han Wei. Then she said softly, I'm afraid senior brother only has a month to live. Chapter 21, Seven Days of Lifespan, Refine Pills with Sword Chi Ordinary mortals could only live for at most 100 years. Once a cultivator reached the essence energy cultivation stage, their bloodline would be stable, their muscles and bones would be strong, and their lifespan would increase significantly. Those who knew how to nourish their bodies, even in their essence energy cultivation stage, could only enjoy 200 years of lifespan. As those from the Qi condensation to foundation establishment stage, it did not increase their lifespan much. After all, after reaching the Qi condensation realm, there was not much tempering of the muscles and bones. Foundation establishment cultivators could only live for 300 to 400 years at most. However, as long as one broke through the human realm and entered the earth realm, reaching the connecting origin stage, one's lifespan would greatly increase. With the power of the connecting origin, one could communicate with the origin power of the world and enjoy 1,000 years of lifespan. Actually, for most cultivators, lifespan was not something to consider. As long as one's cultivation improved, one's lifespan would naturally not be an issue. If one's cultivation stagnated, one's lifespan would also be reduced and it would be useless to do anything. These were all information Han Wei had obtained from the swords on the second floor of the sword pavilion. Unfortunately, there were very few cultivation messages left behind in the swords. Most of the swords only left behind insights about sword cultivation. You're saying that I only have a month to live. Han Wei felt his heart tremble as he looked at the female cultivator. He knew that his sword chi had entered his abdomen and injured his soul that day. But why only a month to live? Senior brother, you cultivate a body tempering technique. Logically speaking, your lifespan should not be less than 100 years. The female cultivator's gaze swept across Han Wei. It's just that your soul is damaged, and, after a pause, she said in a low voice, and your meridians have been attacked by sword chi, and your sea of chi has been infused with sword chi, which is constantly reducing your lifespan. It's already considered a long time for you to have a month to live. If you don't restrain the sword chi in your body, I'm afraid you won't live for more than seven days. She just mentioned a month. How had it become seven days? Hearing the female cultivator say that there was sword chi in Han Wei's body, the female shop owner named Bai Sohen's eyes flickered. See of. Han Wei's heart skipped a beat. That illusory space was the sea of chi? His energy was stored in his lower abdomen, his chi meridians were found within his chest, and his soul was hidden between his eyebrows. This was also the knowledge he had obtained on the second floor of the sword pavilion. However, Han Wei had listened to it all without understanding it. At this moment, the female cultivator's words enlightened him. It turned out that the sword chi was stored in his sea of chi. The female cultivator nodded and said softly, Senior brother, you haven't reached the foundation establishment realm and haven't activated your sea of chi. It's normal that you don't know that your core has been injured by the sword chi. Then, can I still be saved? Han Wei asked in a low voice. The sword pavilion patriarch said that he did not have much time left, and the female cultivator in front of him also said that he was about to die. Although he did not believe that the sword chi would hurt him, Han Wei was still nervous. You can take a pill that can increase one's lifespan or raise your body tempering technique to the ninth level of the essence energy cultivation stage. 
If you can channel out these sword chis, that's fine too. After the female cultivator finished speaking, she shook her head slightly and sighed. Medicinal pills that can increase one's lifespan are extremely precious. Body tempering cultivation techniques are easy to pick up but difficult to master. I'm afraid you will need a core formation realm elder to help you with this. Precious pills naturally required a lot of spiritual rocks. It was also not easy to cultivate a body tempering technique to the ninth level of the essence energy cultivation stage. It would be even more impossible for him to find a core formation realm elder to help him channel out the sword chi. Han Wei smiled bitterly and turned to leave. Watching him leave, the female cultivator named Jin Yuan sighed and shook her head. Forget it. Cultivation is a matter of life and death. I'm leaving. Remember to charge me for that pill. After she left, the shop owner had a strange expression on his face. In the Nine Mystic Sword sect, it seems that only the Sword Pavilion's sword caretaker will suffer from damage by the Sword Chi in the body in a reduced lifespan. Sword Pavilion, the treasure that is required by the sect mission should be in the Sword Pavilion. Perhaps this is an opportunity. In the Sword Pavilion, Huang Six's eyes widened when he saw Han Wei carrying a pill furnace back. What are you doing? Han Wei placed the furnace on the long table and patted it. Then he smiled and said, Can't you tell? I'm going to cultivate alchemy. Alchemy. Huang Six looked doubtful. How could one refine pills without qi condensation cultivation level? It seemed that Han Wei knew that he didn't have long to live, but he was still struggling. Mu Wan was really generous. She gave him a fine quality pill the last time and now she had even given him a pill furnace. This pill furnace is not cheap. Huang Six muttered as he looked at Han Wei's pale face. As expected, pretty boys were popular. By the way, an outer sect instructor named Lin Shen came to look for you this afternoon. Huang Six looked at Han Wei with a strange expression. He said that your comprehension abilities is extremely high and it's a pity for you to be a sword caretaker. Han Wei's face froze. That instructor Lin from the outer sect. He's pretty honest. I said that you will look for him tomorrow. Huang Six glanced at Han Wei, then whispered, If you can leave the Sword Pavilion, you should. Leave the Sword Pavilion. Han Wei turned to look at the swords on the wooden shelves. If he left here, would he be able to live long? But with his ninth grade aptitude, where could he go? Shaking his head, he carried the furnace into the quiet room. Instead of leaving, it was better to find a way to live for a long time. A pill that increased lifespan. Or a body cultivation technique that had reached the ninth level of the essence energy cultivation realm. Or find a core formation realm elder to channel his sword chi out. He had seven days. Not only do I have to survive, but I have to live a long time. Han Wei took a deep breath, took out a bag of spiritual herbs for refining the cloud chi pill and put them in one by one. He gently pressed his palm on the pill furnace, and the forging scene appeared. However, what he wanted now was not just comprehending the forging method of this pill furnace. In his sea of qi, the fiery red sword intent split into a wisps of sword qi that passed through his meridians and came out of his palm. Hum. A fiery red cloud instantly enveloped the pill furnace. Sword qi alchemy. If an alchemy cultivator saw this scene, they would probably curse him for being crazy. Alchemy was a cautious and gentle thing. How could someone with such sharp sword chi refine pills? If traditional sword cultivators saw someone refining using the fire type sword chi, they would probably die of anger. As sword cultivators, they should kill and fight. Using sword chi to refine pills, they would ask him to scram. But Han Wei did it. The sharp sword chi turned into soft, warm flames. The sword chi wrapped around the pill furnace, and the heat began to spread. Without hesitation, he threw all kinds of spiritual herbs into the pill furnace. The pill furnace spun, and the medicinal fragrance dissipated. It was wrapped by the fiery red sword chi and suppressed in the pill furnace. 
the sword chi penetrated the bronze furnace wall and stirred in the pill furnace. All the medicinal power turned into a vortex and condensed into a cloud. Han Wei took out the cloud chi pill that was worth 30 spiritual rocks, raised his fingernail, scraped off a layer, and flicked it into the pill furnace. This was the medicinal primer he had thought of. As expected, a layer of cloud chi pill powder entered the furnace. With the additional support, the medicinal ingredients in the furnace kept spinning, turning into five bright balls. The fiery red sword chi turned and scooped out five bright bean-sized beads. The pill was complete. With maximum level comprehension, Han Wei was already familiar with refining the cloud chi pill. However, this furnace produced five pills. Wasn't it said that a furnace could only refine three pills at most? Moreover, this pill seemed to be different from the cloud chi pill. Looking at the pill in his palm that was as bright as a jade pearl, Han Wei hesitated. This pill looked countless times better than the cloud chi pill in his hand. Could this be a fine quality pill? After a moment of silence, he put the cloud chi pill into his mouth. If the pill was damaged and not consumed, the medicinal effect would slowly dissipate. The pill was sweet in his mouth. It was as if a light cloud was rippling in his mouth and then flowing along his meridians. The meridians that had been burned by the fire attribute sword chi seemed to have been cleansed by clear water. It was very comfortable. Putting aside the other effects of the cloud chi pill, just by swallowing it, Han Wei felt that the thirty spiritual rocks were worth it. At this moment, he also felt the disadvantage of his ninth grade aptitude. A medicinal pill that should be taken by a qi condensation cultivator flowed through his meridians a few times, and the medicinal power within it dissipated. His body seemed to have directly absorbed these medicinal effects, not giving them a chance to gather and settle. If there was no accumulation of cultivation abilities, what was there to cultivate? No wonder a person with a ninth grade aptitude could never build a foundation. When the medicinal effect of the cloud chi pill dissipated, Han Wei did not hesitate to put another pill he had refined into his mouth. He never took pills for his cultivation. He just wanted to feel the difference between the pills he refined and those produced by others. As the pill entered his mouth, the clouds dispersed. Han Wei suddenly trembled and widened his eyes. Chapter 22, The Price of a Supreme Quality Cloud Chi Pill If the medicinal effect of the cloud chi pill from before was a trickle, then this bright pill had effects like a vast river. A rich medicinal power directly penetrated all of Han Wei's meridians, and then fell straight into his stomach like a waterfall. His Danchen Boom! The originally silent and blocked Danchen was knocked open by that force, as if clouds had rolled and surged into it. Within a hundred breaths, clouds accumulated in his danchen. It really is useless. Seeing the other clouds surging in his meridians but not getting anywhere, Han Wei could only sigh softly. According to the information obtained from the sword on the second floor of the sword pavilion, the danchen was only activated after the third level of the essence energy cultivation realm. The size of the danchen activation was related to the foundation of his future cultivation. Han Wei didn't know how big the danchen of a third stage essence energy cultivation realm was. However, if it could not even contain the medicinal power of a single pill, it was obvious that his danchen was not good enough. Although the activated danchen was unbearable and made Han Wei a little depressed, he was still happy that he had refined a supreme grade cloud chi pill in the first batch of pills he refined. It's at least a hundred times the medicinal power of an ordinary cloud chi pill. This must be a supreme grade pill. An ordinary cloud chi pill was worth 30 spiritual rocks. Based on the price of a fine quality body strengthening pill, which was five times the price of an ordinary pill, a fine quality cloud chi pill should cost 150 spiritual rocks each. A supreme grade pill had be at least five times higher in price, right? That meant that a this pill was worth 750 spiritual rocks? Just this pill was comparable to teaching a set of two mystic sword techniques in the demonstration building? No wonder alchemy was classified as one of the most profitable professions in the cultivation world, 
and sword cultivators were known as the poorest group of people in the cultivation world. It really made some sense. Because his danshan was expanding, Han Wei didn't take any more cloud chi pills. At present, he had yet to cultivate to the ninth level of the essence energy cultivation realm. Even if his danshan was activated, it was useless. The spiritual energy stored inside would eventually dissipate. Turning to look at the spiritual herb in front of him, Han Wei's eyes lit up. Pills that increased lifespan were expensive, right? How expensive can it be? 10,000 spiritual rocks? Over the next few days, he would try his best to refine supreme grade cloud chi pills. He did not believe that he could not buy a pill that could increase his lifespan. His desire for longer lifespan made Han Wei full of motivation. He cleaned up the furnace and began refining the second batch of pills. That night, the flames in Han Wei's quiet room did not stop. When he woke up in the morning, it was already late in the morning. When he walked out of the room, Han Wei was slightly stunned. Other than Huang, six there was someone else in the sword pavilion. Junior sister Mu Wan. Who else could it be but Mu Wan? Senior brother Han. Seeing Han Wei come out, Mu Wan's expression was a little strange. She called out softly, then lowered her head. What was wrong? Han Wei turned to Huang Six and saw him grinning. I'm going to wash up first. Han Wei went to the small courtyard to wash up. When he walked out, Huang Six was already gone, leaving Mu Wan alone. Where's brother? Han Wei asked doubtfully. He, he said that he was going to take a walk. Mu Wan replied in a low voice. What was wrong? Han Wei frowned and said, Junior sister Mu, what problem have you encountered this time? Ah, no, no. Mu Wan hurriedly waved her hand. Then, she thought of something and took out two jade bottles from her bosom. Senior brother Han, these are two bottles of body strengthening pills. They're both fine quality pills. Looking at Han Wei's pale face, Mu Wan said softly, Yesterday, senior brother guided me to refine the cloud chi pill. This is a small reward. Han Wei took the warm jade bottle and felt that there were a lot of pills in it. This isn't a small reward. Han Wei laughed, took the jade bottle, and looked at Mu Wan. Junior sister Mu, is there anything else I can help you with? This was a business he could continue. Mu Wan pondered for a moment and shook her head. No more business. That's a shame. Putting away the jade bottle, Han Wei said, Junior sister, do you know anyone in the medical hall who sells pills that can increase lifespan? Hearing that it was a pill that could increase one's lifespan, Mu Wan's shoulders trembled as if she had thought of something. However, she suppressed the thought in her heart and recalled. No one in the medical hall can refine pills that increase lifespan. Even a pill that can only increase one year of lifespan is a seventh grade pill. No one can refine it. Disappointment flashed across Han Wei's face. Senior brother, don't worry. I'll help you find out when I get back, Mu Wan said as she turned to leave. Junior sister, I still want to ask, where does the sect sell supreme grade cloud chi pills? Han Wei's voice came from behind. Mu Wan turned around in surprise. Senior brother wants a supreme grade pill. That's hard to come by. Senior brother, if you want to find supreme grade pills, I'm afraid you'll have to find those shops that specialize in selling pills. At this point, she said softly, supreme grade cloud chi pills are not cheap. Each, I'm afraid, would cost 3,000 spiritual rocks. Even after Mu Wan left, Han Wei was still in a daze. A supreme grade cloud chi pill costs 3,000 spiritual rocks. Unlike what he expected, it was not five times the price of ordinary pills, but 100 times. Holding the jade bottle given by Mu Wan, Han Wei couldn't help but feel excited. Out of the 10 batches of pills last night, a total of 35 supreme grade pills had been produced. There were also seven fine quality pills. 
he was really a little tired and exhausted in the middle of the process. But that was enough. One supreme grade cloud chi pill was worth 3,000 spiritual rocks, so 35 of them would be around 100,000 spiritual rocks. It was definitely enough to buy a pill that could increase one's lifespan. Senior brother, you're indeed in the sword pavilion. At this moment, a crisp sound suddenly came from the entrance of the sword pavilion. Han Wie looked up and frowned. At the entrance of the sword pavilion stood a female cultivator in a pink dress with a moon-like face. It was Bai Suhen. The owner of the shop who sold pills. How did she find this place? You're here to receive a sword. Han Wie frowned and said lightly. Bai Suhen chuckled and walked into the sword pavilion. Her gaze landed on the wooden shelves in the distance and her body trembled. This is the sword pavilion? How chilling. Shaking her head, she walked up to Han Wie. Senior brother, I'm not here to receive a sword. I'm here to do business with you. As she spoke, she looked at the jade bottle in Han Wie's hand. Senior brother, have you refined the pill? Han Wie shook his head and put the jade bottle away. All he wanted to do now was to survive and continue condensing his sword intent in the sword pavilion until his sword momentum reached perfection. This Bai Sohan must be plotting something. It seemed like it was better not to interact with her. Han Wie put away the jade bottle, but Bai Sohan smiled, leaned forward, and whispered, Senior brother, don't you want to find a pill that can increase your lifespan? A pill that could increase one's lifespan. Han Wie's eyes flashed. The sword intent in his sea of chi moved, and all the swords on the first floor of the sword pavilion seemed to vibrate. A chill enveloped her heart, making Bai Sohen tremble. You have won. Han Wie looked at Bai Sohen. Bai Sohen shook her head. Before Han Wie could speak, she said, but I know where to find one. At this point, she chuckled and looked at Han Wie. Senior brother, what price are you prepared to pay for this news? What do you want? Han Wie said expressionlessly, glancing at her. Bai Sohan glanced at the wooden shelf where countless swords were placed. If you have designs on the swords stored in the sword pavilion, then don't say anything. Han Wie's voice sounded coldly. Bai Sohan's expression changed and she said in a low voice, Since senior brother is so determined, I won't say anything else. If you've thought it through, I'll meet you at the Sohan store. You don't have much time left. Then she chuckled and left the sword pavilion. Han Wie narrowed his eyes. Was she here for the swords in the sword pavilion? How should he choose between a pill that could increase his lifespan and the swords stored in the sword pavilion? Ahem, little Han, I really didn't expect you to be such a person. At that moment, Huang Sik's angry voice rang out, causing Han Wie's expression to change. Chapter 23 Someone like you is not worthy of junior sister Mew. Huang Six strode in from outside the sword pavilion, then grabbed Han Wie by the collar. To think that I even told junior sister Mew that your vitality was greatly damaged and that you might not live long, so you might do something unexpected. I can sense that the girl is already reluctantly accepting. But you. Huang Six's old face was filled with heartache. You failed such a good girl. Just one turn around and you have hooked up with another girl. A person like you is not worthy of junior sister Mew. You're only suitable to find a spiritual stone that can last three nights at the foot of the mountain. What did that mean? Han Wie blinked a few times, and it took him a while to understand. Mew Wan's tone was awkward just now. It was because Huang Six had said something to her. Was this guy trying to matchmake her and Mew Wan? Although that girl was not bad, they had only met a few times. It was not to that extent, right? Han Wie pried Huang Six's palm open, then looked at him with a smile. Brother, I want to ask you about the spiritual stone that can last three nights. Huang Six was stunned. His face suddenly flushed red. Well, I heard, I heard that. 
Han Wuye laughed and took out two jade bottles filled with body strengthening pills and placed them in front of Huang Six. Brother, between me and junior sister Mu, or between me and the store owner Bai, we have nothing going on. These are pills given by junior sister Mu. After a pause, he said softly, she didn't give them to me for free. I earned them myself. This thing is useless to me. You can have it. A smile flashed across Han Wei's face. It's for my repayment. With that, he straightened his clothes, turned around, and headed up to the second floor of the sword pavilion. This Huang Six looked at the jade bottle in front of him and reached out to open it. There were ten pills inside. There were two bottles, so there were a total of twenty fine quality body strengthening pills. It was worth six hundred spiritual rocks. The corners of his mouth moved, and finally he let out a long sigh. Stinky brat. Attracting a capable and rich girl and yet there's nothing going on. Are you impotent? Han Wei, who was already on the second floor, almost missed his footing. The hell he was impotent. When I do it, even I am scared of myself. On the second floor, Han Wei restrained his emotions and stood at the stairs leading to the third floor. He bowed and said, Elder, Han Wei wants to ask you for help. His voice was loud and clear. On the first floor, Huang Six jumped out of fright. Boy, you've got some nerve. Huang Six said softly, a look of anticipation on his face. On the second floor, Han Wei bowed and stood. After waiting for a moment and seeing no response, he shouted again, Patriarch. Han Wei begs Patriarch for help. This time a sound came from the third floor. Kid, I can't save you. As a sword caretaker, if you can't withstand the sword chi entering your body, you'll eventually die. There won't be any elder in the Nine Mystic Sword Sect who will help you untangle your meridians. This requires a sword intent that has been condensed for decades. Do you think you are qualified to ask them to help you? He could not be saved. No one in the Nine Mystic Sword Sect would save him. Although Han Wei had expected this outcome, his heart still sank slightly. Although lifespan could not be seen or touched, it really existed. The female cultivator, Jin Yuan, had said that he only had seven days to live. He did not dare to take the risk. At that time, Jin Yuan had mentioned three way out for him. One was to cultivate to the ninth level essence energy cultivation realm of the body tempering technique, take a pill to increase one's lifespan, and the other was to untangle one's meridians with the help of an elder. The method of an elder's help was fruitless, but it was not impossible to increase his lifespan with pills. Also, even if it was difficult to reach ninth level essence energy cultivation realm of the body tempering technique, he could not give up. Taking a light breath, Han Wei bowed and said, Thank you for your guidance, Patriarch. With that, he glanced at the swords at his side and went downstairs. On the third floor, the sword pavilion Patriarch, who was sitting cross-legged, had a glow in his eyes. The sword Qi entered his body as soon as he entered the sword pavilion. If he doesn't die, the sword pavilion might have a next master. In the afternoon, Han Wei left the sword pavilion and went to the outer sect training hall. Lin Shen, the instructor of the outer sect cultivation hall, valued him and even specially looked for him. He wasn't there to thank Lin Shen, but to ask if there was any way for him to cultivate his body tempering technique to the ninth level of the essence energy cultivation realm. In seven days, he had to cultivate to the ninth level of the essence energy cultivation realm. When he arrived at the outer sect training hall, there were still many disciples practicing their punches and kicks. It had only been a few days since they last saw each other, but a few of them really looked like they had improved. However, in Han Wei's opinion, their fist techniques were still lousy. Han Wei Instructor Lin, who was carrying a large sword, walked over from the side of the limestone square. Han Wei cupped his hands. Seeing Han Wei, Lin Shen frowned. Why do you look so pale? As soon as he said that, he suddenly remembered that Han Wei was the sword pavilion's sword caretaker. 
he immediately whispered, Kid, the sword pavilion is a place full of negative energy. Don't be a sword caretaker anymore. Come to the outer sect to cultivate. Cultivate at the outer sect. If I had the qualifications to enter the outer sect, I wouldn't have rushed into the sword pavilion and end up with only seven days left to live. Han Wei shook his head, looked at Lin Shen, and said in a low voice, Instructor Lin, let me ask, is there any quick way to increase my body tempering technique to essence energy cultivation realm? The essence energy cultivation realm. Quick way. Lin Shen was stunned for a moment, then shook his head. Just as he was about to speak, he heard someone beside him say, the most important thing about body tempering cultivation techniques is accumulation. How can there be any quick success? Han Wei turned around and saw a young man in his thirties wearing an intersect white robe. He had a cold face and a disdainful sneer on his lips. Is this the person with excellent comprehension that senior brother Lin mentioned? What's the use of just having comprehending abilities? If you can't calm down and cultivate properly, you'll still be a trash for the rest of your life. At the mention of the word trash, he suddenly smiled. Senior brother, I'm not talking about you. You're willing to use millions of swords to accumulate strength. Master's disciples all admire your perseverance. Lin Shen sighed softly and shook his head without saying anything. The young man did not even look at Han Wei and turned around. Senior brother, there are many things to do in the inner sect, so I won't waste my time in the outer section. With that, he strode away from the limestone plaza. Han Wei, although my junior brother Su Ming is arrogant, his cultivation abilities is profound and he's ranked within the top 300 in the inner section. Originally, I wanted to recommend you to cultivate under him. Lin Shen whispered regretfully. His words surprised Han Wei. It was just a meeting, but Lin Shen actually wanted to recommend him? The path of cultivation is difficult. Who doesn't want to meet a benefactor at the beginning? Lin Shen patted Han Wei's shoulder and smiled bitterly. Unfortunately, I'm not your benefactor. Han Wei understood what he meant. He really valued his comprehension ability, which was why he wanted to help him. He hoped that Han Wei would be able to return and help him in the future. However, Lin Shen did not expect that he was in a predicament now. If he did not solve the problem of his lifespan, he would not be able to achieve meteoric success. In the outer sect, the person who has the most thorough research on body tempering technique is probably the number one person in the outer sect, senior brother Mo Yuan. Lin Shen suddenly spoke. He lives in the outer sect camp by the clear stream. You can look for him and ask him. Mo Yuan. The old man who had taught him the ancestral return of ten thousand swords. Han Wei nodded, cupped his fists at Lin Shen, and turned to leave. He had only taken a few steps when he stopped. Instructor Lin, it's wrong to draw a million swords and shatter a mountain. As soon as Han Wei finished speaking, a violent aura rose from Lin Shen's body. Impossible. Lin Shen's eyes were red as he gritted his teeth and shouted. For this move, I gathered my strength to draw my sword 8,357,561 times. I did my best every time. I just have to draw my sword a million times and I will master the mountain crusher sword technique. How dare you doubt my cultivation methods? Chapter 24, Cause of Dying Lifespan Lin Shen's eyes were bloodshot as he glared at Han Wei, as if he wanted to eat him. Draw a million swords was his way of cultivation. It was his belief. Now someone was questioning his beliefs, that meant destroying his path. The destruction of a person's path was irreconcilable. Han Wei looked at Lin Shen and said softly, Instructor Lin, let me ask you, is there a difference between swinging your sword a thousand times and ten thousand times? Yes, Lin Shen said without hesitation. After swinging the sword ten thousand times, my understanding of the sword is much deeper. Han Wei nodded and said, Then are there any changes between a hundred thousand and a million? Yes, Lin Shen answered loudly again, 
but there was a slight pause after his answer. After a million times, I will be able to draw my sword and swing it in one go. As soon as he finished speaking, Han Wei said, Is there a difference between five million and six million? This time, Lin Shen hesitated and didn't speak. After a while, he seemed to be giving himself confidence. He said softly, No matter what, as long as I persist for a few more years and draw my sword a million times, I can experience tremendous improvement. Han Wei shook his head and said lightly, If the sword is in your heart, drawing it a thousand times is enough. If you don't have a sword in your heart, it's useless even if you draw your sword a million times. Then, without further ado, he turned and strode away. No sword in my heart. Lin Shen was stunned. His face was filled with confusion. I have a sword in my heart. Isn't my sword. That's not right. I only trust the sword in my hand. Why would I want a sword in my heart? Wrong. Drawing a million swords meant that I should trust the sword in my heart. He muttered to himself, and for a moment seemed to forget entirely where he was. Han Wei left the training hall and asked for the way to clear stream. After traveling for half an hour, he saw a small river rippling. On both sides of the river, there were bamboo buildings. This was the clear stream. Mo Yuan was considered a famous person here, so Han Wei knew where he lived after asking around. Unfortunately, he wasn't around that day. Could he be in the demonstration building? Han Wei turned around and headed for the building. When he arrived at the demonstration building, Han Wei took a sign to enter a room, then walked into it and wrote a line on the jade wall. Room number 183, seeking the demonstration for ancestral return of 10,000 swords. Reward, 10 spiritual rocks. The message flashed on the jade wall for a long time, but no one replied. Han Wei could only regretfully reach out and withdraw this message. It seemed that the number one outer sect disciple, Mo Yuan, was not in the demonstration building. He reached out and wrote the next line. Room number 183 seeking the follow-up deduction method of iron bowl strength. Reward, three merit tokens. He had only three merit tokens left. The follow-up to iron bowl strength was worth this price. A moment later, the halo flickered and the message mission was accepted. After a while, the door to the room was pushed open. It's you. The tall Zhao Piyu frowned when he saw that it was Han Wei. Why, didn't you understand last time? With that, he said in a low voice, withdraw the task message. As I said, if there's anything you don't understand about iron bull strength, just ask me. Han Wei shook his head and said, Senior brother Zhao Piyu, I want to know how many levels there are in the follow-up deduction of the iron bull strength. Can I cultivate to the ninth level of the essence energy cultivation realm with this cultivation technique? His words took Zhao Piyu by surprise. Which level? There is only one level in the iron bull strength. It's one of the lowest level cultivation techniques in the demonstration building. Its cultivation effect is only slightly better than the outer sex fist techniques. At this point, he shook his head and said, it's absolutely impossible to reach the ninth level of the essence energy cultivation realm with this body tempering technique. Only one level. It was impossible for him to reach the ninth level of the essence energy cultivation realm? Han Wei was disappointed. Zhao Piyu could not have lied to him. Let me demonstrate for you again, Zhao Piyu said. He took a horse stance and raised his hand to punch. The shadow of a green ox floated behind him. After a round of punching, he looked at Han Wei. You practice one time and let me see what went wrong. Han Wei nodded. This Zhao Piyu was a good person. He was cold on the outside but warm on the inside. Taking a light breath, Han Wei raised his hand to set up his stance and moved. Hum. Behind him, the green ox phantom instantly floated. Sure, isn't this already a small success, Zhao Piyu's eyes lit up, then his eyes lit up. No, this is a big success. 
you managed to master the Iron Bowl strength in just a few days. Your comprehension abilities. Before he could finish speaking, Han Wei punched out. Behind him, a second green ox phantom appeared. Zhao Piyu shuddered and stood frozen. Han Wei retracted his fist, and the two green ox phantoms behind him slowly dissipated. That's my question, Han Wei said quietly, looking at Zhao Piyu. Two illusory green bulls. Zhao Piyu teared at Han Wei and said in a deep voice, Tell me, how did you do it? Han Wei didn't hide anything and explained what he had comprehended during his cultivation. Following his instructions, Zhao Piyu practiced a few times and condensed the second and third green ox phantoms. Seeing the three shadows behind him, Han Wei's eyes lit up. He already felt that he could condense more green ox phantoms with the iron bull strength, but he wasn't sure if this was the right direction, so he didn't dare to deduce further. Zhao Piyu dispersed the shadow behind him and looked at Han Wei. This iron bull strength seems to have a deeper cultivation method. I'll go back and deduce it with my master. Don't cultivate rashly for the time being. With that, he smiled and said, What's your name and where do you cultivate? Han Wei cupped his hands. I'm Han Wei, Sword Pavilion's sword caretaker. A sword caretaker. Zhao Piyu was stunned for a moment before nodding. Okay, I'll look for you in the sword pavilion after I figure it out. Then he turned and strode away. He did not ask for Han Wei's three merit tokens. Han Wei shook his head with a wry smile. He had hoped that Zhao Piyu would be able to help him, but now it seemed that there was no hope. How could it be so easy to deduce a cultivation technique? Turning around, he saw many messages on the jade wall asking for advice on swordsmanship. Among them was a message that often appeared, seek the method to the third level of the blue wave. It seemed that this must be that Yang Xiao. However, Han Wei was not in the mood to deduce the blue wave sword technique for Yang Xiao for the time being. He found a few tasks offering good prices and accepted them. Then, he took the bronze mask from the front desk and walked into the quiet room. In an hour, he had earned a total of 11 merit tokens. Then, he went to pick three body tempering cultivation techniques. He spent 400 spiritual rocks for the two manuals of five elements body tempering technique and great iron armor technique. There was also a 500 spiritual rock dual body tempering. He found a quiet room and sent out a message. Then, someone came to demonstrate the cultivation technique. Han Wei also asked a few questions. The result was disappointing. None of the three body tempering techniques could be cultivated quickly. The inner sex senior brother who was demonstrating even warned him earnestly that he had to take one step at a time in his cultivation. But how could he cultivate slowly? After returning to the sword pavilion, Huang Six looked at Han Wei strangely. When it was time to wash up after dinner, Han Wei looked at his reflection in the basin and was stunned. In the reflection, there was a lot of white hair on his temples. Could it be that his lifespan was really coming to an end? After returning to the quiet room, he began to practice his body tempering technique. From the iron bull strength to the five elements body tempering technique, he constantly switched between the four cultivation techniques. He could feel his physical strength rising. But that wouldn't stop him aging. On the contrary, because he had cultivated a body tempering technique, he could clearly feel a certain power in his body losing rapidly. Is it because the sword intent in my sea of qi is too dense and my body can't withstand it, and that is causing my lifespan to be draining out? Then, should I disperse all these sword intents? Sitting cross-legged in the quiet room, Han Wei's eyes flashed. Perhaps there is another way. After pondering for a moment, Han Wei still couldn't bear to part with these sword qi. In the cultivation world, cultivation and combat strength were everything. He felt uneasy without his sword qi. Chapter 25, Who Was the Person Who Bought the Pills? Two of the three ways to resolve the crisis of his limited lifespan had already been blocked. He could only see if he could find a pill that could increase his lifespan. 
if there's really no way within seven days, then I'll disperse the sword chi. After all, life was more important. The next morning, after practicing the sword techniques in the small courtyard, Han Wei walked out. Brother, I'll go take a look at the medical hall. Hearing him say he was going to the medical hall, Huang Six grinned. Sure, go ahead. I'll take care of things here. Watching Han Wei leave, Huang Six's face was full of smiles. It seems that this kid has become sensible. Then, he shook his head with a bitter expression. Sigh, it's a pity that Sister Ping probably won't recognize me in my current state. In the medical hall, when Mu Wan saw Han Wei, she exclaimed, Han, senior brother Han, you, why are you? Her gaze fell on Han Wei's temples. It had only been a day, but Han Wei's temples were already grey. If not for his young appearance, he would have been an old man in his fifties. I wonder if junior sister Mu has heard any news about medicinal pills that can increase lifespan. Han Wei went straight to the point. Mu Wan looked around and nodded. She said softly, Senior brother, follow me. After leading Han Wei to a quiet place, she said in a low voice, I asked my fellow seniors of the medical hall last night. Only Elder Sol Yang can refine longevity increasing pills in the Nine Mystic Sword sect. Han Wei nodded. I'm glad there is a chance. Senior brother, you have to be prepared. That lifespan increasing pill is extremely expensive. Mu Wan looked up at Han Wei. How expensive? Han Wei asked softly. No matter how expensive it was, he was going to obtain it. It's said that a pill that can increase one's lifespan by a year costs 30,000 spiritual rocks, Mu Wan said in a low voice. 30,000 spiritual rocks was an unattainable number for most inner and outer sect disciples. 30,000 at One year of lifespan was worth 30,000 spiritual rocks. It was expensive, yet not too expensive. Han Wei narrowed his eyes, calculated in his mind, and said in a deep voice, Junior sister, wait here for me for a moment, then take me to look for Elder Sol Yang, okay? Mu Wan nodded. Han Wei turned and walked away. He was heading towards the Nine Mystic Sword Sex Outer Sect Market. The pink-dressed shopkeeper's eyes lit up as he walked into Sahen's store. Looks like you've thought it through. Bai Sahen stepped forward with a smile. Han Wei went straight to the counter and put a small jade bottle on the table. Bai Sohen was stunned. She frowned slightly and reached out to pick up the jade bottle before opening it. Ah! She let out a gasp, stuffed the jade bottle, and looked at Han Wei with a tense expression. Supreme Grade There were ten Supreme Grade Cloud Chi pills in the jade bottle, and every one of them was bright and round. Are you not taking it? Han Wei said casually. Of course I am. Bai Sohan hurriedly replied. Putting away the jade bottle, she touched the jade ring on her fingertip and a small wooden box appeared. She uncovered the wooden box. Inside was a brilliant glow. These are high-grade spiritual rocks. One is equivalent to 10,000 low-grade spiritual rocks, Bai Sohan said in a low voice as she placed three crystal-clear spiritual rocks in front of Han Wei. Inside the spatial ring that stored items were high-grade spiritual rocks that ordinary people had never seen before. Han Wei glanced at Bai Sohen. The background of this woman who had a shop in the outer sect market was probably not simple. Seeing Han Wei looking at her, Bai Sohen chuckled and said, Senior brother, I've never heard of an alchemist who can refine ten supreme-grade cloud chi pills at once. The meaning of her words was implying, You've discovered my secret but I've also discovered yours. Han Wei grabbed three pieces of high-grade spiritual rocks and turned to leave. When he reached the door of the shop, he suddenly turned around. Is Elder Sol Yang the one who can refine lifespan increasing pills in the Nine Mystic Sword sect? Bai Sohan was stunned. Han Wei turned and left. He had his answer. Supreme Grade Cloud Chi Pill Sword Caretaker of the Sword Pavilion How can you put these two things together? 
Bai Sohan looked at the door with bright eyes. Compared to the sect mission, this person is more interesting. The waterside residence where Elder Sol Yang lived was far from the medical hall. Han Wei and Mu Wan walked for more than two hours before arriving. The grass hut lined continuously by the water. That's an apt name for the waterside residence. A faint medicinal fragrance wafted over, making one feel excited. Taking a deep breath, Han Wei marched forward. After taking a few steps across the stream, Mu Wan suddenly said, Senior Sister Jin Yuan. Jin Yuan. Han Wei was stunned. Not far ahead, a female cultivator was washing medicinal herbs in the river. Wasn't she the person he met at the Sohen store that day? It was also this female cultivator called Jin Yuan who told him that he only had seven days left to live. The female cultivator looked up and saw Mu Wan. She smiled and said, So it's junior sister Mu Wan. Her gaze swept to Han Wei and she was slightly startled. Senior sister Jin Yuan, senior brother Han wants a pill to increase his lifespan. Please help me introduce him to Elder Sol Yang. Mu Wan walked forward and whispered to Jin Yuan. Jin Yuan glanced at Han Wei and then whispered, Are you close? Are we close? Mu Wan was not sure if she was very familiar with Han Wei, but she did not want Han Wei to die because of his limited lifespan. She nodded. Seeing her nod, Jin Yuan turned to look at the straw hut behind him. Let's go. I'll take you to see Master. It turned out that Elder Sol Yang was Jin Yuan's master. Han Wei followed the two of them and saw that there were many people refining pills in the straw hut. There was surrounding fire accompanied by a fragrant smell. After walking through a few corridors, Jin Yuan stood in front of a wooden pavilion and bowed to the middle-aged female cultivator sitting in the pavilion. Master, this disciple of the sword sect wants to buy a medicinal pill that can increase lifespan. At her words, the middle-aged female cultivator who had been reading looked up. Was this elder Sol Yang, who could refine pills that could increase lifespan? When Han Wei looked up, the middle-aged female cultivator also looked at him. The sword chi has entered your heart and you are dying. How are you so injured? The female cultivator frowned and asked in a low voice. Elder, I'm the sword pavilion's sword caretaker. Han Wei bowed. Sword caretaker. Elder Sol Yang whispered, then nodded. No wonder. A look of pity flashed across her face. Then she shook her head and said, You're late. The lifespan extending pill you wanted has already been bought. Bought. Han Wei shuddered. Mu Wan also looked anxious. Han Wei needed that pill to save his life. Then, I wonder if Elder can help me refine another one. Han Wei raised his hand, and three sparkling high grade spiritual rocks appeared in his palm. Elder Sol Yang shook her head and waved her hand. It's not that I don't want to help you. There are a few types of spiritual herbs that are needed to refine pills to increase lifespan. Without the bright origin bone and the marrow transformation fruit, I can't refine the pill. I haven't seen these two spiritual herbs being sold in the surrounding markets recently. She could not refine it. Han Wei felt his heart sink. Could this be the will of the heavens? Taking a deep breath, he whispered indignantly, May I ask, Elder, who bought the pills? Hearing his words, Jin Yuan and Mu Wan's expressions changed. It was a huge taboo to inquire about the identity of the pill buyer. In the seat of honor, Elder Sol Yang pondered for a long time before saying two words. M.O. Yuan Chapter 26, M.O. Yuan's Conditions On the mountain path outside the waterside residence, Mu Wan lowered her head. Senior brother, I-I-L-L think of a way to help you find another pill that can increase your lifespan. Pills that could increase one's lifespan were extremely difficult to find. They could only be chanced upon by luck. Mu Wan was not very confident when she said this. Han Wei chuckled and turned to look at her. Junior sister, don't worry. It's just the depletion of my lifespan. It's nothing serious. With Mu Wan's alchemy cultivation, she naturally could not see how much lifespan he had left. 
Nodding, Mu Wan said softly, Then senior brother, please return to the sword pavilion. I'll be heading back to the medical hall. Seeing that it was getting late, Han Wei nodded and said, All right, I'll go to the medical hall when I have time. If you need my help in comprehending anything, you can come to the sword pavilion to find me. When this little girl grew up, she would look even better. Moreover, she was a pure-hearted rich girl. Huang Six's plan to matchmake them seemed to make some sense. The two of them left along the mountain path. After a while, Mu Wan returned to the intersection with a worried expression. She looked in the direction Han Wei had left, then turned around and walked towards the waterside residence. A moment later, the pale-faced Mu Wan turned around again. Senior brother Han has only six or seven days left to live. Murmuring under her breath, her brow furrowed, she clenched her fists and sprinted forward. Han Wei did not return to the sword pavilion. Circulating his body tempering power, his figure was like the wind as he crossed dozens of feet in a step. In less than fifteen minutes, he had already arrived at the clear stream where the outer sect disciples lived. Looking at the wooden houses ahead, Han Wei took a deep breath and strode over. The house owner seemed to sense something and pushed open the door. Mo Yuan. He was the first in the outer sect. Yesterday they said someone was looking for me. I guessed it was you. Mo Yuan chuckled and raised his hand to gesture. Then, he turned around and staggered back to the wooden house. Han Wei walked into the cabin and saw that it was sparsely furnished and didn't even have any necessities. Mo Yuan sat at a small wooden table and looked up. If you had come a day or two later, you probably wouldn't have been able to find me. What did that mean? Han Wei sat cross-legged opposite Mo Yuan and said softly, Why? Mo Yuan looked lonely, but also relieved. Hee <laughs> hee, my wish has been fulfilled. Why would I still stay here? At this, he looked at Han Wei, a glimmer in his muddy eyes. His wish had been fulfilled. Did that refer to passing ancestral return of ten thousand swords on to him? Han Wei had a glimmer of understanding. Mo Yuan stayed in the Nine Mystic Sword Sect because he wanted to pass down the ancestral return of ten thousand swords that he had created in his life. Now that he had learned the ancestral return of ten thousand swords, his wish had been fulfilled. He was prepared to leave the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. He would either go into seclusion or return to his hometown. Mo Yuan looked up and smiled. Do you have any questions about cultivating the ancestral return of ten thousand swords? Han Wei pondered for a moment, then said softly, Senior, how do you solve the problem of the sword qi entering your body? Hearing Han Wei's words, Mo Yuan rubbed his hands, his face full of joy. I knew you were born to practice swordmanship. It's only been a short while, and you've already understood the key to ancestral return of ten thousand swords. A sigh flashed across his face. Mo Yuan seemed to have fallen into his memories. Back then, I was determined to create the ancestral return of ten thousand swords but I didn't make any progress for ten years. Later, when I went to see the sword pavilion elder, whose sword qi had dissipated because he was using the nine mystic sword, he told me. At this point, Mo Yuan raised his hand and took out an ancient sword, placing it on the table in front of him. Clang! The sword came out of its sheath, clear as water. Wipe your sword every day and nurture your sword qi for ten years. When the first wisp of sword energy enters your body, Mo Yuan suddenly grinned and leaned forward. He gently placed the sword into the sheath, as if he did not want the sword to hear what he said. Have you done any dual cultivation? The corners of the old man's eyes were full of lust. Han Wei nodded. He had experienced what Mo Yuan had said. Seeing him nod, Mo Yuan's expression became even more lustful. He waved his hand and said, Yes, that's the feeling. Since you have experienced it, then. I know how it feels to have sword qi enter my body, Han Wei said softly. Ha ha. That's good. Then what? Mo Yuan, who was originally laughing, 
overturned the wooden table in front of him and did not even care about the sword falling to the ground. He pounced in front of Han Wei and grabbed his arm. Sword Qi entering your body, Sword Qi entering your body. His palm moved inch by inch along Han Wei's arm, as he grabbed harder, his face pale. You're too anxious. Three years. It takes three years to condense the first wisp of Sword Qi. At that time, your body and bones will have become adapted to the Sword Qi. That's the best time. If you do this, it will damage your vitality. Your lifespan will be drained out by the Sword Qi. Sigh, it's all my fault. It's all my fault for not telling you about the taboo of cultivation. Mo Yuan's face was filled with self-reproach. I'm the Sword Pavilion's sword caretaker. This sword qi entering my body has nothing to do with cultivating the ancestral return of ten thousand swords, Han Wei said softly as he looked at the old man's expression. Sword caretaker. Mo Yuan was stunned. He slowly sat back in his seat and said softly, Yes, sword caretaker. It's easiest for sword caretaker to obtain sword qi. Why didn't I think of? He paused and looked at Han Wei. How long do you think your vitality can last? How much longer? Han Wei sighed in his heart. If he could hold on for a long time, he wouldn't have come to ask Mo Yuan, an old man in his twilight years, for help. Seeing that Han Wei was silent, Mo Yuan nodded and said, I understand now. He fumbled around and pulled out a small wooden box. Then he uncovered it. There was a small jade bottle inside. Kid, I have a pill here that can help you increase your lifespan slightly. He casually handed the pill to Han Wei. Looking at the pill in front of him, Han Wei fell silent again. This pill was worth 30,000 spiritual rocks. With 30,000 spiritual rocks, he could do many things. To an outer sect disciple like Mo Yuan, 30,000 spiritual rocks should be his lifetime savings. Moreover, this pill was meant for Mo Yuan to extend his own lifespan. His own lifespan should be coming to an end too. Senior, this pill is precious and useful to you, Han Wei said in a low voice. Originally, he had planned to buy this pill from Mo Yuan. However, when he saw Mo Yuan packing up everything, Han Wei already understood. Mo Yuan's lifespan was almost up. He wanted to take advantage of the last moment to leave the sect. Now that Mo Yuan had handed the pill to Han Wei, he couldn't bear to take it anymore. He wanted pills to extend his life, but so did Mo Yuan. Hee <laughs> hee, what difference does it make whether I, an old man, take this pill or not? Mo Yuan shook his head and looked at Han Wei. This pill isn't for nothing. Promise me two things. Then he raised his hand. First, accompany me down the mountain tomorrow to my hometown. Secondly, if there's a day in the future, don't let the ancestral return of ten thousand swords lose its inheritance. What Mo Yuan meant was that if Han Wei's lifespan came to an end one day, he must pass down the ancestral return of ten thousand swords and not cut off the inheritance. Only he hadn't made that clear. If I didn't come, would Senior be preparing to return to your hometown alone? Han Wei looked at Mo Yuan. I came with seven or eight good friends. After the past three hundred years, I'm the only one left, Mo Yuan nodded and said. Cultivation was like that. After one hundred years, old friends would all have passed. Then, is Senior's hometown far away? Han Wei asked in a low voice. He wanted to send Mo Yuan off, but he did not want to leave the sword pavilion for too long. Hee <laughs> hee, it's not far. It's a thousand miles down the mountain. It won't take more than four to five days by the sect carriage. Mo Yuan looked at Han Wei with a hint of anticipation in his eyes. All right, I'll wait for you at the mountain gate tomorrow. Han Wei bowed, then bent down and picked up Mo Yuan's sword. He placed it on the wooden table, then turned around and left. Looking at his back view and then at the pills still on the table, Mo Yuan revealed a gratified expression. Chapter 27 
pretending to be Mo Yuan's disciple and returning home. When he returned to the sword pavilion, Huang Six was packing up the books on the table. When Han Wei returned, he grinned and put two spiritual rocks on the table. Brother, you're opening for business today too. Han Wei smiled and picked up the two spiritual rocks. He had three high-grade spiritual rocks on him now. He really did not have a single low-grade spiritual rock left. Business is not bad today. Two intersect disciples have come to receive the swords. Huang Six revealed a smug expression and said happily. It was an unspoken rule in the sword pavilion for the sword caretakers to split their earnings after they had passed the swords to the disciples. However, how much earning one would obtain would depend on his own ability. Since Huang Six could split two spiritual rocks with Han Wei, he had at least five or six more on hand. Of course, he was happy. Brother, I want to go down the mountain for a few days, Han Wei put away the spiritual rocks and said in a low voice. Down the mountain. Huang Six looked at Han Wei, then a look of understanding flashed across his face. This guy was really fast. He was prepared to follow Junior Sister Mu down the mountain and settle their matters. There were many things on the mountain that were not convenient to do. For example, the matter of dual cultivation. All right, just for a few days. If the Patriarch asks, I can still account for it. Huang Six smiled. Five or six days. Han Wei calculated that it was about right for a round trip. You young people are the best. Huang Six glanced at Han Wei's graying temples, shook his head, and walked back to the quiet room. Han Wei felt that Huang Six must have misunderstood something, but he didn't explain. He returned to the quiet room and observed the sword intent in his sea of qi. Then, he recalled the body tempering cultivation technique and those sword techniques. It was very strange. When he held Mo Yuan's sword that day, there was resistance from the sword. He comprehended nothing. He wondered why that was. The next morning, Han Wei placed a supreme grade cloud chi pill and three fine quality cloud chi pills on the wooden couch in the quiet room before quietly leaving. If he really reached the end of his lifespan, he would give these cloud chi pills to Huang Six as a token of their meeting. Walking out of the sword pavilion, he looked to the east where the sky was white. He took a deep breath adjusted the purple flame sword on his back, and strode toward the mountain gate. Along the way, outer sect disciples in green and grey robes would bow from time to time. Because he was wearing the white robe of an inner sect disciple. When he arrived at the mountain gate, Mo Yuan had yet to arrive. However, many outer sect disciples and servants were walking in and out. Listening to their discussion, it seemed that there were visitors from other sects that day. They wanted to decorate the square in front of the mountain gate to welcome them. Bam! With a crack, the flower pot held by a grey-robed handyman shattered. Are you blind? With a low shout, the outer sect disciple beside the servant disciple shouted angrily and kicked the servant disciple's back. The servant disciple staggered, rolled, and fell to the ground. He fell not far from Han Wei. Han Wei, who was too lazy to care about this, lowered his head. When he saw the servant disciple, a smile flashed across his face. He took two steps forward and extended his hand. Brother Lu. The one who fell to the ground was the servant disciple who had led Han Wei into the Nine Mystic Sword sect, Lu Gao. Lu Gao looked up and was slightly stunned to see Han Wei in his white robe. He subconsciously got up and bowed. Servant disciples had the lowest status in the sect. Not to mention inner sect disciples in white robes, even outer sect disciples could order them around. L. Yu Gao greets senior brother. With that, L. Yu Gao quietly looked up to size up Han Wei. His gaze landed on Han Wei's face, and he was stunned again. Brother, brother Han. As the two of them caught up, the surrounding outer sect and servant disciples also saw them. Hearing L. Yu Gao call Han Wei brother, the outer sect disciple who kicked L. Yu Gao turned pale. Oh my, L. Yu Gao has a brother in the inner sect. A servant in a grey robe whispered, his face filled with envy. 
I haven't heard of it. I wonder how their relationship is. Someone sized up Han Wei and El Yu Gao, wanting to guess the closeness of their relationship. This servant disciple actually has an intersect disciple as his backer. Sun Santung has gotten himself in trouble this time. Not far away, someone among the green-robed outer sect disciples whispered. Senior brother, calm down. I didn't mean to kick brother El Yu Gao. It's because we have an urgent task. The outer sect disciple named Sun Santung hurriedly stepped forward and bowed to Han Wei, explaining while sweating profusely. He was not stupid. If Han Wei questioned him, or if El Yu Gao complained, Han Wei would punish him for the sake of his face. He'd might as well admit his mistake first. Han Wei didn't look at him. He just looked at El Yu Gao and said, Is something wrong with Brother Lu's body? His attitude surprised El Yu Gao. He knew that Han Wei was the Sword Pavilion's sword caretaker and not a true intersect disciple with profound cultivation, but outsiders did not know. In the sect, they only recognized people by robes. That day, Han Wei, who was wearing an intersect white robe, was kind to him. In the future, others would think highly of him no matter where he went. I'm fine, I'm fine, El Yu Gao said cheerfully, dusting himself off. Han Wei nodded and turned to see that a carriage had already arrived at the mountain gate. Two outer sect disciples in green robes followed behind the carriage and strode over. The cart came to a halt and two tall horses snorted and stamped their hooves on the flagstones. Well, you don't have to see me out, said the old voice from the cart. It was M.O. Yuan. The two people behind the carriage looked at each other and sighed softly. One of them cupped his hands and said, Senior brother, it's a long journey. Have a safe trip. Another person also said, Senior brother, take care. In the carriage, Mo Yuan hummed softly. Han Wei squinted at the cart. Mo Yuan had been in the outer sect for two hundred years. When he left, only two people had come to send him off. This scene was really bleak. He took a few steps forward and leaped into the seat in front of the cart. Thanks for sending me out. Turning. He tossed out two pills. The two green-robed outer sect disciples were stunned and subconsciously caught it. Hiss. This is, this is a fine quality cloud chi pill. The two of them exclaimed in surprise and bowed to Han Wei. Thank you for your reward, senior brother. A single fine quality cloud chi pill cost 300 spiritual rocks. For outer sect disciples, it was impossible to earn it even if they went without eating or drinking for several years. Han Wei pulled on the reins, and the carriage eased forward. When he reached El Yu Gao's side, he threw the jade bottle with the last fine quality cloud chi pill. Brother El Yu, I'll buy you a drink when I get back. El Yu Gao reached out and caught the jade bottle, gripping it tightly with both hands. Okay, let's drink, drink. His mouth trembled and his shoulders shook without him realizing it. A fine quality cloud chi pill was already considered a windfall for him. The two outer sect disciples who had also been rewarded cupped their hands at El Yu Gao. I'm Luo Cheng and I'm Qin Yi. May I know your name? El Yu Gao quickly cupped his hands. El Yu Gao greets the two senior brothers. They nodded and left, smiling. This was a form of acquaintance. With this relationship, they might be able to help him in the future. All of this from one person. Everyone looked at the moving cart. A breeze stirred the curtain on the window, revealing one of the green robes with a white beard. Green robe. It's either the outer sect or the elders. Hiss. Someone let out a low cry and turned to look at the grinning El Yu Gao, even more envious. An intersect senior brother driving a carriage meant that it could only be an elder. This intersect senior brother was actually so close to an elder and was traveling together. Senior brother L.U., we have to be closer in the future. Senior brother L.U., I'll move these flowers while you rest. Senior brother L.U., are you thirsty? I have good clear flower dew. 
a group of outer sect disciples and servant disciples in green and grey robes surrounded him. The most eager one was Sun San Tung, who had kicked El Yu Gao previously. El Yu Gao cupped his hands in return and looked up at the departing carriage. Kid, how about you pretend to be my disciple when we get to my hometown? In the carriage, Mo Yuan suddenly spoke. Don't worry, I won't let you pretend for nothing. Chapter 28 Mountains and rivers remain the same, but people have changed. Okay. Han Wei agreed without hesitation. If Mo Yuan was willing to give him precious lifespan increasing pills, so what if he pretended to be a disciple? Han Wei greets Master. With a whip, Han Wei said loudly. Ha ha, good, good. Mo Yuan laughed in the carriage. Come, let's have a chat first. Although I only hang out in the outer sect, I still know a lot about cultivation. Mo Yuan's words made Han Wei's eyes light up. Compared to Huang Six, who was mostly in the Sword Pavilion, Mo Yuan, who had been in the Nine Mystic Sword Sect for nearly 200 years, was indeed much knowledgeable. Whether it was the many small tricks in cultivation, the various rules in the cultivation world, or even some secrets that were passed down in small sects, Mo Yuan knew everything. For three days, Han Wei was completely learning all kinds of knowledge regarding cultivation. It was only through Mo Yuan's explanation that he knew what his ninth grade spiritual core was. A ninth grade spiritual core was not really hopeless. It just needed a large amount of spiritual energy to cleanse it. To ordinary cultivators, it was indeed useless without a large number of spiritual rocks. But for Han Wei, after learning how to refine the cloud chi pill, he no longer lacked spiritual energy. Speaking of cultivation, Mo Yuan said something that gave him a pleasant surprise. It turned out that when ordinary cultivators activated their danshan, it was only the size of a fist. To be able to open up a danshan the size of a wash basin was considered rare even for experts. When Han Wei quietly asked what level his danshan was if it was 10 feet wide, Mo Yuan only said two words. Demonic. The word did not sound great. But in terms of describing talent, that was the highest evaluation. It turned out that his danshan was at a demonic level. This made Han Wei, who was driving, smile. Putting aside the activation of his danshan, the opening of the his sea of qi could directly allow Han Wei to start dual cultivation. According to Mo Yuan, the best way to become a sword cultivator was to cultivate the Dao method of controlling the sword with qi while cultivating the body tempering method of controlling the sword with strength. Unfortunately, I comprehended it too late, Mo Yuan sighed in the carriage. He saw through everything, but he no longer had a chance. It was already difficult for his cultivation to improve. All his sword Dao knowledge could only be left as theories, but he could not personally achieve it. He had taught Han Wei everything he knew along the way. If he couldn't realize his dream, then someone else could. Looking at the distant sky, Mo Yuan's eyes revealed a trace of desire. He couldn't imagine the magnificent scene of thousands of swords following Han Wei after he had mastered the ancestral return of 10,000 swords technique. The mountains and rivers are still the same, but the people have changed. Mo Yuan said softly and pointed at the end of the road ahead. Over there is my hometown, King Mu Town. Han Wei nodded and said, Master, where is your house? Are we going back directly? Directly, excitement flashed in Mo Yuan's eyes. Then, he shook his head timidly and said, Let's find an inn to stay in first and ask around before going. I'm worried. Mo Yuan was worried that after not returning to his family for 200 years, he would not know anything about the situation in his family. Han Wei nodded and drove the carriage toward a small building with an inn sign. At the entrance of the Sword Pavilion of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect, the outer sect disciple, Zhang Han, turned around and left with a regretful expression on his face. He was there to thank the sword caretaker. Unfortunately, the person who had enlightened him was not there. After cultivating in seclusion for a few days, he had unknowingly become familiar with the sword in his hand and his combat strength had increased greatly. 
when he came out of seclusion, he had a private spar with an outer sect disciple who was ranked above him. The battle had surprised him. The senior brother ranked 90th in the outer sect could not last 10 moves under his sword. According to that senior brother, his sword was compatible with his sword technique. His sword was swift and difficult to defend against. That senior brother also said that Zhang Han's combat strength might be in the top 50 of the outer sect. He even sighed that Zhang Han had gained sudden enlightenment and had a bright future. Zhang Han knew that all of this was because of the guidance of the Sword Pavilion's sword caretaker. I'll come back tomorrow, Zhang Han muttered as he left. In the Sword Pavilion, Huang Six, who was sitting at the long table, lowered his head and muttered, Little Han is really popular. He has only been in the sect for a few days, but so many people have come to find him. The inner sect elite, Zhao Piyu, the outer sect disciple, Zhang Han, the servant, El Yu Gao, and, um, this kid is very popular with girls. That store owner Bai has already come twice. When he looked up, he was stunned. Junior sister Mu? Didn't you? His gut tightened. Didn't Han Wei go down the mountain with junior sister Mu? So, where did he go? Mu Wan had a complicated expression on her face. She bowed to Huang Six and handed him a letter. Brother Huang, please pass this letter to senior brother Han. If, if he can still see it. With that, Mu Wan turned around and left. Hey, you, you Huang Six looked at the envelope his expression changing as he turned and ran into Han Wei's quiet room. A moment later, his eyes red and his shoulders shaking, he strolled out. He held two small jade bottles in his hands. Impossible. Little Han will definitely survive this. At this moment, Han Wei, whom he had been talking about, had already accompanied Mo Yuan to a magnificent mansion outside King Mu Town. Fortunately, fortunately, after not returning for 200 years, my M.O. family has become more and more prosperous. Looking at the tall gate, M.O. Yuan stroked his long beard and sighed softly. After staying at the inn for a night and asking about the current situation of the M.O. family, he was a little surprised. Ever since M.O. Yuan joined the Nine Mystic Sword Sect, the M.O. family had slowly risen because of his relationship with the Outer Sect. In the past 200 years, the M.O. family claimed that their ancestor, M.O. Yuan, was already very powerful in the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. In addition, the head of the M.O. family, M.O. Yun Teng, was at the third level of Qi Condensation Realm and was a rare expert in King Mu Town. The M.O. family became the number one family within a hundred miles. You're going to the M.O. family to deliver a congratulatory gift, right? Tomorrow. The M.O. family is having a marriage alliance with the Sun family of Changgu County. Most of the guests in the inn are here to congratulate them. The waiter's words reminded M.O. Yuan. Han Wei quietly went to look for an invitation, and the two of them went to the M.O. family together the next day. The host at the entrance invited the two of them into the mansion. M.O. Yuan looked at the surrounding scenery and felt endless emotions. Han Wei was half a step behind him moving slowly. When they arrived at the brightly lit hall in front, many guests had already taken their seats. A few well-built members of the M.O. family welcomed them. My master traveled here and heard that the M.O. family and the Sun family had a marriage alliance. He remembered his friendship with the M.O. family's ancestor and specially prepared a congratulatory gift. Han Wei stepped forward and handed over a small wooden box. When the welcoming M.O. family members heard Han Wei's words, they were stunned. Then, they looked at M.O. Yuan and said in surprise, Senior knows my ancestor. M.O. Yuan nodded, and Han Wei replied, A hundred years ago, my master and the M.O. family's ancestor traveled the martial world together. They were old friends. Old friend of the patriarch. The M.O. family members hurriedly bowed solemnly. Then, they turned around and handed the congratulatory gift to the person behind them. A moment later, the head of the M.O. family, M.O. Yun Teng, strode over. The patriarch's old friend was offering a high-grade spiritual rock as a gift. 
how could he not dare to come? A high-grade spiritual rocks could pay for two M.O. families. Junior M.O. Yunteng greets Senior. May I know Senior's name? M.O. Yunteng bowed, then looked at M.O. Yuan and asked in a low voice. The surrounding guests had long placed their attention on M.O. Yuan. When they saw how polite the M.O. family's head was, they were immediately shocked. Who is this? Even the head of the M.O. family has to personally welcome him. Someone whispered, his eyes filled with curiosity. It's more than a personal welcome. Didn't you see the head of the M.O. family bow? The person who spoke had a glint in his eyes as he looked at Han Wei and M.O. Yuan. They all have swords on their backs. They're at least sword cultivators. Chapter 29 The Ancestral Return of Ten Thousand Swords Will Definitely Flourish in Your Hands Soon, the news was all over the hall. Patriarch Mo's old friend had come to visit and he even brought a high-grade spiritual rock as a gift. Hearing that it was a high-grade spiritual rock, many people revealed envious expressions. The cultivators of the sect had the financial support of the sect. When their cultivation reached a high level, they did not have to worry about spiritual rocks and food at all. The cultivation path of the family cultivators and those partial cultivators with insufficient aptitude was much more difficult. One spiritual rock could be used by a partial cultivator at the third or fourth level of the essence energy cultivation realm for half a year. A treasure like a high-grade spiritual rock might not even exist in the entire King Mu town. Han Wei and Mo Yuan, who was disguised as the elder of myriad swords, were invited to the main seat. The experts of the Mo family sat around. The head of the Mo family, Mo Yunteng, was an expert at the third level of qi condensation realm. At this moment, he was also carefully sitting in a corner. He saw that this myriad sword elder's cultivation level seemed to be only at the peak of the essence energy cultivation realm, and his disciple was not even at the third level of the essence energy cultivation realm. But that wasn't possible. An expert who could casually take out a high-grade spiritual rock must have an extremely profound cultivation level. He just didn't reveal his cultivation level that could shock the world. Perhaps the Myriad Swords Elder was already at the Foundation Establishment Realm or even the Earth Realm. If they could befriend such an expert, the M.O. family would definitely soar into the sky. With his heart burning, M.O. Yunteng and the group of M.O. family members became even more eager. They surrounded M.O. Yuan and chatted enthusiastically. M.O. Yuan only asked a few questions casually and M.O. Yunteng and the others introduced the rise of their family and the experts in their family in detail. M.O. Yuan would ask a few questions from time to time, always pointing out the key points, making the M.O. family members sigh. This person was indeed a senior expert as he could see through everything so thoroughly. Even some cultivation matters and stories that M.O. Yuan casually mentioned made everyone feel that they had benefited greatly. My master travels the world and has the intention to return to seclusion now. The scenery in King Mu Town is not bad. Han Wei, who was sitting at the side, spoke up. Recluse. Mo Yunteng revealed a look of joy and hurriedly bowed. Elder, our Mo family can be considered the number one family in King Mu Town. If Elder lives in seclusion in King Mu Town, our Mo family can take care of you. Han Wei turned to look at M.O. Yuan. This was what they had discussed. The M.O. family wanted to make use of M.O. Yuan's reputation. If he returned as M.O. Yuan and let people know that he was just an old man who had yet to enter the Qi condensation realm, he would probably expose the M.O. family and cause their reputation to decline. It was better to return under an alias and be a guest elder to leave the rest of his time in the M.O. family. Anyway, no one had known him for two hundred years. Hearing M.O. Yunteng's words, M.O. Yuan did not nod directly. He only chuckled and said indifferently, let's talk about this later. It depends on fate. The more he acted like this, the more eager M.O. Yunteng and the people behind him were. Perhaps if the M.O. family was more sincere, this expert would be willing to stay in the M.O. family? Just as M.O. Yunteng was about to say more, there was a commotion at the door. The Sun family had arrived. Hee <laughs> hee, hurry up and fetch the bride. 
Don't worry about me. Mo Yuan smiled and waved his hand. I also enjoy the liveliness of such a festive event. Hearing Mo Yuan's words, Mo Yun Teng's eyes lit up. Old people were all like this. They liked to see their juniors bustling with life. This patriarch really thought highly of the Mo family by saying this. As long as this marriage was done well, the Myriad Swords Elder might have the intention to stay in the Mo family. Senior is right. Then I'll go fetch the bride first. Mo Yun Teng bowed to Mo Yuan and led the Mo family away. The entire hall of guests followed him out. In the empty hall, Mo Yuan turned to look at the corridor pillars hung with red silk and the word happiness hanging high above. He said in a low voice, Sigh. I'm also happy that the M.O. family can be so powerful. I've passed down the ancestral return of 10,000 swords and returned to my hometown. I've fulfilled both wishes. Besides, both wishes have gone beyond my expectations. Mwie, you're definitely a genius in sword cultivation. With the ancestral return of 10,000 swords in your hands, it will definitely flourish. The M.O. family is so prosperous. If I can nurture a few more disciples, I will have no regrets in this life. With that, Mo Yuan took off the sword hanging at his waist and placed it on the table. Mwie, take this sword as a reward for pretending to be my disciple. Also, take this pill. The jade bottle containing the pill that could increase one's lifespan by one year was also placed on the table. Senior, these are all useful to you. Han Mwie shook his head and said softly. Mo Yuan smiled and said, What use is there? I've already seen through everything, so why can't you? Han Wei still wanted to speak, but Mo Yuan said in a deep voice, Take it, don't let outsiders see it. At the door, the noise was close. Han Wei nodded and put the jade bottle away. Then he held the sword with both hands, palm on the hilt. Hum. A soft sound that only he heard the soft ringing of the sword that had resisted him. Images flashed in Han Wei's mind. Images of the sword being forged and tempered over and over again. A young man doing a sword dance. The cultivation of hundreds of sword techniques. He vowed to create the one sword technique that would topple the heavens. After two hundred years, his sword Qi had condensed, but he was unable to use it anymore. Han Wei felt that in the long sword, there was a thick sword energy that was about to condense into sword intent. This sword chi was nurtured by Mo Yuan with his entire life. However, because Mo Yuan was old and weak, he was already unable to control this sword chi. Han Wei's palm gently released the hilt. He had already comprehended nearly a hundred sword techniques from this long sword called Destiny. But he could not bear to take the sword chi from the sword. This sword chi was Mo Yuan's life. If he absorbed this sword chi, this sword would lose its connection with Mo Yuan. The hall was filled with joy. Mo Yuan sat there and watched with a smile. Anyone who came toasted him and he did not turn down any. In particular, when the marrying couple went forward to kneel and bow, Mo Yuan smiled and went forward to help them up. Your great grandfather doesn't have anything to give you. How about this? In a few days, come over and I'll teach you some good sword techniques. Stroking his long beard, Mo Yuan's face was full of smiles. His words surprised the Mo family. Clearly the old man was willing to stay, even temporarily. Hurry up and thank great grandfather, Mo Yun Tang hurriedly shouted, letting his son and daughter in law kowtow to Mo Yuan. Not far away. A few of the guests who had come to send the bride off watched this scene coldly. Senior brother Zhang Hung, what's the background of this so-called myriad sword elder? A middle-aged man wearing a red jacket and thin armor asked in a deep voice. The short-bearded middle-aged man named Zhang Heng's eyes lit up. His footsteps are weak, and his eyes are turbid. He's clearly at the end of his lifespan. There's some sword chi on his body but his spiritual energy is mixed. His cultivation level is at most at the third or fourth level of qi condensation. Let's stick to the plan. The old man is nothing to worry about. 
The others exchanged glances at his words, then nodded. Bam! A porcelain bowl fell to the ground. The sharp sound was like a pair of scissors cutting through brocade in the jubilant atmosphere. What kind of lousy wine is this? The M.O. family is looking down on our son family too much. An eight-foot-tall young man staggered to his feet and pointed at the couple. M.O. Yuchin, is this how the M.O. family treats their guests? The hall fell silent. Patriarch M.O. Yuan narrowed his eyes. M.O. Yun Teng's heart skipped a beat as he hurriedly took a step forward. The M.O. family has neglected you. Quick, send ten jars of falling snow brew over. The falling snow brew was a famous wine. It contained a trace of spiritual energy and cost one spiritual rock per jar. M.O. Yun Teng's heart ached to serve such good wine to the guests. But at this moment, what he had to do was to make the scene lively and without any twists and turns. Don't serve him any falling snow brew. The young man looked at M.O. Yun Teng with suppressed anger in his eyes. Just now, I heard that the M.O. family is the number one family in King Mu Town. That my son family is only an ordinary family in Yanggu County and it's my son family's honor to be able to marry into your family. The young man took a step forward. The red silk wrapped sword at his waist was unsheathed. Let me see how capable your M.O. family's younger generation is. Draw your sword. Everyone's expressions turned cold when they saw the cold sword light. In the hall, the guests quietly moved back. No one was a fool. No one from the Sun family had said anything yet. It was obvious that they wanted to stir up trouble. Chapter 30, I Don't Want to See Bloodshed Today Seeing the burly man draw his sword, M.O. Yuan narrowed his eyes and said in a low voice, This is the inner sect sword technique of the Three Chin Sword Sect. His two hundred years in the outer sect was not for nothing. Although M.O. Yuan could not come into contact with the upper echelons of the various sects, he had knowledge that outsiders could not reach. The Three Chin Sword Sect. Han Wei quickly nodded. No wonder these people wanted to pick a fight. The Three Chin Sword Sect was a sword sect hundreds of kilometers away. It was not a big sect, but there were many experts among them. They were usually not very respectful to the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. A few years ago, the Nine Mystic Sword Sect sent out experts to teach the Three Chin Sword Sect a lesson. Only then did they become much more obedient. It seemed that after not suppressing it for a few years, they were trying to stir something up. With M.O. Yuan explaining the various stories of the cultivation world, Han Wei now knew more information than those disciples who had been in the sect for decades. Hehe, he, it's not nice to draw your sword on such a joyous day, right? An old man in a robe from the M.O. family smiled and cupped his hands. This must be the ninth young master of the Sun family, L.U. Yang. I heard that he cultivated in the Three Chin Sword sect. It seems that he has mastered a divine technique. The old man exposed the burly man's identity and said with a smile, the small dispute between the Nine Mystic Sword Sect and the Three Chin Sword Sect shouldn't implicate us families, right? Although his words were tactful, the surrounding people understood that this young master Sun Liu Yang of the Sun family was provoking them for a reason. That was because of the matter between the two sects. The M.O. family had always been a firm fan of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. If they really had any conflict with the Sun family that day and word got out, they might even be able to gain the favor of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. M.O. Yun Tang turned his head to observe M.O. Yuan's expression. Seeing that there was no change in his expression, he heaved a sigh of relief. I didn't agree to this marriage in the first place. Your M.O. family always puts on airs. What Nine Mystic Sword Sect? All these years, the Nine Mystic Sword Sect has never taken much care of your M.O. family. Sun Liu Yang's face was cold. He raised his hand and pointed his long sword at the people around. If any one of the younger generation of the M.O. family can defeat the sword in my hand today, I'll turn around and leave. If no one can win, he he, it's better not to marry. The hall was silent. The bride in the wedding dress was trembling, her eyes filled with tears. The groom at her side put his arm around her shoulders and said softly. 
That's not right, Master. Although the three Qin Sword sect and the nine mystical mystic sect don't get along, it's not to the extent of implicating the M.O. family. Han Wei frowned, his gaze landing on the tables where the Sun family sent the bride. Be careful. There's murderous intent in these people. M.O. Yuan pressed his hand on the table, his eyes flickering. Murderous intent. Han Wei was slightly taken aback. Even if there was a dispute, it was not to the point of killing each other. How could they have murderous intent? Clang! In front of them, there were already disciples of the M.O. family who were becoming impatient. Today is Brother Yuchen's big day. Since Uncle Sun wants to liven things up, I, M.O. Yusai, will accompany you. The sword in the young man's hand shone as he stood tall. Someone from the M.O. family finally faced him directly, causing the hall to become slightly noisy. When the people saw the young man who walked out, someone immediately introduced in a low voice, so it's the fifth young master of the M.O. family. It's said that this person is already above the fifth level of the essence energy cultivation realm. He's considered an expert among the younger generation in King Mew Town. The M.O. family's sword technique was taught by an elder from the Nine Mystic Sword sect. I think it won't be inferior to the Sun families. This round will definitely be exciting. Someone's eyes lit up as he chuckled in anticipation. Eh, do you think this is a trap set up by the Sun and M.O. families to show off the greatness of their younger generation? A guest sitting in the distance lowered his voice and voiced his guess. These words made many guests who were not clear about the dispute between the Nine Mystic Sword Sect and the Three Chin Sword Sect nod. In the middle of the hall, there was an empty space of twenty to thirty feet. Two young men with swords stood facing each other. M.O. Yusai of the M.O. family seeks guidance from young master Sun Liu Yang of the Sun family. The M.O. family disciple with a red belt at his waist shouted in a low voice as he stabbed out with his sword. This sword carried the sound of air being torn apart. The sword light was clear and steady, fast and urgent. From this strike alone, it could be seen that this fifth young master of the M.O. family had a solid foundation in swordsmanship. He had worked hard for at least a few years. The M.O. family is known as the number one family in King Mew Town. The disciples of this family are indeed impressive. Not many of the younger generation in King Mew Town can withstand this strike. M.O. Yusai's sword attracted all kinds of discussion, but Sun Liu Yang's expression did not change. When the sword was in front of him, Sun Liu Yang's sword met it. With a flash of sword light, the two swords collided. Clang! M.O.U. took a step back and his face turned red. Sun Liu Yang's sword did not move as he pointed it forward again. Everyone around him frowned. Sun Liu Yang's sword moves were not sharp, but his cultivation was clearly much stronger than M.O.U. Sai's. He suppressed M.O. Yusai's sword with his cultivation. In a sword competition, such an act was unfair. This kid's swordsmanship is not bad. He's deliberately suppressing others. The three Qin sword sex sword technique he cultivates is a multi-strength sword technique. M.O. Yuan looked at the two sides and said softly to Han Wei. Watch my sword M.O. Yusai, who had been forced back a step, gritted his teeth and shouted. He thrust his sword out again. A cold expression flashed across Sun Liu Yang's face as the sword in his hand suddenly smashed down. Clang! M.O. Yusai's sword broke into two, and the tip of the sword spun and fell. M.O. Yusai's face was pale as he retreated. He held his right arm in his left hand, and blood dripped from between his thumb and forefinger. You think you are qualified to challenge me with this little capability? Sun Liu Yang sneered and pointed his sword forward. M.O. Yuchen, why don't you come up? M.O. Yuchen was the eldest young master of the M.O. family, the number one among the younger generation. He was already at the eighth level of the essence energy cultivation realm and was the strongest among the younger generation in King Mew Town. Anger flashed across M.O. Yuchen's face. That day was his wedding. If he had joined the battle, it would be attract bad luck. Moreover, if he had fought against the Sun family that day, the bride beside him must be very sad. 
He did not have a deep relationship with Miss Sun, but since they were going to get married, he had to think for her. Miss Sun tugged at Mo Yuchen's sleeve, her eyes filled with tears. Don't be arrogant. My Mo family has plenty of people to fight you. There's no need for eldest young master to attack. I'll someone from the Mo family shouted, and several young disciples jumped into the battle. Go back. At this moment, the head of the Mo family, Mo Yunteng, suddenly shouted and took a step forward. A vigorous force exploded from his body, causing the surrounding Mo family disciples to lose their balance and retreat. The force pushed Sun Liu Yang back and he hit the table behind him. His face turned pale. This was the power of Qi Condensation Realm. In front of a Qi Condensation Cultivator, a essence energy cultivator was not even qualified to attack. It's just a game. That's all, Mo Yunteng said calmly. His gaze swept ahead before he turned around. At this moment, a green light shot out from behind Sun Liu Yang and stabbed towards Mo Yunteng's back. Attack! Dozens of figures flew in all directions, and sword lights bloomed. Mo Yun narrowed his eyes and said in a low voice. It turns out that the Three Qin Sword Sect has long joined forced with the Great Spiritual Sword Sect. The person who drew the sword was at least at the Qi Condensation Realm. Han Wei looked in front of him. Ahead, war was on the verge of breaking out. I don't want to see bloodshed today, Mo Yuan muttered as an intense aura rose from his body. His aura was light, but it was sharp. The aura turned into a thousand streaks and spread out. Sword Chi. This was the Sword Chi condensed in Mo Yuan's body. Hum. All the swords in the hall shook uncontrollably. The short sword shot at Mo Yunteng's back was three inches behind him. Standing behind Mo Yuan, Han Wei's eyes lit up. This was the ancestral return of ten thousand swords. With the condensation of Sword Chi, ten thousand swords responded. Chapter 31 this is the ancestral return of ten thousand swords. Clang! A green short sword shot at the back of Mo Yunteng fell to the ground. In the hall, everyone looked at the white-bearded old man sitting at the main seat in shock. What kind of expert could make all the swords in the hall tremble with a word? Was there really such an expert in the world? Earth realm, he must be in the earth realm. The pale Mo Yunteng looked at Mo Yuan and said excitedly. Those people who had been running in all directions slowly retreated and gathered. They held their swords and looked around warily. The leaders stared at Mo Yuan, not daring to relax at all. One word could stop the sword. Such power could be said to be the law. He was definitely an Earth Realm expert. But how could a small Mo family have an Earth Realm expert? Were they just going to give up on something they had been planning for a long time? Even if they didn't give up, so what could they do if there were Earth Realm experts here? Didn't you hear what my master said? Han Wei took a step forward with the sword destiny in both hands. He had to take actions. In the eyes of outsiders, his Earth Realm cultivation was actually just an empty shell. His cultivation level was only at the essence energy cultivation stage, and he was old and weak. It was even a little difficult for him to lift his sword. Earlier, he had felt the vibration of destiny in his hand. It was the weakening of the connection between Mo Yuan and his sword. The sword Qi condensed on Mo Yuan's body was about to be exhausted. As Han Wei took a step, the ringing of the swords in the hall disappeared. The relatives looked at each other, then slowly retreated from the lobby and ran away. After these people left, the guests in the hall slowly came back to their senses. It made people feel helpless that a proper wedding banquet had become like this. However, for the M.O. family, a marriage was still a joyous event. Everyone subconsciously looked at M.O. Yuan. With an Earth Realm expert holding down the fort for the M.O. family, in the future, they would not be as simple as being the number one family in King Mew Town. A family with an Earth Realm expert could even become the number one family in a radius of hundreds of miles and become an ally of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. In the cultivation world, power always rules. 
You guys don't feel comfortable with me here either, Mo Yuan suddenly said. Do you have a back room? I'm a little tired and want to rest. Mo Yun Tang hurriedly bowed. Yes, senior, please follow me. Mo Yuan waved his hand and said, No need. Let the two of them bring me there. Mo Yuan pointed at the red robed couple. They both were slightly stunned. The bride, Miss Sun, was panicking. She did not know how to deal with the Sun family's act while sending her off. Mo Yuchen, who was beside her, did not know if the wedding banquet would continue. He only held Miss Sun's cold hand. Didn't you hear what great grandfather said? Aren't you going? Mo Yun Tang shouted in a low voice. Mo Yuchen and the bride hurriedly bowed and led Mo Yuan away from the main table to the back room. Ahem, everyone, let's continue with the banquet. How about it? Mo Yun Tang's voice came from the hall. Of course. Today is a joyous day for the Mo family. Yes, we have to interact more with brother Mo in the future. When they reached the backyard, Mo Yuchen pushed open the room door. Mo Yuan stepped out. Then staggered. Han Wei, who was following behind, reached out to support him. Mo Yuan's face was pale. He turned to look at Han Wei and said anxiously, "Wei, quick, take them out of King Mu Town and go to the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. When those people realize it, no one here will survive." Mo Yuan's words and current appearance left the two newcomers at a loss. At this moment. Mo Yuan did not look like an Earth Realm expert at all. Mo Yuan turned to look at Mo Yuchen and the bride. I'm your great grandfather, Mo Yuan. My name should be Mo Ling Yang in the family records back then. Mo Ling Yang, Mo Yuan, the patriarch of the Mo family. Mo Yuchen and the bride stared. This myriad swords elder was his ancestor. Wasn't his ancestor in the Nine Mystic Sword Sect? Why was he here? I don't have the high level of cultivation as you think. Instead, my cultivation and lifespan have been exhausted. I don't have much life left. Mo Yuan's words made the two of them turn pale. The foundation of the Mo family depended on their ancestor in the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. If not for this patriarch holding up the family, the Mo family might not even be considered top-notch in King Mu Town. Although I subdued those people just now, if they realize it, they will definitely return. This person from the Nine Mystic Sword Sect Mo Yuan pointed at Han Wei. I'm Han Wei, Master's Disciple, Han Wei said frankly. Mo Yuan did not expect Han Wei to still acknowledge him as his master. He looked at him gratefully and said, Wei will bring you to the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. At least leave a bloodline inheritance for my Mo family. Han Wei nodded and looked at Mo Yuchen and the bride. Come with me. Then, without hesitation, he turned and walked away. The patriarch was not a true expert. Those experts were going to make a comeback. Mo Yuchen and Miss Sun's faces turned pale. With those people's cultivation and abilities, no one in the entire Mo family could stop them. Hurry up and leave. Don't stay any longer. Mo Yuan waved his hand and said in a low voice. Mo Yuchen nodded and led the bride away. When they walked out of the door, the two of them turned around and knelt before Mo Yuan. They kowtowed three times before quickly following Han Wei. Watching the three of them leave, Mo Yuan sighed softly and said, "It's good that they're gone. It's good that they're gone." He slumped down in front of the table and chair and pressed his hand against the surface. Suddenly, his entire body shook. Turning slowly, he saw the sword he knew so well on the table. Han Wei did not take destiny with him. With a jolt, he gripped the scabbard and felt the sword chi surge through his sword. Not right. What is this kid trying to do? Struggling to get up, Mo Yuan looked at the distant sky. At this moment, Han Wei had already led Mo Yuchen and the bride outside the Mo residence. My master is indeed not an expert of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. He's just the number one outer sect disciple who hasn't reached the Qi condensation realm after 200 years. 
Han Wei walked in front, his eyes expressionless. He had not reached Qi condensation realm even after 200 years. Mo Yuchen and the bride did not expect the Mo family's famous patriarch to be so unsuccessful. He spent 200 years creating a sword technique. Han Wei strode forward, an inexplicable aura surging around him. This aura shocked Mo Yuchen and his wife who were following behind him. Today, I'll let you see how talented your ancestor is. Han Wei spoke lightly, his gaze fixed not far away. Over there, more than ten figures in green and grey robes rushed over. Haha, <laughs> as expected, they're trying to escape. Quick, surround the Mo family and find the treasure. Then we'll head to the great spiritual sword sect. Other than the ninth son of the Sun family, Sun Liu Yang, who looked at the bride beside Mo Yuchen with a hint of pity on his face, the others were all filled with murderous intent as they rushed over. Han Wei stood where he was, one hand behind his back, the other stretched out slowly, two fingers together. Sword Qi in the sword, tough or gentle, transforming constantly. 128,000 Sword Qi condensed into sword intent. This sword intent can destroy mountains and rivers. This is the ancestral return of 10,000 swords. Hum. As soon as he finished speaking, sword light rose. Thousands of sword chi soared into the sky. Chapter 32, Mo Yuan, Qi Condensation Thousands of sharp sword lights flashed, and endless sword chi exploded. The sword chi formed a river that surged for a thousand feet. Sword Intent On a mountain range dozens of kilometers away, a few white-robed martial artists looked up. Someone exclaimed. An Earth Realm expert. It must be that Qin Yun He from the Great Spiritual Sword Sect. An old man in a grey robe shouted coldly. Hurry up and go. The Nine Mystic Sword Sect will definitely reward us handsomely for killing this person. The old man's aura was solemn. He carried a long sword on his back and sharp energy emitted from his body. Bam! A pale red firework exploded in the distant sky. It's the Nine Mystic Sword Sex Gathering Order. Hurry up and go. Surround Qin Yu and he and you will receive 3,000 merit tokens. A group of people wearing the robes of the inner sect disciples of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect flew forward. The sword intent. He <laughs> he, good lad. In the M.O. family mansion, M.O. Yuan looked up at the soaring sword light with a smile. It's a pity that I didn't personally witness this ancestral return of 10,000 swords. M.O. Yuan sat on the door frame, his eyes filled with joy and a trace of regret. This is the ancestral return of 10,000 swords, Han Wei said calmly as he slowly retracted his hand. The space in front of him seemed to have been plowed by an iron plow. More than ten martial artists spat out blood and their bodies were riddled with holes. This was just the one sword intent released by the ancestral return of ten thousand swords. If three thousand sword intents condensed into sword momentum, what would the ancestral return of ten thousand swords look like? Han Wei put his hands behind his back, his eyes shining. Ancestral return of ten thousand swords. Mo Yuchen clenched the bride's cold hand and muttered to himself in a hoarse voice. He killed more than ten essence energy cultivation and qi condensation experts with a single strike. Was such a strike really created by his ancestor? How could an outer sect disciple who had not reached the qi condensation realm after two hundred years create such a magnificent sword technique? Han Wei slowly stepped forward, squatted, and looked at the twitching figure on the ground. Tell me, why have you come? The man's eyes were full of fear. He gurgled a few times, then his head lolled and he died. Han Wei reached out and grabbed the sword on the ground. Images swam into his mind. The young man joined the great spiritual sword sect. He was a young swordsman. An elite in the sect. He had come with the elders of the sect to disrupt the rising of the nine mystic sword sect. That mystic sun sword contains the principles of the sword Dao. As long as we find it, it will definitely help our great spiritual sword sect become the leader of the four sword sects in the western frontier. In the image, 
the person who spoke was a black-bearded man in a long robe. It was the expert of the Great Spiritual Sword Sect, Qin Yu and He. Great Spiritual Sword Sect, Mystic Sun Sword, Han Wei narrowed his eyes. The last time he heard the name of the Mystic Sun Sword was in the images of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect's disciple, Ji Yuan. What secrets did this sword have? Sister, sister, Sun Liu Yang, who was lying in a pool of blood, panted and looked at the bride. Miss Sun covered her mouth as tears fell. Sister, don't blame your ninth brother. The Sun family has been exterminated by the Great Spiritual Sword Sect. We have no choice. You, you be good, live. He was dead before he finished. Bam! Nearby, fireworks rose into the air. Han Wei stood up and turned. Let's go. Then he strode back to the house. Mo Yuchen and the others did not see that Han Wei's face was pale. It didn't feel good to kill someone for the first time. Ying Er, don't worry. My Mo family has an elder. I, Mo Yuchen, will definitely avenge you in the future. Mo Yuchen held the bride whose shoulders were trembling and said in a deep voice. When Mo Yunteng and the others arrived at the battlefield, there was no one alive. Sword Qi, he was injured by the Sword Qi. Earth Realm, it must be an Earth Realm expert. Everyone turned to look at Mo Yunteng with amazement. It was obvious who had done it. Mo Yunteng smiled without saying anything and only looked into the distance. Figures raced toward them. These people were all tall and straight, and a sharp aura flashed on their bodies. They were all experts in sword cultivation. Greetings, seniors. Mo Yunteng took a step forward and bowed to the newcomers. The person in front was dressed in a grey robe and carried a long sword on his back. He looked around and narrowed his eyes. Did you do this? Mo Yunteng shook his head and said, Senior. This was done by a senior of my M.O. family. That senior has a close relationship with our M.O. family's ancestor. Then, he bowed and said softly, My M.O. family's ancestor is in the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. The expression of the old man in the green and grey robe changed slightly, then he nodded and said, Well, good. So the M.O. family has such a relationship with our Nine Mystic Sword Sect. I'm Su Linjin the deacon of the Nine Mystic Sword Sex Battle Sword Hall. That Earth Realm expert helped the Nine Mystic Sword Sect eliminate the calamity. We should pay a visit to that Earth Realm expert in the M.O. family. An Earth Realm expert? The Nine Mystic Sword Sect expert in front of him had personally said that the Myriad Sword Elder was an Earth Realm expert. M.O. Yunteng was all smiles as he hurriedly stretched out his hand and said, Senior, please. Someone naturally cleaned up the corpses on the ground. Everyone surrounded the Nine Mystic Sword Sect expert and headed towards the M.O. family. Oh my, the M.O. family has completely become successful. Even the experts of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect have to pay a visit to the Elder. The M.O. family has really soared. The guests whispered behind him and followed them to the M.O. family. No one was willing to leave first in such a situation. In the M.O. family's backyard, Han Wei strode back. M.O. Yuan looked excited as he struggled to get up. How is it? Qi condensation and essence energy cultivation realm all exterminated with one slash, Han Wei said in a deep voice. Ha ha, good, good M.O. Yuan laughed out loud, his laughter carefree. Ancestral return of ten thousand swords indeed had the ability to kill thousands of enemies with one strike. After spending 200 years to create such an exquisite sword technique, Mo Yuan felt that he no longer had any regrets in his life. His face turned red and he coughed a few times. His body swayed and he was about to fall. Han Wei stepped forward and put a hand on his arm. Mo Yuchen and Miss Sun also arrived. The two of them looked at each other and knelt in front of Mo Yuan. Greetings to the Elder. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't you think that I'm useless? Mo Yuan laughed. There was a hint of relief and regret in his eyes. The ancestor is too great. The ancestral return of ten thousand swords created by you is peerless. Mo Yuchen looked up at Mo Yuan, 
his eyes filled with admiration. The power of Han Wei's attack just now had completely won him over. The person who could create this sword technique was the M.O. family's ancestor. As a member of the M.O. family, he was extremely lucky. Hearing M.O. Yuchen's words, a gratified smile appeared on M.O. Yuan's face. Then, he sighed softly and said, It's a pity that my danshan is empty and I don't have the strength to gather spiritual energy. Otherwise, I could have lived for a few more days. I really want to see the M.O. family again. As his speech became softer, the divine light in M.O. Yuan's eyes also began to dissipate. At this moment, Han Wei suddenly reached out and pressed on M.O. Yuan's shoulder. A flood of power poured into him, making his eyes widen. Sword Intent This was a complete sword intent that directly passed through M.O. Yuan's body and meridians. Then, it entered his chest and landed in his sea of qi. Han Wei pressed a pill into M.O. Yuan's mouth with his other hand. The pill melted in his mouth and dissolved into spiritual energy. The spiritual energy flowed through the meridians pierced by the sword qi and instantly landed on M.O. Yuan's dry danshan. Hum. A copious force emitted from M.O. Yuan's body. Qi condensation realm. The sword intent opened up his sea of qi, and a supreme grade cloud qi pill filled his meridians and danshan, directly allowing M.O. Yuan's cultivation to break through and reach the qi condensation realm. Once he entered the qi condensation realm, his originally exhausted lifespan rapidly increased. The aura on M.O. Yuan's body constantly reversed, and his white hair turned grey. His originally thin face also regained its colour. Hum. M.O. Yuan opened his eyes, and a sword light flashed in his eyes. All the swords within a 10,000-foot radius vibrated. In front of the M.O. family mansion, Su Linjin, the deacon of the Nine Mystic Sword Sex Battle Sword Hall, trembled. The sword on his back vibrated. He was not the only one. The Nine Mystic Sword Sect disciple behind him could not even hold the sword in his hand as it seemed to be about to fly into the sky. The sword intent has condensed, and an Earth Realm expert has awakened. Su Linjin stood on the spot and bowed slightly. It was a sign of respect for the strong. Chapter 33 Returning to the sect, interception by Qin Yu and He. Several kilometers away from the M.O. family mansion, many people stopped in their tracks. What a thick sword intent. It's actually condensed and makes one's soul tremble, a grey-robed old man said softly with a sigh. With such sword intent, he can be said to be invincible among his peers. A middle-aged man in a black robe muttered, then shook his head and said, the M.O. family and the Sun family's marriage had attracted trouble. I didn't expect. Let's go. With such an expert guarding the M.O. family, the Nine Mystic Sword sect won't find trouble with them. Another black-robed man turned around and left. This person's sword qi is magnificent and his sword intent has condensed. It's even a level above Qin Yu and he. There's no need to look. It's not him. Outside the M.O. residence, the experts quietly retreated. The M.O. family did not know that they had all been on the brink of death. In front of the mansion, the vibration of all the swords dissipated. Su Linjin, the deacon of the Nine Mystic Sword Sex Sword Battle Hall, straightened his back and looked at M.O. Yun Teng. Patriarch M.O., since this senior wants to enter seclusion for the time being, we shan't disturb him. We still have to chase after Qin Yu and he. Su Linjin's words stunned Mo Yun Teng. Why did the people from the Nine Mystic Sword Sect stop entering when they reached the entrance? Seeing that he was puzzled, Su Linjin smiled and cupped his hands. Patriarch Mo, don't worry. My Nine Mystic Sword Sect will naturally send someone to visit again. My Sword Battle Hall has another mission for a killing pursuit. He bowed toward the mansion and turned to leave. As he watched the people from the Nine Mystic Sword Sect leave, Mo Yun Teng's heart trembled and he broke out in cold sweat. The Sword Battle Hall only focused on killing. Then why did they come to the Mo family just now? He turned to the back of the mansion, respect in his eyes. No wonder the myriad sword elder had warned them with his sword intent. If it weren't for him, 
the Nine Mystic Sword sect might really have come with ill intentions. At this moment, in the backyard, Mo Yuan, who had restrained his divine light and was emitting sword intent, stood in the room with a sigh. Are you really going back to the sword pavilion, Muye? At this moment, his cultivation level had reached the Qi condensation realm, and he still had hundreds of years to live. With his sword intent, the ancestral return of ten thousand swords could even compete against the Earth Realm experts. At this moment, he was an Earth Realm expert. If Han Wei was willing to cultivate under him, he would teach him with all his might and let him develop into a sword expert. However, Han Wei refused. He wanted to return to the Nine Mystic Sword Sect and return to the Sword Pavilion to be a sword caretaker. Master, the sword Qi I condense comes from the Sword Pavilion. It's more convenient for me to cultivate the Qi condensation technique you mentioned there. Han Wei said softly. Hearing Han Wei mention the sword Qi, Mo Yuan nodded. If Han Wei hadn't given him his sword intent and that supreme grade pill to activate his Danchen Sea of Qi, he would probably have reached the end of his lifespan. All right. Mo Yuan looked at Han Wei and extended his hand to hand over the long sword, Destiny. The only thing I can teach you is the ancestral return of ten thousand swords. You may return to the Nine Mystic Sword Sect to cultivate. If you need anything, come find me directly. I, Mo Yuan, will never forget our fate as master and disciple. Whether it was inheriting the ancestral return of ten thousand swords or allowing Mo Yuan to extend his lifespan and have a chance to continue cultivating, Han Wei had done an indescribable favor to Mo Yuan. Master, take care. Han Wei took the sword destiny, cupped his hands, and walked out of the room. Mo Yuan watched him leave and sighed softly. He no longer needed the sword in his hand. As Han Wei had once said, no sword in the hand, but a sword in the heart. For the ancestral return of ten thousand swords, there was no sword in the hand, but ten thousand swords in the heart. In that case, I'll live in seclusion here in the name of the myriad sword elder from today onwards. Perhaps in a hundred years, the ancestral return of ten thousand swords will become famous. Mo Yuan's eyes revealed an unconcealable heroic spirit. Driving the carriage back to the Nine Mystic Sword Sect, Han Wei sped up. In only half a day, he had traveled more than two hundred miles. Unfortunately, the treasures that the Three Qin Sword Sect and the Great Spiritual Sword Sect were looking for were nowhere to be found. According to the Bride Miss Sun, it was a black sheathed sword, one of the Sun family's dowries. There was something fishy about this matter, but Han Wei was unwilling to interfere. Mo Yuan was living in seclusion in King Mu Town. With him around, the Mo family would naturally be safe. At sunset, he lit a bonfire in the lee of the mountain ridge, then placed the rations he had brought over the fire and slowly roasted them. Sitting in front of the fire, Han Wei took out a jade bottle. This was the jade bottle that contained the lifespan increasing pill. One pill could increase one's lifespan by one year. According to Elder Sol Yang and the female cultivator Jin Yuan's estimation, Han Wei should be reaching the end of his lifespan. But now, not only did Han Wei not feel that his lifespan was exhausted, his body also felt much lighter. It seems that dispersing the two sword intents can indeed relieve the damage to my lifespan. Han Wei muttered to himself, his eyes bright. That day, he first used one sword intent to activate the ancestral return of ten thousand swords and gave the other sword intent to Mo Yuan. At this moment, two sword intents were missing from his sea of qi, and his lifespan had recovered a little. Eh, I can actually find hot food in the wilderness. Not bad. Suddenly, a voice sounded, and Han Wei put away the jade bottle in his hand. Turning around, a middle-aged swordsman in green robes with a short beard under his chin and bright eyes strode over. The swordsman sat in front of Han Wei and reached out to take down the steamed bun on the fire. Hoo hoo it's hot! After stuffing the bun into his mouth, the swordsman looked up at Han Wei. Do you have wine? Han Wei shook his head. Go, find a place and get some wine. 
the middle-aged swordsman waved his hand and said casually. Han Wei sat where he was and didn't move. Kid, didn't you hear me? Seeing that Han Wei didn't move, the middle-aged swordsman glared at him and shouted, Do you want to die? Han Wei's expression didn't change. He said calmly, If I go get some wine, you won't kill me. You hid under the carriage all the way from King Mu Town. Didn't you follow me for two hundred miles just to kill me? The middle-aged swordsman's expression changed drastically. He moved and took a few steps back, staring at Han Wei. Good kid, no wonder that old monster protected you in King Mu Town. You're really something. He sneered and placed his hand on the hilt of his sword. Then I'll let you die in peace. I'm from the Great Spiritual Sword Sect, Qin. Before he could finish, Han Wei stood up and pointed forward. Qin Yuan He, Zhou Yan treats you as a brother. Why did you kill him? Qin Yuan He. This person was Qin Yuan He from the Great Spiritual Sword Sect. Bulsh asterisk T, why would I kill Zhou Yan? Qin Yuan He's face revealed anger, and the sword in his hand was unsheathed with a clang. However, Although he was fast, Han Wei was even faster. Wu. The bonfire between the two of them suddenly burst into flames, and a dark red sword chi burst out. On Han Wei's body, two green and red sword lights were revealed. Then, with invincible sword intent, they directly charged towards Qin Yu and He. Two sword intents. How is that possible? Qin Yuan He widened his eyes and used all his strength to block the green sword intent. Another fiery red sword intent exploded and turned into countless sword qi that enveloped him. Scatter! Qin Yuan He roared and the sword light on his sword transformed into thousands of sword qi that collided with the green and red sword qi in front of him. However, no matter how powerful his sword intent was, it could not withstand the rampage of the two sword intents. In just a few breaths, his body was already covered in wounds from the fiery red sword Qi. Slaughter. Qin Yuan he raised his sword and slashed at the green sword intent in front of him. Then, he used the energy from the rebound to move back 100 feet. Clang. The long sword that flew into the air fell to the ground. The green and red swords hovered above the fire, circling gently. Chapter 34 reviewing the match and obtaining the spiritual longsword. With his hands empty, Qin Yuan he looked at Han Wei in horror. He gritted his teeth and stared at Han Wei indignantly. Kid, I don't believe you still have. Qin Yuan he flew up and rushed towards Han Wei. Before he could finish speaking, another sword intent condensed on Han Wei's body. In midair, Qin Yuan he turned around and fled into the forest. He escaped. An Earth Realm expert who had cultivated his sword intent had fled. Han Wei looked at the figure fleeing into the forest and smiled. He flicked his sleeve and withdrew his fingers. Clang! The long sword, Destiny, and the short sword, Purple Flame, returned to their sheaths. It was not necessary for the sword intent to transform into thousands of sword chi for ancestral return of ten thousand swords. When up against an Earth Realm expert, only sword intent against sword intent was enough to intimidate and kill. If Qin Yu and he didn't leave now, he would probably die. Standing in place, Han Wei carefully recalled his previous moves. With maximum level comprehending abilities, he could review the match just now. All the images kept running through his mind. Suppressing his opponent with two sword intents was satisfying, but there was actually no need to do that. Qin Yuan he actually did not have any killing intent when he attacked just now. He did not really intend to kill him. Moreover, Qin Yuan he had just condensed his sword intent. It was enough for Han Wei to fight him with just one sword intent. As for when he attacked, there was no need to directly use the ancestral return of 10,000 swords. This was a move that could not be stopped. It consumed too much sword intent. It was better to use the three mystic sword technique. He kept reflecting, and various simulation of re-battle scenes appeared in his mind. After a long time, the scenes of defeating his opponent with a single strike finally disappeared. 
Han Wei felt that he had gained a new understanding of his various sword techniques. If he met Qin Yuan He again, he was confident that he could kill him with one strike. Sure enough, actual combat was the way to test out everything. Although he had only exchanged two moves with Qin Yuan He just now, his opponent was an Earth Realm expert and he had comprehended a lot. The energy consumption from the two sword intents on his body made his body ache. This was the disadvantage of having only sword intent and no cultivation base. Once the sword intent was activated, he would not have enough spiritual energy to guide it and could only let it dissipate. After circulating the remaining sword intent in his sea of qi and the spiritual energy in his danshan, a trace of joy flashed across his face. The consumption by the two sword intents allowed his lifespan to recover a little. Now, at least for a while, he did not need to worry about his lifespan. Furthermore, he understood that as long as he did not store his sword intent in his sea of qi, it would not consume his lifespan. Han Wei had already thought of a good idea. He could test it out when he returned to the sword pavilion. Taking a few steps forward, he reached out and grabbed Qin Yu and he's fallen sword. Hum. The sword vibrated, and a force of resistance twisted around it. This sword was not an ordinary item. Han Wei's face lit up. He gripped the hilt of his sword tightly and activated his sword intent. Clang. There was a cracking sound from the sword, and then a trickle of sword qi was extracted from it. The sword qi contained in this long sword had yet to condense into sword intent, which meant that the sword qi inside was not nurtured enough. Images flashed in Han Wei's mind. The sword was tempered and forged over and over again, then spiritual materials were added. There were also drawing of spiritual symbols. He had comprehended the spirit augmentation technique. So this was the way to refine spiritual weapons. After comprehending the spirit augmentation technique, Han Wei finally understood the difference between mortal and spiritual weapons. Ordinary grade swords could only store sword qi. If one wanted to condense sword intent, they had to nourish it for a hundred years. With the addition of spiritual materials and spiritual symbols, the sword had become an artifact and could contain sword intent. In fact, because the spiritual materials had powerful abilities, the lethality of a spiritual artifact level sword was even greater. After comprehending the spirit augmentation technique, the image of the sword owner cultivating appeared in Han Wei's mind. It was an old man in a green and grey brocade robe. Sword light flowed in his hand and he kept waving the sword. He had comprehended the sword technique Pine Wind. He had comprehended the sword technique Between the Moon. He had comprehended the sword technique Cloud Fall. After comprehending seven or eight sword techniques, Han Wei knew who the original owner of this sword was. It was an elder of the three Qin sword sect who had almost cultivated his sword intent. However, this person was killed by Qin Yuan He, who then obtained this sword. It was also through killing the elders of the three Qin sword sect and intimidating them that he made them submit to the great spiritual sword sect. In his mind, there were many images of what Qin Yuan He had done under the ruling of Nine Mystic Sword Sect. It turned out that not only did the three Qin Sword Sect submit to the Great Spiritual Sword Sect, but the other forces also quietly joined them. Zhou Yan When Zhou Yan, the deacon of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect's Sword Battle Hall, appeared in the images, Han Wei was shocked. Qin Yuan He and Zhou Yan were indeed childhood friends and had a good relationship. Qin Yuan He was sincere in helping Zhou Yan break through. However, there was something related to the sect mission. The Mystic Sun Sword. It was a black sheathed sword. This sword was hidden and was related to a Heaven Realm cultivation technique. When an imitation Mystic Sun Sword appeared, Han Wei thought of the Sun family's destruction and linked it to the Mo family's sheathed sword. Also, the death of Ji Yuan from the Nine Mystic Sword Sect seemed to be related to this sword. This sword was in the Nine Mystic Sword Sect? In the scene, Qin Yuan He and Zhou Yan were practicing their swordsmanship and drinking, chatting about their childhood and getting along well. But it didn't last. Another deacon of the Great Spiritual Sword Sect wanted Qin Yuan He to rush Zhou Yan in completing the mission, but Qin Yuan He did not agree. 
In the end, the two of them parted on bad terms. Not long after, Zhou Yan was killed and Qin Yuan He became infamous. It seemed that Qin Yuan He really did not kill Zhou Yan. Han Wei was not interested in clearing Qin Yuan He's name. Qin Yuan He had accepted a sect mission to come here. Even if he did not kill Zhou Yan, he had done a lot of things to harm the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. After comprehending a few sets of the Great Spiritual Sword Sect's sword techniques, Han Wei put away this long sword called Flowing Moon. Spiritual weapons were priceless. Of course he had to take the sword back with him. He put out the campfire, sat on the cart rack, and sat cross-legged. The two horses slowly moved forward. After a while, he left the forest. It was not until fifteen minutes later that the disheveled Qin Yuan he ran out of the forest. He stood still and looked in the direction the carriage had gone. Who is this kid? When did such a monstrous figure appear in the Nine Mystic Sword Sect? Clenching his fists, Qin Yuan he gritted his teeth and muttered. Damn it, I'm afraid this mission won't be easy to complete. Shaking his head, he disappeared down the trail. When the carriage stopped in front of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect, Han Wei felt an inexplicable sense of familiarity as he looked at the tall jade gate. He thought back about his trip down the mountain and how his lifespan had taken a turn for the better. He had saved Mo Yuan from death and even killed people with ancestral return of ten thousand swords. All these experiences felt like a lifetime ago. It's still quiet on the Nine Mystic Mountain. With a light shout, he instructed the horse to move the carriage forward. Brother, Brother Han. When he arrived at the mountain gate, El Yu Gao, who was dressed in a grey servant robe, rushed forward excitedly. Haha, it's Brother El Yu. Han Wei jumped out of the carriage and patted El Yu Gao on the shoulder. He was in a good mood when he returned to the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. Hey, don't call me that. I don't deserve it. El Yu Gao waved his hand and grinned. Not far away, the grey-robed servants and the green-robed outer sect disciples watched enviously. This El Yu Gao was really lucky. Um, brother, you should go back. I'll help you deliver this carriage. Seeing that there was no one on Han Wei's carriage, El Yu Gao quickly said. Coincidentally, Han Wei didn't know where to send the carriage so he handed it to El Yu Gao and reached out to bring the sword down the carriage. Then I'll have to trouble brother El Yu. Let's drink together when you're free. Speaking of drinking, Han Wei hadn't drunk in a long time. He missed Huang Six swine gourd. Ah, sure, sure. El Yu Gao looked enviously at the two swords on Han Wei's back and the shiny sword in his hand as he drove the carriage towards the mountain path. Han Wei carried his sword and strode towards the sword pavilion. Before arriving at the sword pavilion, he looked up at the three-story building. Golden light shone, and Han Wei smiled. He seemed to feel the vibration of the swords on the first floor of the sword pavilion. These little ones miss me too, don't they? As he walked up the steps, Huang Six's sweet voice came from the sword pavilion. Sword pavilion's rules for receiving swords, bathing, burning incense, peace of mind. Brother. Han Wei strode into the sword pavilion. Chapter 35, Since you survived, you must be fated with the sword pavilion. Han, little Han. Huang Six, who was slumped in the wooden chair, jumped up and scurried over to Han Wei. His eyes widened as he sized Wei up and down. He reached out and patted Han Wei's shoulder and arm then punched Han Wei's chest a few times. Haha, you're not dead, kid. Really not dead. I was even sad a few times. Huang Six's old face was filled with joy, and his eyes were moist. Han Wei was also smiling. Huang Six seemed to think of something. Grinning, he opened a small wooden box and poured out the contents. Then he counted them one by one. Here. These pills are for you. Also, these are the spiritual rocks I've collected over the past few days. This is for you. This is the spiritual medicine that the store owner Bai gave you. This is a letter from Mu Wan. This is a token from Zhao Piyu of the intersection. 
there were quite a few scattered items. Han Wei looked at the things piled up on the table and asked with a smile, Brother, why are all these things in this box? What are you going to do? Bury it. If you don't come back, I'm going to bury the stuff and build you a cenotaph. Huang Six turned and spoke solemnly. A cenotaph. Han Wei's face twitched. Han Wei, come up and see me. He was about to speak when an old voice came from above the sword pavilion. Han Wei shuddered. It was the sword pavilion's patriarch's voice. Huang Six and Han Wei looked at each other. Huang Six gave him a meaningful glance towards the stairs. Han Wei nodded, put his sword, purple flame, and destiny on the table, then straightened his clothes and strode up the stairs. On the second floor, he glanced at the wooden shelves that held the swords. He took a deep breath and headed up to the third floor. On the third floor, the space was only twenty feet in circumference. There were no wooden shelves for swords. The windows all around were open and the light was bright. The white-robed sword pavilion patriarch sat cross-legged in front of him. Behind him, a black-sheathed sword was on the long table. Disciple Han Wei greets the patriarch. Han Wei bowed and cupped his fists. The white-haired sword pavilion patriarch nodded, his eyes studying him. How did you resolve the crisis of your lifespan? Han Wei knew that he would definitely be asked about his lifespan, so he was already thinking along the way. It was not just him. Huang Six and the Sword Pavilion Patriarch would definitely have worries about their depleting lifespan. All sword caretakers could not escape this. Elder, this time, I returned to my hometown with the number one person in the outer sect, Mo Yuan. With his guidance, my sword qi dissipated. For two to three years, I won't be in danger of dying, Han Wei replied loudly. Dissipate the sword qi. The sword pavilion patriarch focused his gaze on Han Wei, then nodded. At this moment, there was only a condensed sword intent in Han Wei's sea of qi. Outsiders could not sense the existence of the dissipated sword qi. Even an expert like the Sword Pavilion Patriarch did not notice anything unusual. Then, what are you going to do from now on, the Sword Pavilion Patriarch asked again. Han Wei looked up at the calm Sword Pavilion Patriarch. He did not expect the Sword Pavilion Patriarch to say so much to him and even ask him about his future plans. I thought the old man didn't care whether I lived or died. However, he still answered truthfully, Elder. I'm preparing to dual cultivate and strive to refine my body to withstand the sword chi. This was the most suitable cultivation method for him that Mo Yuan had told him. The sword pavilion patriarch nodded and said indifferently, on the path of cultivation, everyone has their own fate. If you can't survive the sword chi entering your body, then your fate is over. Since you survived it, you have an affinity with the sword pavilion. With that, he looked at Han Wei and lowered his voice. From now on, come see me on the 15th of every month after the closing of the pavilion. Meet him after closing time. Han Wei instantly thought of how Patriarch Bodhi had taught Sun Wukong the 72 transformations. Was he really lucky enough to be recognized by an elder of the Sword Pavilion? I understand. Han Wei nodded, bowed to the Sword Pavilion Patriarch, and left the third floor. As he walked down the stairs, he subconsciously turned around and glanced at the black sword placed behind the sword pavilion patriarch. Was this the Nine Mystic Sword that suppressed the providence of the Nine Mystic Sword sect? Why did this sword look exactly the same as the Mystic Sun Sword? Han Wei had never seen this sword before, but he had seen it a few times in the memories of Qin Yuanhe's sword. Qin Yuan he was carrying out a sect mission and was looking for the black sheathed sword called the Mystic Sun Sword. Could there be something between the Mystic Sun and Nine Mystic? Shaking his head, Han Wei stopped thinking about this matter. Let those big shots worry about it. Wouldn't it be better for him to hide in the sword pavilion and slowly nurture his sword qi? Downstairs, Huang Six placed all the items in a wooden box and handed it to Han Wei. Brother, the Sword Pavilion Patriarch. Before Han Wei could finish, Huang Six raised his hand and said, 
don't tell me about this. After saying that, he grinned and patted Han Wei's shoulder. He whispered, Little Han, I've been in the Sword Pavilion for seven years. In another three years, I'll be a sect deacon. Han Wei chuckled at his words. He was worrying too much. The Patriarch had said, everyone had their own fate. Huang Six also had his own fate. Since he could live in the Sword Pavilion for seven years, why should he worry about him? Brother, do you still have any wine? Han Wei asked with a smile. Huang Six chuckled and turned to retrieve the large gourd. There's still half a gourd left. Han Wei reached for the gourd, removed the stopper, and sniffed it. It was spicy and mellow. When the wine entered his throat, it was cool and hot. It passed through his intestines and stomach, and a heat spread throughout his body. Hiss! How delightful! He wanted to take another sip, but Huang Six had already snatched the gourd. He took a small sip and sealed it with heartache. My wine is expensive. Han Wei smiled and shook his head. He opened the wooden box, took out the pills, and handed them to Huang Six. Brother, I refined this pill myself. In the future, we won't lack such things. By the time Han Wei returned to the quiet room with the wooden box, Huang Six was still holding the jade bottle in his hand in a daze. He looked at the pill in his hand and then at the room. As if he had thought of something, he took out a few spiritual rocks from his pocket. Rubbing the spiritual rocks with his palm, a complicated expression appeared on his face. Rascal! So you're the real tycoon. All right, I, Huang Six, will have a wealthy backer in the future. Shaking his head as he spoke, he returned with the jade bottle and the wine gourd. In the quiet room, Han Wei took out various items from the wooden box. There were five spiritual rocks. This was the money Huang Six had earned from the disciples who came to receive their swords. When Han Wei left King Mu Town, he had left two high-grade spiritual rocks for Mo Yuan. As someone who could refine supreme-grade pills, he no longer had to worry about the lack of spiritual rocks. However, he still accepted these five spiritual rocks. After all, it was Huang Six's goodwill. In the wooden box were two more medicine packets. The names of the medicines were written on them. Bright Origin Bone and Marrow Transformation Fruit Han Wei was slightly taken aback. Chapter 36, Sending a Sword into the Pavilion, The Death of Thirteen Disciples What Bai Suhan sent over were the two main ingredients needed to refine the longevity pill. This store owner Bai was really not simple. She could even easily find such a treasure. From the looks of it, even if he did not find a solution to his lifespan problem, he still had a chance to live. However, what this store owner Bai was plotting was probably not a good thing. This medicine was a little tricky to handle. Putting the spiritual herbs aside, Han Wei picked up a bronze token engraved with three mountain rocks. It was a token from Zhao Piyu. It seemed that his research on the body tempering technique, iron bull strength, had achieved some results. This body tempering technique was no longer the most important to Han Wei but he felt that Iron Bull's strength was not as simple as it seemed. He had to ask Zhao Piyu about the situation when he was free. If this Iron Bull strength could be cultivated, he would deduce further. At the bottom of the wooden box was a letter. The handwriting on the envelope was elegant. Han Wei chuckled and picked up the envelope. Does this count as a love letter? What would Mu Wan write for him? Han Wei was curious and nervous. How long has it been since I felt in love? He opened it carefully and unfolded the letter. His brows furrowed slowly. He finished the letter with a long sigh, folded the envelope carefully, and put it back in the wooden box. In the letter, Mu Wan said that she had left the Nine Mystic Sword sect to go to a sect called Linghua Pavilion. It was a sect that mainly consisted of female cultivators and was good at alchemy. She said that she felt helpless about Han Wei's lifespan and blamed herself. Only then did she make up her mind to go to Linghua Pavilion. 
She also said that she would come to see Han Wei when she could refine pills to increase his lifespan. Finally, Mu Wan instructed Han Wei to cultivate well. With his comprehension ability, he would definitely be able to achieve great things. She even said that he shouldn't be focused on romance and it was best for him to focus on cultivation. Even after putting the letter away, Han Wei couldn't understand it. It was unknown if she was telling him not to care about Huang Six matchmaking or to focus on cultivation and not have any relations with other female cultivators. Does she mean the first, or the second? That night, Han Wei almost kicked through the sheets while toss turning. After waking up early in the morning and practicing his sword ape in the small courtyard, Han Wei felt that his understanding of swordsmanship had deepened. The various mystic origin sword techniques had already reached perfection, and even fused with different sword techniques. When he practiced the one mystic and two mystic sword techniques, he only grasped the concept and did not care about the sword moves at all. The more this was the case, the more unpredictable those sword moves were. Sweating slightly, Han Wei smiled. Due to the damage to his lifespan, his bodily functions had decreased a lot these days. He only felt comfortable after exercising that day. He tore open his clothes and collected some water from the pond. It was extremely refreshing. It's good to be young, Huang Six wrapped his heavy robe around himself and muttered, causing Han Wei to laugh. In the morning, Han Wei stood in front of the wooden shelves, holding a piece of linen to wipe the swords. Little Han, are you really going to wipe the swords? Huang Six looked at Han Wei strangely. Previously, he felt that Han Wei didn't have much time left, so he didn't stop him. But now, did he really want to let the Sword Qi penetrate his body and consume more of his lifespan? Sword Qi entering my body might not be a big deal, Han Wei muttered. He walked to the wooden shelves and pulled out a long sword. He held the sword in one hand and wiped the blade with the sackcloth in the other. In his sea of qi, a sword intent spread out and turned into 128,000 sword qi. One of the sword qis flowed along his palm and into the sword in his hand. When the sword qi entered the sword, he could feel a dim light shining on the sword. One, two, three, ten, thirty of them. After 48 sword qis were infused into the blade, the sword in his hand had already emitted a cold light. When he wanted to inject more sword qi, the sword resisted. Han Wei understood that if he poured more sword qi into the sword, the sword would not be able to withstand it. In the end, it was only a mortal weapon. There was a limit to how much sword qi it could infuse. Han Wei was in no hurry. He sheathed his sword, then started cleaning the other one. In one day, he scattered a sword intent and poured it into two thousand swords. These swords had the sword qi that he had infused into them and had an inexplicable connection with him. Even if someone came to receive the swords, they would subconsciously not choose these swords. After dispersing one sword intent, Han Wei felt his body become lighter. It seemed that his lifespan was not a problem for the time being. However, if he wanted to completely resolve the problem of his lifespan, the most important thing was to increase his cultivation so that his body could withstand the power of the sword intent. In three days, Han Wei dispersed three sword intents and the scattered sword qi entered thousands of swords, leaving only eight sword intents in his body. These sword intents were enough for him to execute the ancestral return of 10,000 swords technique eight times, but it would not consume too much of his lifespan for the time being. The sword qi that scattered into the sword could not only nourish the sword and make it sharper, but also slowly increase the number of sword qi it contained. Han Wei gave it a try. Ordinary swords required seven or eight days to gather sword qi, and it would take at least half a month to nurture a sword qi. However, after injecting dozens of sword qi into it, sword qi would be produced in a day, and a perfected sword qi could be obtained in two days. In this way, he would not have to worry about not having sword qi in the future. In the afternoon, Huang Six went down the mountain to get some wine. In the sword pavilion, Han Wei, who had finished wiping his sword, sat at the long table with his eyes closed. 
Suddenly he opened his eyes and looked out of the sword pavilion. A group of black-robed disciples of the sword sect slowly walked over. These disciples were all holding long swords in their hands. The sword pavilion is an sacred place. You are not allowed to enter unless you are sending away or receiving a sword. Han Wei stood up and walked to the door of the sword pavilion. In front of the stone steps, the leading disciple bowed, held the sword with both hands, and said in a low voice, On the orders of the elders, we are here to send the swords of thirteen fellow disciples back to the sword pavilion. Thirteen disciples had died at the same time? Han Wei was slightly taken aback. The Nine Mystic Sword Sect was one of the nine sects of the Western Frontier. It was ranked third among the four swords sect thirteen disciples had died at once. Could something big have happened? Han Wei didn't ask any questions. As the sword pavilion's sword caretaker, his duty was to guard the sword pavilion, not to care about why the disciples of the sect had died. Nodding, he raised his hand and took the swords from the disciple in front of him. Then, he reached out and pulled out the blade, sizing it up gently. This sword belongs to the inner sect disciple, Wu Teng, the disciple said in a deep voice. Clang! Putting the sword back into its sheath, Han Wei said indifferently, I've received an inner sect disciple's sword today. If there's no mistake, I'll store it back at the sword pavilion. Then he turned into the sword pavilion and sent the sword to the wooden shelves. Stepping forward, his hand tightened on the hilt of his sword. Images flashed through his mind. The long sword was being forged. A young disciple in a white robe received the sword. His sword danced, sword flashing. Han Wei comprehended the one mystic sword technique, smoky fire. He had comprehended the two mystic sword technique, lighted smoke. The sword light reappeared, and Han Wei trembled. All the sword techniques were fire type ones. He knew the identity of the sword's owner. The disciple of Patriarch Ta Ran who betrayed the sword sect. The Patriarch had betrayed the sect, and the disciples of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect who cultivated fire-type techniques were all ostracized, making their lives very difficult. The sect missions that they completed were the most difficult and dangerous ones in the sect. But their rewards were the least. Without Patriarch Ta Ran, Many of the fire-type technique were difficult to pass on, and the lineage withered. This time, their mission was to hunt down the villain from the great spiritual sword sect, Qin Yu and He. The group of fire-type disciples searched everywhere and finally obtained news. However, they did not find Qin Yu and He, but encountered a fellow disciple. Ji Yuan. Han Wei narrowed his eyes when he saw the figure who had suddenly attacked. Chapter 37, Demonstration Building, Practice the Prairie Fire Sword Technique For some reason, the outer sect disciple Ji Yuan who had been missing for a year, had his sword sent to the sword pavilion. From the sword, Han Wei could see the image of Ji Yuan falling off the cliff, and also saw his sister's heart being taken away. A dead man who not only did heavy work, but also killed his fellow disciples. Moreover, Ji Yuan, who was only an outer sect disciple, could easily kill a group of inner sect disciples. What's the mystery behind this? The images from all thirteen swords were the same. The fire type lineage had really declined. A few deacons with relatively good cultivation abilities had distanced themselves from the fire type lineage and left their disciples to fend for themselves. Due to the incomplete inheritance, the disciples could not increase their combat abilities. After recording down the thirteen swords, the black-robed disciples of the sword sect left. At sunset, Huang Six returned with a wine gourd. His expression did not seem pleasant. I'm afraid something big is about to happen in the sword sect, Huang Six whispered to Han Wei after entering and checking that no one was around. When they were hunting down the villain of the great spiritual sword sect, Qin Yu and He, it was said that the fire-type lineage suffered heavy losses. The elders were furious and reprimanded the sword battle hall for their incompetence. Huang Six shook his head and analyzed the situation at the foot of the mountain. Then he said firmly, I think that Qin Yu and he must be a core formation cultivator. Otherwise, 
he definitely wouldn't be able to stir up such a storm. When he finished, he saw that Han Wei's expression did not change and was stunned. You know all about it. Han Wei nodded and pointed at the book on the long table. Thirteen disciples of the fire type lineage have died. Their swords have been returned to the pavilion and have been registered. Huang Six opened his mouth but said nothing more. The next morning, not long after the sword pavilion opened, the servant disciple, El Yukao, quietly arrived outside. He stood outside the sword pavilion and did not dare to enter. Han Wei saw him and came out to meet him with a smile. El Yukao only came to become familiar with Han Wei. He greeted him and chatted about the sect's internal and external matters. The death of the thirteen disciples of the fire-type lineage the day before had already spread throughout the sect. Even El Yukao, who was a servant, knew about it. That Qin Yuan he is said to be a heaven realm expert. He killed thirteen inner sect disciples with a wave of his hand. Brother, you have to be careful. El Yukao looked around and whispered. When did Qin Yuan he become a heaven realm expert? Han Wei smiled and shook his head. If Qin Yuan he saw him, he would probably turn around and escape, right? Brother, don't take it lightly. When a heaven realm expert attacks, the mountains will collapse and the earth will crack. Mortals like us will suffer. Seeing that Han Wei didn't care, El Yu Gao instructed solemnly. Also, it's said that the sect already intends to annex the fire type lineage. Many elders were in a frantic last night. After all, it's still considered a faction and have a lot of resources in their hands. Whichever faction is being annexed will greatly increase their strength. Although El Yu Gao was a servant, the lower the level, the more information he had. Han Wei nodded, his eyes shining. The sect elders did not even hide it. Even the sect's servants knew about it. It seemed that the matter of annexing the fire type lineage was not fake. However, the most important thing for the sect now is to pursue Qin Yu and He. Yesterday, many messengers left the sect overnight and gathered all the sect members within a 3,000 km radius. The Nine Mystic Sword sect seems to be going all out. When El Yu Gao left, Han Wei sent him off with a smile and even asked him to come back when he was free. His invitation delighted El Yu Gao. After El Yu Gao left, Han Wei returned to the sword pavilion and said to Huang Six, Brother, I'm going out for a while. Huang Six sat in front of the long table and waved his hand. Suddenly, he looked up and said, Don't tell me you're going to see that store owner by? Then I'll have to scold you. Junior sister Mu Wan has done so much for you. You can't let her down. See by Suhen. Han Wei was really intending to go to Suhen's store. Ahem, I'm going to look for senior brother Zhao Piyu. Didn't he leave a token behind? Han Wei shook Zhao Piyu's token and said loudly. Oh, go, go. Huang Six sat back in the big chair and began to close his eyes to rest. When a sword caretaker did not have a task, he would be this free. But their tasks were really a waste of time and damaging to their lifespans. After taking Zhao Piyu's token, Han Wei didn't go to Zhao Piyu's cultivation place immediately. He went to the demonstration building first. Maybe Zhao Piyu was there. When he arrived at the demonstration building, Han Wei found a quiet room and left a message on the jade wall. Room 134, please demonstrate the second level of iron bull strength. Reward, 5 spiritual rocks. The second level of the iron bull strength should only be known by Zhao Piyu or a few people from their lineage. If Zhao Piyu or anyone from his lineage saw the message, they would probably come over. Unfortunately, the message kept circulating and no one came. After removing the message, Han Wei saw that there were other messages on the jade wall. Among them was a request for the demonstration of third level of the blue wave technique. The price had already been increased to 20 merit tokens. Han Wei was about to take the mission when he froze. Room 11, request for demonstration of prairie fire sword technique. Reward, 1000 merit tokens. 1000 merit tokens was a huge reward. 
one merit token was equivalent to 100 spiritual rocks, so 1,000 merit tokens was equivalent to 100,000 spiritual rocks. Moreover, the message showed that it had been a request from a long time. Clearly, no one had demonstrated the prairie fire sword technique for a long time. With M O U and explaining all kinds of cultivation knowledge to him, Han Wei was no longer a cultivation novice. The Five Mystic Sword Technique was the top sword technique in the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. There might be more above the Five Mystic, but without a Heaven Realm cultivation, it was equivalent to being extinct. Prairie Fire was the Five Mystic Sword Technique. It was a fire-type sword technique passed down by Patriarch Ta-Ran. After obtaining the Purple Flame Sword, Han Wei obtained the inheritance of the fire-type skill. He raised his hand and tapped the message. At this moment, in room 11, a 30-year-old sword cultivator who was originally falling asleep suddenly trembled and widened his eyes. Someone accepted the mission arranged by Master. How is that possible? No one has accepted this mission for so many years. Now that the fire-type lineage has declined, how can anyone accept this mission? He stood up and was about to walk out of the room when the door was pushed open. A man in a white robe and a bronze mask strode in. You're the one who wants a demonstration of the prairie fire sword technique. Give me your sword. My sword. Hearing that the other party really wanted to demonstrate with his sword, the 30-year-old sword cultivator hurriedly bowed and said, I'm Shen Wiang. This mission was left behind by my master, the sword sex deacon elder, Su Yuan. It wasn't you who issued the mission. Han Wei was a little disappointed. He looked at Shen Wiang, who was bowing in front of him, and said, Do you still want me to demonstrate the prairie fire sword technique? Should I or should I not? Shen Wiang was stunned and did not know how to answer. A few years ago, his master had often been searching for a demonstration in a few demonstration buildings in the sex library. Recently, he had given up and only sent his disciples to take a look from time to time. In fact, everyone knew that the five mystic sword technique of the fire-type lineage had already been severed after the founder betrayed the sect. Although the person in front of him covered his face, his voice sounded very young. How could he know the sword technique? Could it be that the other lineages were deliberately testing him? Thinking of this, Shen Wiang's expression darkened slightly, and he handed the sword in his hand to Han Wei. All right, please demonstrate the prairie fire sword technique for me. As he finished speaking, Han Wei had already reached for the hilt of his sword. Clang! He unsheathed the sword. Hum! Sword light flashed, and a fiery red cloud surged. The scorching sword chi wreaked havoc, causing Shen Wiang, whose expression had changed drastically, to retreat. Prairie Fire Chapter 38, Tuba Cheng's Appreciation It's really the Prairie Fire. Although he had never cultivated this sword technique, Shen Wiang recognized at a glance that the sword technique demonstrated by the masked man in front of him was the Prairie Fire. The light from the flames was endless and it had a strong aura. What else could it be but the Prairie Fire? Shen Wiang stood with his back against the stone wall. His lips moved as he muttered to himself. Why, didn't you see it clearly? Han Wei shook his head and gently stuck out his sword again. The moment he had gripped the hilt, he had seen the memories contained in the sword. Shen Wiang had met Patriarch Ta Ran before. Back then, Patriarch Ta Ran's fire-type sword technique was pure, and his strength was even above the other three patriarchs. Patriarch Ta Ran would sometimes give his juniors some pointers. He had comprehended the three mystic sword technique, cloudy smoke. He had comprehended the two mystic sword technique, icy flame. With the sword in hand, Han Wei looked at Shen Wiang in front of him. With Shen Wiang's cultivation, he still could not comprehend the prairie fire. However, he could remember it and go back to tell his master, Su Yuan. Han Wei held out his sword very slowly. The prairie fire is a five mystic sword technique, and it involves a trace of sword momentum. The momentum is formed by sword intent. 
when the sword is drawn, it will be unstoppable. Shen Wuyang widened his eyes and pricked up his ears, not daring to miss a word. Han Wuyang's sword was first gently extended, then mixed with the intent of wind and thunder. The wind aids the fire. If there's no wind, the prairie fire can't travel a thousand miles in a breath. After the wind and thunder, hot air surged, and fiery red flames appeared in the sword light. Han Wuye said softly, What do you think is burning in the prairie fire? Go back and tell your master that the flames are endless, causing the plants to die out, and the sword causes the prairie fire to spread ten thousand miles long. Boom! Shen Wuyang's vision was filled with flames again. He had to raise his arm to block the heat. You owe me one thousand merit tokens for now. When the flames dissipated and the chamber became clear, Han Wuye was no longer in front of him. Only a long sword was placed on the stone platform. Shen Wuyang smiled bitterly as he reached out to retract his sword. He did not have one thousand merit tokens. Even his master might not have 1,000 merit tokens. The fire-type technique was difficult. Taking a deep breath, he looked pleasantly surprised as he walked out of the chamber, sword in hand. He had to tell his master what he had just seen. Perhaps this would allow his master to reach another level. After leaving the demonstration building, Han Wuye felt relaxed. After passing the prairie fire sword technique to a person from the fire type lineage, the sword intent he obtained from the purple flame sword in his body seemed to become even more condensed. If the sword intent had thoughts, he would probably hope that the prairie fire sword technique would not be lost from the fire type lineage, right? He wondered what Patriarch Tauran thought back then that made him betray the sect. It was useless to think too much about these things. Han Wuye still had to place his focus on body tempering cultivation techniques. He was going to find the elite intersect disciple, Zhao Piyu. In the intersect, Three Stones House. The master of the Three Stones House was called Tuiba Cheng. He was a top expert of the Nine Mystic Sword Sex Earth Vein and a deacon elder with real power in the sect. Zhao Piyu cultivated under Tuiba Cheng. Han Wuye held the token that Zhao Piyu had given him. After the disciples at the door checked it, they let him in. Why did this person come to my three stones house? Han Wuye walked into the courtyard. At the door, a young man in a white robe frowned and whispered. Humph, Lin Shen must be unwilling to give up. I didn't accept this person as my disciple, so he came to look for my senior brothers instead. The young man had a sneer on his face as he watched Han Wuye walk into the attic. He is not pure-hearted enough, yet he wanted to be my disciple. I'll let you get out in a sorry state later. The inner sect was indeed different from the outer sect. Every person Han Wuye saw in the Three Stones house had an extraordinary bearing. Three Stones house cultivated earth-type techniques, and most of its disciples were strong-built. Most of these people were practicing with their swords without any distractions. Their swordsmanship was bold and powerful. In the limestone courtyard, several people in white robes were practicing their swords and punches. Han Wuye. One of them shouted happily when he saw Han Wuye. Han Wuye smiled and cupped his fists. Greetings, senior brother Zhao Piyu. This bald, tall young man was the elite disciple of the earth vein, Zhao Piyu. Everyone around Zhao Piyu looked at Han Wuye curiously. Continue practicing. I'll bring him to see Master. Zhao Piyu laughed and called Han Wuye into the attic. Master said that you should meet him directly when you come. Zhao Piyu looked very friendly and did not have the coldness he had when he was at the demonstration building. He reached out to pat Han Wuye's shoulder and raised his hand. Then, as if he felt that he was too strong, he lowered his hand. The two of them ascended to the attic. The decor was simple and ancient. Master, Han Wuye is here. Zhao Piyu's voice was not soft. The white-haired old man was sitting in front of the long table and holding an ink brush. He was writing something, then paused, causing the ink brush to stain the paper. The old man put away his brush and paper with a sigh, then looked up. He was as tall and strong as a bear. 
although his face was suppressed, one could still see his ferocious aura. It seemed that this was the master of Three Stones House, the sword sect elder, Tuba Cheng. Han Wei stepped forward and bowed. Han Wei greets Elder Tuba. Tuba Cheng sized him up and nodded. I have a good relationship with your sword pavilion's Elder Gao. You can call me Uncle Master. Elder Gao. Only now did Han Wei realize that the sword pavilion elder's surname was Gao. Greetings, Uncle Master Tuba, he said smoothly. It was quite different addressing him as Uncle Master and an elder. Hearing his call, Tuba Cheng grinned and said, Zhao Pi you said that you're a cultivation genius. You were the one who discovered the secret of the iron bull strength. Han Wei quickly cupped his hands. I dare not call myself a genius. I was just lucky. Hearing his words, Tuba Cheng glared. You people from Sword Pavilion likes to play tricks. It's your capability to uncover such secrets. Fine. You're the boss. It's your call. Han Wei lowered his head and said nothing. I've studied the iron bull strength. It's indeed not simple. Tuba Cheng understood Han Wei's purpose for coming and said in a low voice. For an elder to say that the iron bull strength that cost 80 spiritual rocks was not simple, it seemed that he had really gotten himself a treasure. Zhao Piyu, show this kid the derived technique of iron bull strength. Tuba turned to Zhao Piyu. Zhao Piyu nodded and did not say anything else. He separated his feet and a faint green ox shadow condensed behind him. He lowered his waist and threw a punch. Every punch was accurate and powerful. As the force flowed, a second green ox phantom appeared. After that came the third, the fourth, the fifth. By the eighth green ox phantom, Zhao Piyu's expression was already solemn. Even Tuba Cheng sat up slightly. Han Wei's eyes sparkled as he stared at Zhao Piyu. Images swirled in his mind, repeating themselves. Boom! With a bang, the ninth green ox phantom appeared behind Zhao Piyu. As soon as the nine phantoms appeared, they kept shaking before slowly dissipating. Zhao Piyu and Tuba Cheng both looked a little regretful. Zhao Piyu said softly, the nine bulls taking shape should be the final form of this iron bull's strength, but I keep feeling that there's something missing. Something missing. The images in Han Wei's mind changed, and a vast aura rose. He narrowed his eyes and looked at Tuba Cheng, who was sitting above. Uncle Master, what should we do if the nine bulls become one and enter the body in reverse? Bam! Tuba Cheng smashed the long table in front of him with a palm and stood up. He let out a long laugh. Form first, then condense the blood. It is indeed boundless. This is the origin of body tempering cultivation techniques. How about you come join my sect, boy? Chapter 39, The Origin of Iron Bull Strength, The Third Floor of the Sword Pavilion at Night Tuba Cheng stared at Han Wei as if he was looking at a beautiful piece of jade. At the side, Zhao Piyu's eyes were also filled with shock. The master-disciple duo had deduced for a few days before deducing the iron bull strength to stage of nine bulls. They could never achieve anything higher. What everyone meant was that this cultivation technique might only reach this stage of nine bulls, which is equivalent to the seventh level of the essence energy cultivation realm. Tuba Cheng mentioned that there might be another level to the iron bull strength, but he could not determine the direction to proceed with it. He had asked Han Wei to come because Han Wei had discovered the secret of the iron bull strength. Naturally, this cultivation technique had to be taught to him. Secondly, Tuba Cheng wanted to meet Han Wei and see if there was anything special about the person who could discover the secret of the iron bull strength. He did not expect Han Wei to give him such a surprise. Seeing that Han Wei seemed to be frightened by his words, Tuba Cheng grinned. Kid, the advanced and profound body tempering cultivation techniques all focus on condensing a powerful bloodline and returning to the ancestral line. You just said that when the nine bulls combine into one, this ordinary green bull with a strength of 500 kilograms might be able to transform into an ancient bull, or a jade water bull, and a few other powerful ancient bloodlines. 
With such a cultivation technique, not to mention nurturing, it's even possible to reach the foundation establishment or even the earth realm. At this point, Tuba Cheng gently rubbed his hands and looked at Han Wei. Kid, with your comprehension abilities, you will definitely become a direct disciple within ten years. A direct disciple. Tuba Cheng was an elder with real power in the sect. His direct disciple was a prominent figure in the entire sword sect. Hearing Tuba Cheng's words, Zhao Piyu looked envious. Who wouldn't want to become a direct disciple in ten years? Han Wei had never expected Tuba Cheng to have such a high evaluation of him. It was just a coincidence that he discovered the secret of the Iron Bull strength. It was also because of his special powers. To become a body tempering cultivator and continuously cultivate body tempering techniques? If not for the fact that he had cultivated the ancestral return of 10,000 swords and learned to control sword intent, allowing him to experience the power of sword cultivators, Han Wei might have agreed. Now, he only wanted to slowly cultivate in the sword pavilion until he cultivated 3,000 sword intents and condensed them into sword momentum. Then, it would be uncertain how powerful his ancestral return of 10,000 swords was. Uncle Master, I still want to continue being a sword caretaker in the sword pavilion. Elder Gao treats me quite well. Han Wei's answer made Zhao Piyu's eyes widen. Continue being a sword caretaker. He would be crazy to continue being a sword caretaker that cannot cultivate, right? Han Wei's comprehension of cultivation was so high so why was he unable to make the right decision about the path of cultivation? At the head of the table, Tuba Cheng stared at Han Wei. After a moment, he chuckled. It seems that senior brother Gao also thinks highly of you. He understood the meaning behind Han Wei's words. The sword pavilion elder also thought highly of Han Wei. Although outsiders thought that the sword pavilion's sword caretakers did not have any achievements in their cultivation, as a powerful elder of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect, Tuba Cheng knew more. There were also cultivation methods in the Sword Pavilion. However, the cultivation in the Sword Pavilion was focused on a lifetime of ruling, not longevity. In fact, there were millions of cultivators in the world. Who could live forever? In exchange for a lifetime, he could fight against a Heaven Realm expert with one sword. It was not completely wrong for him to want to feel this carefree. Cultivation was ultimately about fate. Tuba Cheng did not persuade him any more. He only told Han Wei that he could come to Three Stones House any time to cultivate his body tempering technique. This touched Han Wei. When Zhao Piyu sent Han Wei out, he was still a little indignant. Since his master valued him, why didn't he cherish it? By the way, Brother Han, the Iron Bull strength was discovered in a ruin in the western frontier. I thought it was an ordinary body tempering technique and didn't pay much attention to the ruin. Now that I think about it, there may still be secrets there. Looking at Han Wei, Zhao Piyu whispered, when we get a chance, let's go explore. Explore the ruins where Iron Bull strength was found? Han Wei's eyes lit up, and he nodded gently. There must be other good things in a place with a cultivation technique like the Iron Bull strength. Moreover, according to Tuba Cheng, it was best to have a reference for the deduction of the Iron Bull strength in the future. There might be a continuation of Iron Bull strength in the ruins and it could help them reduce the number of time spent on mistakes. Okay, later on. Before he could finish, someone shouted not far away, Senior Brother Zhao Piyu. Han Wei turned around and saw an intersect disciple in a white robe striding over. It was Su Ming, whom Lin Shen introduced previously and wanted Han Wei to become his disciple. However, Su Ming looked down on Han Wei and even reprimanded and humiliated him and Lin Shen. Su Ming walked forward, glanced at Han Wei, and said coldly, Hey, are you the one senior brother Lin Shen introduced to me as my disciple? He looked at Zhao Piyu and chuckled. It's said that this person's aptitude and comprehension are not bad, but his temperament is too poor and impetuous. That's why I rejected senior brother Lin back then. 
senior brother Lin is getting more and more narrow-minded after hanging out in the outer section. At this point, Su Ming laughed and said, Senior brother Zhao Piyu, don't tell me you have taken a fancy on someone like him. Fancy. Zhao Piyu looked uncomfortable. The person that his master wanted to take in as a direct disciple was described as someone so unbearable by him. Didn't that mean that his master's vision was very narrow? Han Wei stood at the side and coughed lightly. Then, he cupped his hands and said, Senior brother Zhao Piyu, I'll leave first. I'll visit Uncle Master Tuba in two days. Then he turned and walked out. Senior brother. Uncle Master. Su Ming looked confused. What was wrong? Wasn't this kid introduced by Lin Shen to be his disciple? How did his seniority increase so much? Also, his master was a very proud person and rarely let outsiders get close to him. This kid directly called him Uncle Master? Humph, even Master admires his perception and wants to take him as a direct disciple, yet you can't appreciate it. Hee <laughs> hee, Su Ming, your horizons are really high. They're even higher than Master's. Zhao Piyu flicked his sleeve and left. Master was accepting him as a direct disciple? Master wanted to take that kid as his direct disciple? Su Ming's eyes widened as he looked at Han Wei's back. How is that possible? When Han Wei returned to the Sword Pavilion, Huang Six stretched and muttered, Today is another day without any gains. By the way, that store owner Bai is here again. She doesn't look too pleased to know you are not dead. Not pleased? Han Wei looked at Huang Six's expression and chuckled. Huang Six was trying to match make him and Mu Wan, so he was on guard against Bai Sohen. However, he didn't dare to get too close to someone like Bai Sohen anyway. Huang Six closed the door of the sword pavilion and returned to his room with his wine gourd. Han Wei shook his head and returned to the quiet room to rest for a while. When the sky darkened, he stood up, tidied his clothes, and walked to the second floor of the sword pavilion. That day was the first of April. It was the day the Sword Pavilion Patriarch had asked him to go up to the third floor. Taking a deep breath, he ascended to the third floor. Han Wei bowed to the Sword Pavilion Elder, who was sitting cross-legged. Disciple Han Wei greets Elder. The Sword Pavilion Elder nodded and pointed at the cushion in front of the long table. Sit. As soon as Han Wei sat down, the Sword Pavilion Elder said indifferently, Han Wei, why are you staying in the Sword Pavilion? Han Wei shuddered. Chapter 40, Sword Nurturing Technique, Sword Bone Condensation, Sword Formation Pill The Sword Pavilion Elder's question was not easy to answer. I can't answer randomly, or truthfully. Elder, I originally wanted to enter the sect to cultivate. I didn't know that the position of Sword Pavilion's sword caretaker would cost my life. Han Wei took a deep breath and spoke in a low voice. If he had known that he would almost lose his life as a sword caretaker, he would not have come to the sword pavilion. The sword pavilion elder said nothing, waiting for him to continue. Later on, when I was wiping the swords and sword chi entered my body. That feeling. Han Wei tried to recall Mo Yuan's expression. The corners of his mouth turned up the corners of his eyes lifted and his fingers twitched. He looked lustful. At that time, M. O. Yuan said that it felt like dual cultivation. Ahem, just because of this, you absorbed so much sword chi and almost exhausted your lifespan. The sword pavilion elder seemed to be unable to withstand Han Wei's expression and coughed lightly. Naturally it couldn't be. Drawing the sword chi into his body was an accident. If he indulged in it, his heart would not be firm. How could a sword cultivator not be firm? It had to be determined and firm. Elder, I've cultivated a sword technique under M.O. Yuan. It's called the Ancestral Return of Ten Thousand Swords. Han Wei stood up and looked straight ahead. Ancestral Return of Ten Thousand Swords? An Outer Sect Disciple. A strange expression appeared on the Sword Pavilion Elder's face. Cultivating this sword requires sword chi to enter the body. 
An outer sect disciple probably hasn't condensed his chi yet, right? Without condensing his chi, what did he know about the sword chi entering his body? Hearing his words, Han Wei shook his head, admiration in his eyes. Master Mo Yuan had observed the Three Sword Pavilion Patriarch's attack. With a single sword strike, no one was a match for them. They gathered tens of millions of sword chi in their bodies and finally created the ancestral return of ten thousand swords after spending two hundred years. With one hand behind his back and the other pointing, he looked straight ahead. There were thousands of enemies, but only one sword. Ancestral return of 10,000 swords. Han Wei pointed forward, his eyes full of light, as if sword chi was bursting out of his body. The sword pavilion elder seemed to be intimidated by his aura. After pondering for a long time, he nodded and said, 200 years of hard work just to condense this power in one sword. This Mo Yuan has some perseverance. As if recalling something, he said indifferently, the might of my sword pavilion senior's sword is indeed fascinating. Yes. Han Wei withdrew his finger, then returned to his seat. Han Wei knew that he had passed the first stage. As expected, the sword pavilion elder did not ask Han Wei any other questions. The sword condensing sword technique is somewhat similar to my sword pavilion's legacy move. The sword pavilion elder opened a book in front of him and said indifferently, this is the sword nurturing technique. Take it back and comprehend it. If you have any questions, you can come to me. Nurturing a sword? Han Wei took the book. To nurture the sword of the sword pavilion, to nurture the sword chi in the body, and above that, to nurture the sword intent in the heart, to nurture the indestructible sword momentum, at this point, the sword pavilion elder smiled bitterly and shook his head. Don't read too much into it. You can't build something like that without thousands of years. This is similar to the ancestral return of 10,000 swords created by your master Mo Yuan. It's all only idealistic thinking. There's no one in the sword pavilion who can condense sword momentum. In thousands of years, those in the sword pavilion who could live past 60 years were considered to have lived long lives. Raising a sword for a thousand years was indeed a little fanciful. If you can pass the stage where the sword chi enters your body, I'll teach you the sword nurturing technique. Otherwise, it's because the time hasn't arrived. Do you understand? When Han Wei went downstairs, the sword pavilion elder suddenly spoke. Han Wei nodded. He understood. Those who did not die after the sword chi entered their bodies were meant to be. If he was dead, so be it. Back in the quiet room, Han Wei unfolded the book in front of him. This scroll was made of yellowed silk. The words on it were thick, and every stroke was like a sword carving. Sword nurturing technique. There was not much content on it. It only explained where the sword chi came from and how to nourish it. After reading the sword nurturing technique, Han Wei understood even more why the sword pavilion elder had only imparted this technique to him after the sword chi had entered his body. Without sensing the sword chi, without the deep feeling of the sword chi entering his chest, without an indescribable connection to the sword chi, he could not cultivate the sword technique at all. The sharp sword chi became smooth and fused with the danshan, so that the sword chi is used for nurturing and condensation. Only the legacy of the sword pavilion had such a crazy thing. In order to build a foundation, one needed to use sword chi as the foundation to withstand the pain of the sword chi scraping the bones and condensing it into sword bones. After gathering sword bones, could he nurture sword intent? As for an earth realm cultivator, he needed to use his sword intent to awaken his spirit and form a sword core. His sword chi formed a core, and thousands of swords bowed when the core was activated. In the sword nurturing technique, there was only speculation about forming a sword core. Even the sword pavilion elder had only cultivated half a sword bone after sixty years. Since the founding of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect, no one in the sword pavilion had been able to nurture the sword bone. This cultivation technique is very challenging. After reading through the sword nurturing technique, Han Wei smiled. With this sword nurturing technique, 
it was easier to nurture sword chi. As for condensing sword bones and forming sword core, although it was far away, just thinking about them made one's blood boil. Of course, he had to become the strongest sword cultivator in his life. As if sensing his thoughts, the eight sword intents in his sea of chi trembled slightly. He had comprehended the sword nurturing technique. As he comprehended the sword technique, wisps of sword chi scattered around Han Wei and floated towards his body. Hiss. He felt his bones scraping and flesh being cut. His face contorted. He gritted his teeth and persisted. This was the correct way for the sword chi to enter his body. The scattered sword chi was light and thin. After entering his body, it wreaked havoc inch by inch before finally penetrating his meridians. This time, it hurt a hundred times worse. These uncontrollable sword chi pierced through his meridians, as if they wanted to cut open all his meridians. After circulating one cycle, all the sword chi entered his danshan and then fused into his sea of chi, turning into a light green sword chi that slowly rotated and nourished. Han Wei was already drenched in sweat. If one sword chi entered his body and he was already suffering this much, wouldn't he have to suffer 128,000 times to condense a sword intent? Han Wei started to admire those sword pavilion seniors. They were really masochists. After checking, he discovered that half of the spiritual energy in his danshan had been absorbed by the sword chi. This sword chi was a big absorber of spiritual energy. However, he also realized the difference between this sword chi and the other sword chi. This sword chi was clearly more agile and clear, and its connection with him seemed to be more intimate. He did not dare to absorb any more sword chi. He followed the cultivation technique in the sword nurturing technique and moved the sword chi back to his meridians, so that it was between his danshan and sea of chi. As soon as the sword chi left his sea of chi, Han Wei's expression changed. Ah! Refreshing! At this moment, the sword chi was as gentle as water, cold and moist. It moved in his meridians like a gentle little hand stroking him. That feeling! Dual cultivation! Han Wei thought of the phrase. The sword energy rushed into his danshan, and the corners of his mouth curled up slightly. Essence energy. Finally, this time, he entered the essence energy cultivation stage with his sword chi and truly embarked on the path of cultivation. He slept comfortably that night. The next morning, Huang Six gave Han Wei a strange look. The two of them washed up and cultivated. After breakfast, they sat at the long table with their eyes closed. This was the sword pavilion's main task. To guard the sword pavilion. Senior brother, you're finally back in the sword pavilion. At noon, a voice woke Han Wei up. When he opened his eyes, Su Hen, who was wearing a white dress and had a peach blossom-like face, was standing outside the sword pavilion. Han Wei instinctively turned to look to his side. Huang Six was staring at him. The Sword Pavilion has a rule that no one but Sword Pavilion members are allowed to enter. At the door, Bai Suhen covered her smile. This senior brother is really dedicated. I see that you have a sallow face and a hunched back. I have a few good medicine in my shop that can treat your waist. Do you want me to bring you a few? The color drained from Huang Six's face and he snorted. Brother's waist is really not in good condition. Han Wei walked to the door and said softly, Don't talk nonsense. Why are you looking for me? Bai Suhen smiled and said, Of course it's because I miss you. Before she could finish, Han Wei turned to leave, but Bai Suhen quickly corrected herself. I want to do business with you. Chapter 41 The Sword Sect is Getting Serious Han Wei also wanted to discuss business with Bai Suhen. A sword chi had already absorbed half of the spiritual energy in his danshan. This made him feel a little worried. To nurture the sword chi, he needed more spiritual energy. He had to spend a lot of money to buy spiritual herbs and refine pills. If a man did not have money, he could not straighten his back. Currently, one of the ways he could earn money was to go to the demonstration building to answer questions and earn merit tokens and spiritual rocks. 
The other way was to refine the cloud chi pill. The demonstration building did not always require someone to answer questions, and the pay was not very high. The way to earn real money was still refining supreme grade cloud chi pills. A supreme grade cloud chi pill was worth 3,000 spiritual rocks. Everyone was like this. After they had a taste of big money, they did not care about an earning of 300 to 500 spiritual rocks. However, the woman in front of him was not easy to deal with. Looking at the beautiful Bai Sohen, Han Wei said with a straight face, We can discuss business, but don't have any ideas about anything in my sword pavilion. Bai Sohen chuckled and said, Are you talking about the sword or the person? Han Wei ignored her and walked down the steps towards the secluded mountain path in front of the sword pavilion. Bai Sohen chased after him with a smile. In the sword pavilion, Huang Six stuck his head out and muttered, Little Han can't be so weak-willed, right? He's going into the forest with her just like this. On the mountain path, Han Wei turned to look at Bai Sohen. Store owner Bai, I'll pay you spiritual rocks for those two spiritual herbs. Bai Sohen nodded and didn't refuse. Senior brother Han, when can you refine that supreme grade cloud chi pill again? Although they were talking about business, Bai Sohen really spoke directly. I don't think ten cloud chi pills will be sold out so easily, right? My nine mystic sword sect probably doesn't have so many rich disciples. Han Wei chuckled and said calmly. Even if the cloud chi pill was supreme grade, it was still a cloud chi pill after all. It was a pill used to condense chi to the foundation establishment realm. Those who needed such pills were all intersect disciples at the Qi Condensation or Foundation Establishment Realm. He sold at 3,000 spiritual rocks. Bai Sohan probably further increased the price to at least 3,300 to 3,500 spiritual rocks each. There were not many intersect disciples in the Nine Mystic Sword sect who had such wealth, unless they were second generation cultivators. But those second-generation cultivators did not lack pills. Hee <laughs> hee, senior brother Han, supreme-grade pills are rare at all times. There are many who are willing to spend spiritual rocks to buy them. Bai Sohan chuckled, then her eyes lit up as she said in a low voice, Besides, I didn't say that it would be sold in the Nine Mystic Sword sect. As expected, there was a huge influence behind Bai Sohan. In fact, this influence was so powerful that it could even place their influence in the Nine Mystic Sword sect. Was it one of the nine factions of the Western Frontier? Han Wei frowned. Was this considered betraying the Nine Mystic Sword sect? Senior brother, you've only just started cultivating. You don't have to worry for the sect, right? Now, it's more important for us to start a business and earn more spiritual rocks to improve our cultivation level. Bai Sohen was indeed a businessman. With just a few words, she had moved Han Mu's heart. All right, I don't care if you sell the pills to other sects, but you're not allowed to sell them to the great spiritual sword sect. Han Wei pondered for a moment and made his request. Bai Sohen agreed without hesitation. There were so many sects in the western frontier. They could sell off any number of supreme grade cloud chi pills. Why would they have to sell to the Great Spiritual Sword Sect? Besides, if it landed in the hands of the Great Spiritual Sword Sect after a few rounds of transaction, it would have nothing to do with her. In the future, I'll give you 100 Cloud Chi pills a month. They're all supreme grade. Han Wei made a simple calculation. After all, it was a supreme grade pill. If he released too many pills at once, it would definitely affect the price. 100 pills a month, no more. Help me gather spiritual herbs. Also, tell me everything about the lifespan increasing pills and spiritual herbs. Other than being dissatisfied with the limit of 100 pills a month, Bai Sohen returned with huge gains. However, the business involving 100 supreme grade cloud chi pills a month was enough for her to consolidate her position in the sect. Besides, she valued long-term business more. When Han Wei returned to the sword pavilion, Huang Six carefully looked at his neat clothes and muttered, So soon. 
Han Wei couldn't be bothered with him and slowly nourished the sword Qi in his danshan. At the bottom of a steep cliff on the Nine Mystic Mountain, a few white-robed inner sect disciples waited nervously. In front of them, a green-robed middle-aged man with a short beard closed his eyes. The sword in his hand kept trembling. Boom! The middle-aged man swept out his sword, and flames appeared thirty feet in front of him. Prairie Fire Master has comprehended Prairie Fire. Seeing this sword light, a white-robed disciple exclaimed excitedly. The others were also overjoyed. With this sword technique, one could fight above their level. Although he could not fight against the three grand elders, he could at least fight against the experts of the Earth Realm and mid-level core formation realm. If his master comprehended this sword technique, he would be able to support the fire-type lineage. Opening his eyes slowly, Su Yuan's eyes revealed a trace of excitement and regret. The crimson flames reach the sky, and the grass and trees fall. With one sword, 10,000 kilometers will be burned. My move lacks wind to strengthen the fire. His words stunned the disciples. Shen Wiang hurriedly said, Master, do you mean that you haven't comprehended this sword technique? He had said everything that he had seen and heard in the demonstration building. He did not hide anything. I've comprehended the prairie fire. Su so Yuan shook his head and chuckled. But I haven't grasped the sword momentum contained in the prairie fire yet. At this point, he looked at the nervous disciples. Don't worry, with this sword technique, my fire-type lineage will definitely be able to survive. The various rumors about the fire-type lineage being annexed in the sect were definitely not groundless. He had also thought that the fire-type lineage was about to dissipate. He did not expect his disciple to bring back the prairie fire sword technique. Thinking of the masked man that Shen Wiang mentioned was demonstrating the sword technique, Su so Yuan narrowed his eyes. Who was this person? Other than his master, Patriarch Tao Ran, was there really someone else who knew how to do it? Taking a deep breath, Su so Yuan held his sword and looked at his disciple. Wu Tang and the others were killed by Qin Yu and he. I'm going to avenge them. With the prairie fire sword technique, I'm confident of winning. At this point, he lowered his voice and said, after killing Qin Yu and he, with this merit, I will definitely be able to gather the people of the fire-type lineage. The fire-type lineage was already in a state of disunity. Only a top expert could suppress everyone. Su so Yuan wanted to kill Qin Yuan He to avenge the disciples of the fire-type lineage and display his combat strength to reunite the people of the fire-type lineage. Will follow master. The disciples hurriedly cupped their fists and bowed. Su so Yuan nodded, then looked at Shen Wiang and said, Wiang, stay in the sect and try to find that senior in the demonstration building. If you meet him, tell him that I, Su so Yuan, want to visit him personally and present him with 1,000 merit tokens. At this point, he smiled bitterly and said, If I don't complete this mission, I really won't be able to take out 1,000 merit tokens. The fire-type lineage had resources, but they were scattered amongst people. Everyone had nothing much. Shen Wiang bowed and said, I understand. He could not imagine which senior in the sect had taught him prairie fire. But from the sound of it, he didn't seem old. Clang! From the distant mountains came the melodious sound of bells. Su so Yuan narrowed his eyes and said in a low voice, I'm afraid the sect elders are discussing this matter. I'll go take a look. When Han Wei, who was standing at the entrance of the sword pavilion, turned around, he saw the sword pavilion elder walking down the stairs. I'll go watch the elders meeting. Close the pavilion door. With that, the sword pavilion elder moved, covering a hundred feet with each step. Han Wei narrowed his eyes. This was a body tempering technique. It seemed that his method of dual cultivation was correct. He looked toward the distant peaks. The sword sect is getting serious. I wonder if we can see the glory of the nine mystic sword sect this time, Huang Six muttered. Han Wei frowned and said, Brother, once he touches the nine mystic sword, won't the elder's cultivation be crippled? 
the Sword Pavilion caretaker spent 60 years nurturing his sword Qi just to activate the Nine Mystic Sword and transform it into the Heavenly Realm. After one strike, the Sword Qi would be exhausted, and the Sword Caretaker's cultivation would become crippled. Who said that touching the Nine Mystic Sword will consume your cultivation? Hearing Han Wei's words, Huang Six glared and said, As long as you carry the sword, who will dare to attack? Does he have a death wish? Chapter 42, You Can Go Out If You Don't Want To Receive Your Sword With the Nine Mystic Sword out, the Sword Pavilion Elder's cultivation was used up. However, as long as the opponent was not at the Heaven Realm, he could be killed with one strike. If someone really provoked the Sword Pavilion Elder who brought the Nine Mystic Sword, they had to be prepared to die. Not many people in the world really didn't care about their lives, right? Huang Six's words made Han Wei speechless. It seemed that the deterrence effect of the Nine Mystic Sword might even be above its actual combat strength. This thing was a strategic weapon. Closing the Sword Pavilion gates, Huang Six went to sleep. Han Wei took the sackcloth and went to wipe the swords. He first wiped the long swords that had been infused with Sword Qi and collected a total of 1,000 Sword Qi. Then, he injected these Sword Qi into the other swords. While wiping the swords, Han Wei discovered that the quality of all the swords containing Sword Qi had improved slightly. Although this improvement was insignificant, it could change greatly over time. Perhaps those half-spiritual weapons could be nurtured into spiritual weapons. Thinking of spiritual weapons, Han Wei returned to his room. He now had three swords. Patriarch Tao Ran's sword, Purple Flame, was a short sword. It contained the Patriarch's sword intent, but it was not a spiritual weapon. It had been nurtured by the Patriarch for many years. The other sword, Destiny, was a sword chi that Mo Yuan had nurtured for 200 years. It was similar to the Purple Flames. These two swords carried sword intent as mortal weapons. Sword intent poured into the sword, flowing and surging. Han Wei could sense the familiarity from the sword. These two swords had an additional connection to him. It was an unseen force. This is the true function of the sword nurturing technique, right? Han Wei muttered to himself as he sensed the change in the sword intent. At this moment, the sword was not infused with sword chi. But sword intent. The sword was nurtured with the mind. He believed that before long, the two swords would have more spirituality and would be more sensitive to him. Even Earth Realm experts might not be able to do this. After all, whoever cultivated sword intent wouldn't hide it in their Danchen Sea of Qi and constantly polish it. Who could cultivate additional sword intent and then nourish the sword? And there was more than one swords. It was too wasteful. Putting away the two swords, Han Wei took out the long sword he had obtained from Qin Yu and He. This long sword called Flowing Moon was a true spiritual artifact. Whether it was the forging technique, the spiritual materials mixed in, or the spiritual patterns carved later. This sword was nurtured in the hands of the three Qin sword sex elder and Qin Yu and He with sword Qi. This greatly increased the spirituality of this sword. When Han Wei obtained this sword, there was still sword chi resisting him. Hum. A sword intent poured into the sword, and it began to tremble. In front of Han Wei, the three-foot-long sword slowly formed a faint image. The sword shrank from three feet to a small sword that was no longer than a foot. This was a spiritual artifact. After refining it, it could change its size. If it was a treasure like the Nine Mystic Sword, it was said that it could directly transform into a pill that could be swallowed into the Danchen Sea of Qi and hidden in the body to nourish. Putting the small sword into his bag, Han Wei heaved a sigh of relief. The three sword intents D.I.S.P. aired from his body, and the pressure on his body lessened. And these three swords could allow him to unleash his absolute combat strength. Lying on the wooden bed, Han Wei smiled. His Danchen was ten feet wide his sea of chi contained sword intent, and his spiritual body had completed dual cultivation. He had also mastered sword refinement and pill refinement methods, as well as the comprehension of more than a hundred sword techniques. Now, 
he was finally a qualified cultivator. Sword cultivator. This feeling of having power and cultivation was very fulfilling. It was already midnight when the sword pavilion elder returned. Tomorrow, a disciple will come to receive the sword. When the sword pavilion elder went upstairs, he instructed. On the second day, starting in the morning, a few inner sect disciples came to collect their swords. They had participated in the sword sect mission and obtained the qualifications to receive a sword. These inner sect disciples whose cultivation levels were not outstanding could only receive the lowest level sword initially. Such a sword could be used for cultivation in the sect, but its quality was too poor for fighting outside. As they were receiving a sword because of a mission, they only registered and went to choose their swords. When Huang Six saw that there was nothing to gain, his expression turned ugly. Senior Brother At the entrance of the sword pavilion, there was suddenly a cry of surprise. Han Wei and Huang Six looked up and saw seven or eight outer sect disciples in green robes standing there. Han Wei had met the leader, Zhang Han, before. The one hundredth person in the outer sect. Zhang Han's face was filled with joy. He bowed to Han Wei and said, Zhang Han greets senior brother. The people beside him quickly bowed. Huang Six had a strange expression. The few inner sect disciples who were still choosing swords in the sword pavilion looked up and revealed mocking smiles. They were indeed from the outer sect. How humble! Han Wei waved his hand and looked at Zhang Han. Why? Do you want to receive a sword? He had personally chosen the sword in Zhang Han's hand, which was very suitable for him. With Zhang Han's current strength, there was no need to change swords. Hearing Han Wei's words, Zhang Han shook his head and said, Senior brother, my fellow disciples accepted the mission and want to receive a suitable sword. Then, he turned around and said in a low voice, This is the senior brother who is a sword caretaker of the sword pavilion. Believe me and stop hiding anything. Those people seemed to be very convinced by Zhang Han's words. They hurriedly stepped forward and placed the spiritual rocks on the long table in front of Han Wei and Huang Six. Ten spiritual rocks. Ten spiritual rocks per person. There were eight of them, which meant eighty spiritual rocks were piled there, shining. Huang Six's size widened. These outer sect disciples were actually so generous. The inner sect disciples who were still choosing swords also revealed shocked expressions. The inner sect disciples only had ten spiritual rocks every month, which was not even enough for their cultivation. Were these outer sect disciples so rich? Humph, did your spiritual rocks come from nowhere? An inner sect disciple snorted and looked at Zhang Han and the others. You're here to receive a sword at the sword pavilion, yet you still have to make offerings to show respect. The rules of the sect have been broken by you. After saying that, he looked at Han Wei and Huang Six and said with a dark expression, They're only outer sect disciples. They saved every spiritual stone with much difficulty. Be careful that you'll feel uneasy after taking them. Huang Six narrowed his eyes at his words and opened the book he had registered. Zhao Yuzi, inner sect disciple. I saw that you didn't take a bath to clear your mind just now. You have a strange smell on you. You shan't receive the sword today. Huang Six spoke slowly, causing the expressions of the inner sect disciples to change. Senior Brother Zhao, don't interfere in this matter. Senior Brother, the sword pavilion has rules. We can't interfere. A few inner sect disciples went forward to persuade him in low voices. Zhao Yuzi gritted his teeth and clenched his fists as he stared at Huang Six. Huang Six sat behind the long table and swept all the spiritual rocks on the table into the drawer below. This provocation made Zhao Yuzi's eyes seem to be on fire. Senior Brother Zhao, thank you for your concern. On the other side, Zhang Han suddenly took a step forward and bowed to Zhao Yuzi. Then, he said, we're not here to show our respect to Senior Brother. Instead, we're here to ask Senior Brother to help us choose a sword. Hearing his words, Zhao Yuzi turned to glare at Zhang Han and shouted, Nonsense! 
why do we sword cultivators not choose our own swords and have to ask outsiders to do so? With your spineless appearance, your cultivation and swordsmanship must be extremely poor. Zhang Han was not angry when he heard Zhao Yuzi's words. The other outer sect disciples who came with him could not hold back any more. Senior brother Zhang Han is in the top 100 of the outer sect. His cultivation and sword techniques are top-notch in the outer section. Senior brother is doing this for our own good. You're being nosy. So what if you're from the inner sect? After this mission is completed, with our merits and cultivation, we can all enter the inner section. Their disrespectful words made Zhao Yuzi and the inner sect disciples behind him widen their eyes as spiritual energy rose from their bodies. If you don't want to receive the sword, you can go out. The sword pavilion can't tolerate you acting wildly. Han Wei's words made the entire sword pavilion fall silent. He looked at Zhang Han. Where are you going for your mission? Zhang Han bowed and said in a low voice, Senior brother, the Three Qin Sword Sect has betrayed the Sword Sect. The Sect has issued a mission to eliminate them. Chapter 43, Observing the Sword, the Person, and Sword Technique The matter regarding the Three Qin Sword Sect had been exposed. Han Wei nodded. Back then, he had killed so many people from the Three Qin Sword Sect, including disciples of the Great Spiritual Sword Sect. Later on, if the Sword Battle Hall went to investigate, this matter would definitely be revealed. Since it's a mission outside, it is inevitably dangerous. It's indeed necessary to choose a suitable sword. Han Wei looked at the bowing outer sect disciples, then pointed at one of them. First, demonstrate the sword technique you usually practice. I'll see what sword suits you. The disciple called on by Han Wei was stunned, then cupped his hands in surprise. My name is Sun Daeong. Greetings, Senior Brother Han. With that, he pulled out his iron sword, made a starting gesture, and swung it. The other disciples hurriedly retreated to make space for him. Perhaps it was because he was practicing the move in front of Han Wei, or perhaps it was because there were inner sect disciples watching, although Sun Daeong was very serious, his sword technique looked really pitiful. After he finished his sword dance, he felt a little embarrassed and stood there helplessly. Beside Zhao Yuzi, an inner sect disciple holding a sword said coldly, he doesn't have the speed or strength. His gaze and changes can't keep up at all. With such standards, he still dares to participate in the mission. Sun Daeong's face turned red and he did not dare to look up. This evaluation was quite neutral. Han Wei agreed. However, he was here to receive a sword. How could he feed back as such? Since Huang Six had already accepted the spiritual rocks, he naturally had to think of a way. Sitting in front of the long table, Han Wei tapped his fingers on the table. There was only a slow knocking sound on the first floor of the sword pavilion. Images circulated in Han Wei's mind. Sun Daeong's sword moves were magnified, and then his moves repeated. He had comprehended the mystic origin sword technique, staggered wood. After comprehending the sword technique, the image in Han Wei's mind changed again. It was no longer an image of Sun Daeong's slow moves. Every move was straight. The strength, speed and sword light were much more magnificent. This sword technique was not bad. It needed some support and also a correction of the sword technique. Sun Daeong who was standing there, felt uneasy and could not help but look up. How about this? On the left, on the thirty-first shelf, third row, fifth sword. Han Wei suddenly spoke. Sun Daeong quickly went over and followed the labels. He took the sword and hugged it. At this moment, he seemed to place all his hopes on Han Wei's guidance. It was as if the sword Han Wei had helped him choose was definitely the most suitable for him. Seeing him like this, the inner sect disciples frowned. How could a sword cultivator succeed without a firm heart? The name of this sword is Leaf Luo. It's 3 feet 1 inch long. The blade is 1.4 inch wide, and the blood groove in the middle is half an inch deep. The sword weighs 13 kilograms, 
and the hilt is wrapped in leaf luo wood. This sword is very suitable for wood type sword moves. It's not considered heavy, nor is its strength and speed. It emphasizes on stability. As Sun Deong walked back with his sword, Han Wei spoke. With every sentence he said, the surprise on everyone's faces increased. This sword caretaker could actually remember the weight and length of any sword in the sword pavilion. He could even tell the pros and cons of refinement method of this sword. Sun Deong looked even more surprised and hugged his sword even tighter. This sword can unleash 100% of the power of your sword technique. You should practice your moves again with 30% faster speed. When you attack, don't look up. Just look ahead. Also, your wrist doesn't seem to be strong enough. Tie the hilt and your wrist with a cloth first. Han Wei continued saying. In the sword pavilion, Huang Six turned to look at him and muttered. Sun Deong no longer doubted Han Wei's words and quickly did as he was told. Zhao Yuzi and the others stopped choosing swords and stared at Sun Deong as he wrapped his wrist. Han Wei's words made sense to these inner sect disciples. Although they could see the flaws in Sun Deong's sword moves, they could not really give him any guiders. Hearing Han Wei's words, he immediately felt as if he had seen the sun. Clang! Sun Deong unsheathed his sword and stabbed without looking up. The sword was three times faster than before. These three guiders immediately made the sword move completely different from before. A cold murderous aura instantly filled the air. Slash! The sword swept across, bringing with it a cold light that made Zhang Han and the others subconsciously retreat. Sun Deong also felt the changes in his sword moves. He paid attention to every strike, especially the integration of strength and speed. After twelve moves, the sword pavilion was silent. Sun Deong held his sword and bowed deeply to Han Wei. Then he took a few steps back and turned to look at Zhang Han and the others behind him. He grinned silently. He could feel himself being reborn. Looking at Sun Deong, who seemed to have a strange aura around him, Zhao Yuzi trembled. He remembered what his master had said. As sword cultivators, of course we have to believe in the sword in our hands. With a sword in your hand, you will have a sword in your heart. That's when the sword cultivation begins. At this moment, didn't Sun Deong only have a sword in his hand and in his heart? Sword in hand, sword in heart, Zhao Yuzi whispered to himself, his eyes shining. Senior brother, my name is Tao Shaiwu. I cultivate the mystic origin sword technique carving mark. Senior brother, I I cultivate willow leaves. Senior brother. The remaining outer sect disciples rushed forward and bowed to Han Wei. Han Wei smiled and waved his hand. Don't worry, one by one. An hour later, Zhang Han gratefully led his fellow senior brothers to bow to Han Wei, then strode out of the sword pavilion. At this moment, on the first floor of the sword pavilion, other than Han Wei and Huang Six, only Zhao Yuzi and the other inner sect disciples were left. They looked at each other. Just now, Han Wei had helped Sun Deong and the others choose a sword and gave them pointers for their sword techniques. They had watched the entire process and were shocked. After every outer sect disciple received Han Wei's guidance, their sword techniques and combat power doubled. Even the late-stage foundation establishment realm deacon experts in the sect did not have such capability. Perhaps only an earth realm expert had such foresight and knowledge. Zhao Yuzi took a deep breath, took a few steps forward, and bowed to Han Wei. Senior brother, I was wrong. With that, he cupped his hands and said, Senior brother, please help me choose a sword. Taking a step forward, he placed a merit token on the long table. One merit token was worth 100 spiritual rocks. Huang Six stared at the merit token, unable to move his eyes away. The others also hurried forward and handed over a merit token. Compared to a suitable long sword and sword techniques, what was a merit token? Six merit tokens were equivalent to 600 spiritual rocks. Huang Six turned to Han Wei. How did this guy earn money like he was robbing? 
Looking at the merit tokens in front of him, Han Wei shook his head gently. Zhao Yuzi and the others' expressions darkened. Huang Six, who was about to reach out, froze in midair. Well, Brother Han, we're all from the same sect. If you can help, just help, Huang Six coughed and said softly. He could not bear to part with those six hundred spiritual rocks. Zhao Yuzi and the others looked at Huang Six gratefully. Han Wei chuckled and shook his head. You guys can leave. Before the despairing Zhao Yuzi and the others could speak, Han Wei continued, You've stayed in the sword pavilion for too long today. If you want to choose a sword, come back tomorrow. Tomorrow. It was not that he had rejected them, but because he had stayed outside too long that day and the sword qi was harmful to their bodies. Zhao Yuzi and the others hurriedly bowed happily. Thank you for the reminders, senior brother. We'll come back tomorrow. It was fine to miss the opportunity to receive a sword that day. As long as they could obtain a suitable sword and obtain senior brother Han's guidance, it would be worth it. Zhao Yuzi and the others left. Huang Six kept the six merit tokens, then looked at Han Wei and sized him up. Brother Han, why do you know so much about those swords? Also, how do you know these sword moves? Hearing his words, Han Wei leaned back and narrowed his eyes. Brother, in the sword pavilion, we have to observe the sword, the people, and the sword techniques. This is the real job of the sword pavilion's sword caretaker. Then he turned back to the stacked wooden shelves. We wiped every sword here with our own hands. They're like our children. Are you willing to entrust them to unsuitable people? As if in response to his words, the sword pavilion shook. Chapter 44, He's Just a Sword Pavilion Sword Caretaker, Is He Worthy of Being Called a Senior Brother? Huang Six looked confused. Then he lowered his head and muttered a few words. His expression became pleasant again. Ha ha, brother, in that case, these spiritual rocks are the betrothal gifts for our daughter. He put the pile into the small wooden box, his eyes sparkling. This was practical. Hearing his words, Han Wei stood up and took the wooden box. Eh, you, Huang Six was stunned for a moment before grinning. I understand. 3-7 split. Han Wei shook his head and said in a low voice, It's fine if you accept the spiritual rocks from the inner sect. But it's not easy for the outer sect to save their spiritual rocks, and they're out on a crusade soon. There are many places that require spiritual rocks, so don't take these spiritual rocks. With that, he tucked the wooden box under his arm and walked out. Where where are you going? Huang Six shouted after him. I'll send the spiritual rocks back, Han Wei said. Send them back? Then wouldn't my daughter be raised for nothing? Huang Six muttered. After a while, he took out the six merit tokens and smiled again. These days are getting more and more promising. Zhang Han and the others had told Han Wei where they lived. Han Wei went to look for them, but he missed them. Some disciples who knew Zhang Han and the others told Han Wei that they had gone to drink. There were 1,000 outer sect disciples living in one place, and there were also servants around. There were a total of 10,000 people, making it seem like a small village. Those restaurants and shops were all opened by the sect for the disciples to spend on. This could be considered as expanding domestic demand. Han Wei arrived at a small street less than 1,000 feet away. A voice came from behind. Brother Han. Han Wei turned around and saw El Yu Gao, who was carrying a large rock, sweating profusely and grinning. Brother Han, you came to the outer sect because... The white-robed Han Wei made everyone beside El Yu Gao envious. He had long heard that El Yu Gao had a brother in the inner sect. It was true. Han Wei looked around and saw Zhang Han and the others on the second floor of the restaurant. He stepped forward and held the stone block El Yu Gao was carrying with one hand. After cultivating the iron bowl strength, it was as if he was playing with the stone block that weighed 150 kilograms. His move immediately caused the surrounding people to exclaim. 
he was indeed an inner sex senior brother. How powerful! El Yuka rubbed his hands together. He looked smug and embarrassed. Let's go, I'll bring you to drink. Carrying the stone block, Han Wei walked towards the restaurant. Drink! El Yukao grinned and hurried after him. The servant disciples who were carrying the blocks with El Yukao looked envious and jealous. Drinking was secondary. The key was who to drink with. Senior brother Han. Zhang Han and the others in the restaurant also noticed Han Wei and called out happily. They quickly went downstairs and escorted Han Wei upstairs. Sun Deong carried the stone block in Han Wei's hand. Upstairs, they asked Han Wei to sit at the head of the table. Even El Yukao, who was wearing a servant's uniform, fearfully took a seat at the same table. When the other outer sect disciples saw Han Wei's white robe, they quickly moved aside. This was where the outer sect disciples gathered. There might not be an inner sect disciple around for three to five days. There were dishes and wine on the table, and everyone toasted Han Wei. Han Wei smiled and raised his glass. After three rounds of wine, he put down his glass and looked at everyone. There are many experts in the Three Qin Sword sect. If you go, look for the Myriad Swords Elder at the M.O. family in King Mu Town and ask him to suppress them. He has the strength of an Earth Realm expert. He should be able to protect you. Han Wei said calmly. Earth Realm. Zhang Han and the others were all dumbfounded. The outer sect disciples who were listening were all stunned. They were only outer sect disciples and had not even reached the Qi Condensation Realm. Were they worthy of talking about Earth Realm experts? Ahem, senior brother, um, we, Zhang Han muttered with a bitter smile. If they asked an Earth Realm expert to hold the fort, would an Earth Realm expert even take a look at them? Don't worry. That Myriad Sword Elder has a deep relationship with our Nine Mystic Sword sect. Go and request him to help. Tell him that I was the one who told you guys. Han Wei spoke softly, his expression calm. Although Mou and returned to King Mu Town under the alias of the Myriad Sword Elder, that place was still under the rule of the Nine Mystic Sword sect. Doing a few things for the Sword sect and building a friendship with the Sword sect would be very helpful for his future cultivation. With M. O. Yuan's experience, even if no one from the Nine Mystic Sword Sect invited him, he would still participate in this mission to eliminate the Three Qin Sword Sect. Han Wei asked Zhang Han and the others to invite him over, but it was just a favor. In addition, they were all Outer Sect disciples of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect and had some ties with the number one Outer Sect disciple back then. Thank you, Senior Brother Han. Zhang Han and the others hurriedly bowed again and shouted happily. This was a pleasant surprise. Who would dare to say that they would not suffer any losses if they attacked a sect? Moreover, the lives of outer sect disciples like them were definitely the most worthless. With an earth realm expert holding down the fort, even if he casually protected them, their situation would definitely be different. Seeing how happy Zhang Han and the others were, the outer sect disciples at the other tables had complicated expressions. Who wouldn't want the protection of an Earth Realm expert? Eh, it's senior brother Han. Suddenly, a voice came from the table behind Han Wei. Han Wei looked back and smiled. So it's Ching Er. The female cultivator who spoke was Chiao Ching Er, who had accompanied Han Wei to the demonstration building. Chiao Ching'er's desk mates were mostly people who had been with her that day. I haven't seen senior brother Han in a while. I was preparing to look for you. Chiao Ching'er had a smile on her face as she raised her glass and gestured to Han Wei. What a coincidence. Let me make a toast to senior brother. Han Wei raised his glass and was about to clink it with Chiao Ching'er's when the young man sitting opposite him said coldly, You're just a sword pavilion sword caretaker. Are you worthy of calling yourself a senior brother? Sword Pavilion Sword Caretaker? His voice was not soft, and everyone on the second floor of the restaurant heard him. Sword Caretaker? Isn't that the job of watching swords in the Sword Pavilion where 9 out of 10 people die? That's right. 
it's said that sword caretakers can't cultivate sword techniques and have to survive for 10 years before they can get the title of deacon. They can only make it if they survive for 60 years. Tisk, this person was so arrogant just now. He said that an Earth Realm expert had a close relationship with him. So he's just a sword caretaker. There was an uproar. Those outer sect disciples' respect for their inner sect senior brother changed into contempt for the sword caretaker in order for them hide their emotions. Did he really think that he was an inner sect senior brother just because he was wearing a white robe? Zhang Han and the others' expressions changed. So what if he's a sword caretaker? Sun Deong stood up and glared around before glaring at the young man opposite Jiao Ching'er. How can you outsiders understand senior brother Han's ability? That's right. Senior brother Han is not an ordinary sword caretaker. The others spoke up one after another. They had witnessed Han Wei's capability that day and were all convinced. Xiao Ching'er turned around and said coldly, Huo Ping, what do you mean? The young man looked at Han Wei, then at Zhang Han and the others with a mocking expression. I just don't want to see a group of fools being bewitched by a mere sword caretaker. It won't take long for me, Huo Ping, to put on this set of clothes. Bang! Sun Deong punched the table and pointed at Huo Ping. Who are you calling a fool? Han Wei's expression didn't change. He chuckled and said, He's calling you a fool. He's calling you a fool. Chiao Ching'er, who was sitting behind him, burst out laughing. Yes, yes, he's referring to us as fools. Han Wei and the others who had received their swords that day all smiled and said. Huo Ping's face darkened as he slowly stood up with his fists clenched. He placed his hand on the hilt of the sword at his waist. Suddenly, the young man sitting beside Huo Ping reached out to press his arm and said in a low voice, Huo Ping, don't be rash. The person sitting over there is senior brother Bai Jian Gan, one of the top outer sect disciples. Zhang Han. The 100th place in the outer sect? Huo Ping's eyes lit up. He unsheathed his sword, pointed it forward, and shouted, Zhang Han? Perfect. Today, I'll replace the person on the 100th position in the outer sect. Chapter 45 can't even withstand one strike from the 100th of the outer sect. This guy called Huo Ping wanted to challenge the 100th outer sect disciple, Zhang Han. The restaurant was immediately in an uproar. The Nine Mystic Sword Sect prohibited disciples from challenging each other. However, it did not prohibit battles for rankings. If one completely banned the desire to win in sword cultivation, how could one increase their combat strength? How could a sword cultivator become strong if he did not even have the courage to challenge and accept challenges? The ranking of the inner and outer sect disciples of the sword sect was originally set up to motivate the disciples. Zhang Han is ranked 100th in the outer sect. This kid wants to challenge him at such a young age. That might not be the case. I know these few people. They all have excellent aptitude and are very valued by the sect. They may not be able to beat the inner sect disciples but they might really have the combat strength within the top 100 of the outer section. I didn't expect there to be such a good show. Perhaps we can really witness the replacement of the 100th in the outer sect today. You have to know that Zhang Han didn't enter the top 100 with his strength. The surrounding outer sect disciples could not hide their excitement. Those who watched the show never found it troublesome. Challenging Senior Brother Zhang Han Tao Shiwa stood up with a cold smile. Holding the long sword in his hand, he said, You have to pass me first. Yes, not everyone is qualified to challenge Senior Brother Zhang Han. The others rose to their feet. Zhang Han looked up and saw Han Wei looking at him with a smile. A thought struck him. He knew his own strength. Over the past few days, he could feel his combat strength rising rapidly. He was proficient in sword techniques, and at the same time, he had changed the shortcomings of his attacks. He was also constantly getting used to the sword in his hand, Destiny. He was confident that he could fight against the top 50 outer sect disciples. In a few days, 
after this expedition mission, he would train himself and would even dare to fight against the top 20 of the outer sect. Originally, he wanted to improve step by step. When his cultivation reached the Qi condensation realm, he would naturally become an inner sect disciple. It was better to hide than to stand out. However, it was probably impossible to hide it that day. In that case, he might as well not hide it. How could a sword cultivator lose his edge? Senior brother Han had the same thoughts. Let me do it. Zhang Han slowly stood up and waved his hand. He looked at Huo Ping, who was pointing his sword at him. My cultivation level is higher than yours, and the sword in my hand is obtained from the sword pavilion. It's not fair for me to defeat you. This way, if you can last ten moves under my sword, you can take this position as the top 100 in the outer section. Zhang Han's voice was loud and clear. Not to mention the second floor, even people outside the restaurant could hear him. Zhang Han? The 100th Outer Sect Disciple. Someone challenged the top 100 of the outer sect. Figures gathered in the direction of the restaurant. Zhang Han let out a long laugh and stepped out of the second floor window. His body spun in midair, as if a fallen leaf had encountered a strong wind. He rose straight up and landed on the roof of the opposite building. Great. Senior brother Zhang Han, what a good movement technique. Zhang Han's move immediately attracted cheers. Many people on Huo Ping's side had solemn expressions. From this, they could tell that Zhang Han was extraordinary. Humph, flashy but useless. Huo Ping snorted and stabbed forward with the sword in his hand. His figure passed through the window and collided with Zhang Han, who was dozens of feet away. Impressive. Who is this person? No wonder he challenged senior brother Zhang Han. This strike is extraordinary. This battle today will be interesting. A low cry came from below. As soon as an expert made a move, one would know. Huo Ping dared to challenge Zhang Han because his skills were indeed impressive. This strike was fast and swift. The key was that the sword and his body were one. It was the standard way of becoming one with the sword. At this level, it shouldn't be difficult to last ten moves against Zhang Han, right? Ten moves? Hee <laughs> hee, from the looks of it, the one who can't last ten moves is Zhang Han. Everyone looked at Zhang Han, who was standing on the roof, to see how he would deal with this strike. If he could force Zhang Han back with one strike, this challenger would become famous in one battle. The sword stabbed at Zhang Han's chest and abdomen with a cold light. Ten feet. Five feet. Three feet. Right at that moment. Clang. He unsheathed his sword, and Zhang Han followed it. The sword light carried the sound of wind and thunder. With a spin, he and Huo Ping, who was stabbing, changed positions. This movement was short, flat, and fast. Slash. It was only when the two of them passed each other that the ear-piercing sound of swords colliding could be heard. Zhang Han's body was like a swan goose as he took a step into the void. His body trembled and he moved another ten feet before landing on the second floor of the restaurant. He sheathed his sword and bowed slightly to Han Wei. Senior brother Han, that kid is just a show-off. Show off. Han Wei chuckled and nodded. It was flashy but lacked strength. It was indeed a show off. This was because his foundation was too weak and he did not pay attention to his basic skills. Crash. On the opposite roof, Huo Ping staggered and rolled down, bringing down pieces of green tiles. He barely landed. The people around him saw that his face was pale and there was a foot long bleeding sword wound on his chest. His injuries were not serious, but such a sword strike directly shattered all of Huo Ping's pride. Excellent aptitude? Fast cultivation? Highly regarded by the sect? He could not even withstand one strike from the one hundredth of the outer sect. Chiao Ching'er and the others looked at each other and ran downstairs. Chiao Ching'er bowed apologetically to Han Wei and whispered, Senior brother, don't blame me. I'll apologize to you another day. Then she followed them downstairs. 
They helped Huo Ping up as they left. This kid's methods are not bad. He is the 100th disciple of the outer sect and is already so strong. Someone muttered as he watched Huo Ping and the others leave. Huo Ping's strike was obvious. Not many people in the outer sect could withstand it. This is the outer sect's 100th? With such combat strength, I'm afraid I won't be able to catch up in my lifetime, someone looked at the second floor of the restaurant with a complicated expression and turned to leave. On the second floor, the outer sect disciples who had previously whispered their thoughts and did not think highly of Zhang Han quietly went downstairs and left. The rest of the people looked at Zhang Han in surprise. Senior brother Zhang, I didn't expect you to be so strong. Sun Deong looked at Zhang Han and sighed. Many people on the second floor wanted to say that too. Zhang Han shook his head and looked at Han Wei. With a solemn expression, he said, without senior brother Han's guidance, without senior brother Han's help in choosing the destiny sword, I wouldn't be much stronger than you. Senior brother Han's guidance. The sword that senior brother Han chose. Tao Shiwu and the others were stunned, then looked at Han Wei in surprise. They had also received senior brother Han's guidance. Their swords were also chosen by senior brother Han. That meant that as long as they cultivated diligently, they would be as strong as senior brother Zhang Han. The surrounding outer sect disciples looked at Han Wei. Didn't they say that he was just a sword caretaker? A sword caretaker could guide the experts in the top 100 of the outer sect? At this moment, Many people recalled what Sun Deong and the others had said just now. The sword caretaker in front of them was not an ordinary sword caretaker. To senior brother Han. Sun Deong raised his glass and shouted. To senior brother Han. The others at the table raised their glasses. Han Wei smiled and drank the wine in his cup. Then he stood up and said, I've had enough fun today. When you return in triumph, we'll drink together. He stood up and pushed forward the small wooden box that had been on the table. These are your spiritual rocks. Take them back. Take back the spiritual rocks. Zhang Han and the others were stunned and quickly wanted to speak. Han Wei waved his hand and said, I don't fancy your few spiritual rocks. Zhang Han and the others did not doubt his words. With senior brother Han's methods, he would definitely not lack spiritual rocks. Han Wei turned to leave, and El Yu Gao hurriedly got up. Zhang Han and the others wanted to send him off. Han Wei shook his head and said with a smile, You guys are in a good mood today. Have a few drinks. It's best if you can get Zhang Han drunk. Sun Deong and the others laughed. Zhang Han was stunned at first, then he said generously, That might not be the case. Chapter 46, Sword Pavilion Servant El Yugao. Han Wei smiled and nodded. Without another word, he turned and went downstairs. El Yugao picked up the stone block and followed him. On the second floor of the restaurant, the outer sect disciples looked at Han Wei and the others' backs with various thoughts in their eyes. This sword caretaker of the sword pavilion was definitely a magical figure that they had never seen before. From the respect Zhang Han and the others showed him, they could tell that this person was not simple. Zhang Han and the others opened the wooden box on the table. There were spiritual rocks inside. Everyone, take them. Senior brother Han really doesn't fancy these spiritual rocks, Zhang Han looked at everyone and said in a low voice. Everyone looked at each other and reached out to take back their spiritual rocks. This made the people around him dumbfounded again. They were all outer sect disciples and all of them were so poor that the spiritual rocks made them drool. Since senior brother Han doesn't want our spiritual rocks, we can't take advantage of him for nothing. Zhang Han looked at the people around him and lowered his voice. Let's ask what senior brother Han needs and help him keep an eye out. That got a few nods. It wasn't a deal. It was a favor. Business was easy to make, but favors were hard to repay. Han Wei and El Yu Gao walked out of the small street. El Yu Gao caught up and stood in front of Han Wei. Brother Han, can you let me into the sword pavilion? 
let him into the sword pavilion. Han Wei frowned. Brother L. Yu, you want to be a sword caretaker. This was not a good job. It was deadly. Han Wei knew how dangerous it was. Could it be that L. Yu Gao had fallen for the role because of its glory? No, brother, you misunderstand. The sword pavilion used to accept servants. They served tea, swept the steps, wiped the windows, and helped the sword caretaker do some chores. It's just that later on, the sword caretakers became more and more rare, so the servants were dispersed. L. Yu Gao lowered his voice and muttered, at that time, the sword pavilion became a place where everyone took a detour. So he did not want to be a sword caretaker, but a servant. Han Wei's heart skipped a beat. There were some things he really needed help with. All right, I'll go back and ask about the situation. If possible, I'll let Brother L. Yu come to the sword pavilion. L. Yu Gao grinned at his words. He bowed, then carried the stone block to the mountain gate. After taking a few steps, L. Yu Gao turned around and instructed with a bitter expression, Brother, hurry up. Recently, our sword sect has been gathering the neighboring sects. We servants are so tired that our skins are peeling. A gathering of the neighboring sects. Han Wei took a few steps and recalled the scene he had seen from Qin Yu and his sword. Under the Nine Mystic Sword Sects ruling, several sects had been instigated by the Great Spiritual Sword Sect. Will those sects come? To create trouble. Turning around to think, Han Wei shook his head again. The Nine Mystic Sword Sect was one of the nine sects of the Western Frontier. Not only did it have many Earth Realm experts, but it also had three half-step Heaven Realm experts guarding it. There was also an elder of the Sword Pavilion who wielded the Nine Mystic Sword. With such strength, not to mention those sects that had been instigated to defect, even if the Great Spiritual Sword Sect came in full force, they would probably not be able to gain anything. If the Great Spiritual Sword Sect really had the strength to challenge the Nine Mystic Sword Sect, they wouldn't have done so many despicable things in secret. Perhaps this gathering would create trouble and someone would come to wreak havoc. However, if these people could shake the foundation of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect, the Nine Mystic Sword Sect would not have been able to stand strong in the Western Frontier for countless years. Thinking of this, Han Wei couldn't help but laugh. As a sword caretaker who was freeloading and earning ten spiritual rocks a month, he was worried about those sect elders and sect masters. Wasn't he just worried about selling whatever money he had? When he returned to the sword pavilion, Huang Six muttered to himself when he saw that the small wooden box Han Wei was holding was indeed gone. His inferred meaning was that one would not know how expensive rice was if one was not in charge. Han Wei smiled and asked Huang Six about the Sword Pavilion servants. In the past, the Sword Pavilion had servants. Huang Six nodded and grinned. When our Sword Pavilion was in its prime, there were seven or eight sword caretakers and twenty servants. In that case, the Sword Pavilion can recruit servant disciples. Han Wei asked. If he could recruit servants, he would be willing to recruit El Yu Gao to the Sword Pavilion. Recruit, Huang Six smacked his lips. He was stunned for a moment before saying in a low voice, Our sword pavilion has to bear the expenses when recruiting servants. The labor cost of the sword pavilion servants would be paid by the sword pavilion? No wonder the servant disciples of the sword pavilion had been dispersed. Before Han Wei came, Huang Six was the only sword caretaker in the sword pavilion besides the elders. Should he ask Huang Six to split some of his salary and profits to hire some servant disciples? It would be more likely for the sun to rise from the west. Then, why don't we recruit one or two first? Han Wei looked at Huang Six and smiled. The expenses will come from my pay. Huang Six glanced at Han Wei, rolled his eyes, and leaned closer. Little Han, can you do your business as a sword caretaker often? Huang Six was smart. Han Wei knew how to refine pills, but he could not participate in the alchemy business at all. On the other hand, in the sword pavilion, as long as he received a sword, he would get a share of it. That day, 
Han Wei had simply gained benefits that he could not have earned in the past year. He had been planning for a long time just now, but now he asked. If one wanted to cultivate, how could a man lack money? Brother, don't worry. As long as I'm a sword caretaker in the sword pavilion, I naturally have to protect the rules of the sword pavilion. Whether it's observing the sword or the person, it's all cultivation, Han Wei said bluntly. Anyway, he didn't lose out. Choosing a sword for others would not only benefit him, but also expand his connections. It was killing two birds with one stone. All right, I'll do as you say for the servants. Huang Six immediately agreed. We don't have to report to the elder. Han Wei asked. It's nothing big. Do we still have to ask an elder? Huang Six patted his chest. I've been a sword caretaker in the sword pavilion for seven years. I'll become a deacon in another three years. Han Wei did not waste time and summoned El Yu Gao to the sword pavilion that day. El Yu Gao's job was to open the door to the sword pavilion every morning, sweep the stone steps in front of the door, and close the door at night. During the day, he would be a guard at the door and run errands. Han Wei was also generous and gave El Yu Gao a salary of three spiritual rocks a month. This was comparable to the salary of an ordinary outer sect disciple. El Yu Gao was so happy that he could not close his mouth. Besides, in El Yu Gao's opinion, the job in the sword pavilion was too easy. The next morning, El Yu Gao arrived at the entrance of the sword pavilion early. He opened the door and swept it clean. Then, he stood at the door and basked in the sun while checking if anyone was coming. A moment later, his body trembled as he looked at a group of white-robed intersect disciples walking over from not far away. Senior brothers, are you here to receive your swords? Please, please. El Yu Gao subconsciously bowed and greeted them with a smile. He was used to being a servant. Is senior brother Han here? We're here to receive our swords today. The leader of the inner sect disciples was Zhao Yuzi, who had come the previous day. He cupped his hands at El Yu Gao and asked in a low voice. The inner sect disciples cupped their hands in return. El Yu Gao, who was used to being a servant, had never encountered such courtesy. He hurriedly cupped his hands in fear and said, Yes, senior brother Han is here. He had been calling Han Wei senior brother since yesterday. He was afraid that if he called him brother, it would lower Han Wei's status. Zhao Yuzi and the others looked happy. They nodded and walked into the sword pavilion. After taking a few steps, Zhao Yuzi suddenly thought of something and raised his hand to hand a spiritual stone to El Yu Gao. Thank you, junior brother. When Zhao Yuzi and the others walked into the sword pavilion, El Yu Gao was holding eight spiritual rocks in his hand. His eyes were fixed on them, and the corners of his mouth twitched. Junior brother, junior brother, he he. This, the errands of the sword pavilion really pays well. Turning to look at the sword pavilion, El Yu Gao's eyes shone like spiritual rocks. Senior brothers, we're here to receive our swords today. In the sword pavilion, Zhao Yuzi and the others cupped their hands and bowed to Han Wei and Huang Six. The two intersect disciples behind them took a step forward and placed a merit token in their hands on the long table. Huang Six grinned and accepted the merit tokens. Then he chuckled. We're all on the same side. Isn't this a waste? Brother Han, help your junior brothers choose a good sword that suits them. Chapter 47, Sword Giver, Ji Yuan When choosing a sword, one had to observe the person first. Han Wei watched Zhao Yuzi practice a set of sword techniques, then pondered slightly. Zhao Yuzi's sword techniques were unrestrained. He held his sword with both hands and was full of strength. It was a sword technique from the earth type lineage, two mystic level, mountain splitting. After the round of sword play, Zhao Yuzi stood there nervously. At this moment, it was as if he was facing an inspection by the elders in the sect. Zhao Junior brother. Han Wei felt that he had to act more arrogant. Calling Zhao Yuzi junior brother would make himself seem more authoritative. 
Senior Brother Han, please speak, Zhao Yuzi said after taking a deep breath. The other intersect disciples also pricked up their ears. The two newcomers' eyes were filled with curiosity as they stared at Han Wei, who looked a little leisure. What kind of guidance could a merit token get? Junior Brother Zhao, you're left-handed, right? Han Wei asked calmly. Left-handed. Zhao Yuzi and the few intersect junior brothers behind him were stunned for a moment before shaking their heads. Senior brother Zhao is not left-handed, an intersect disciple said in a low voice, sounding disappointed. Could it be that this senior brother Han's standards were good enough when guiding the outer sect disciples, but his judgment was not good enough when facing intersect disciples? Huang Six's mouth twitched, and he turned to look at Han Wei. No way. This business had just started. It wasn't a good start, but a bad start. Zhao Yuzi cupped his hands at Su Cheng and said, Senior brother Han, although I'm holding a sword with both hands, it's not. He paused at that. Then he froze, and his expression began to change. The intersect disciples behind him all looked at him. What happened to senior brother Zhao? I remember now. When I was very young, I did have a more flexible left hand. Then, when I was seven or eight, my parents forced me to change it. Zhao Yuzi looked up at Han Wei with deep admiration in his eyes. If senior brother hadn't mentioned it, I would have forgotten that I was once left-handed. When he finished, there was silence on the sword pavilion floor. The intersect disciple who had previously doubted Han Wei's judgment blushed. Huang Six's mouth cracked wide open. He was missing his big teeth and he laughed silently. This brat Han was amazing. He could even tell that he had changed his habit. The eyes of the two new intersect disciples lit up with anticipation. Han Wei's fingers gently landed on the table. He pondered for a moment and looked at Zhao Yuzi. Junior brother Zhao, have you ever thought of changing your sword technique? Change his sword technique? Zhao Yuzi was completely stunned. What was wrong with his technique? Were there many issues with it? Your sword cultivation is not bad. Your foundation is very solid. If it's just this set of sword techniques, you just need to modify a few small details. Fortunately, Han Wei didn't keep him confused for long before speaking again. But I think if you don't cultivate the medium level and stable sword techniques of the earth type lineage and switch to a left hand sword, you might be able to see unexpected surprises. Cultivate using a left handed sword. What senior brother Han meant was that he might be stronger if he cultivated with a left hand sword. Zhao Yuzi was silent for a moment, then shook his head and said, Senior brother, I think sword cultivators should be upright. I like such sword techniques. Han Wei nodded. This Zhao Yuzi was a good person. Row 15, number 9526, Golden Lion. The sword is 3 feet 8 inches long and weighs 15 kilograms. Opening the book in front of him, Han Wei directly recorded down. Zhao Yuzi walked over and found the sword. His face immediately lit up. This sword looked heavy and solid. It was the sword he had imagined. Han Wei gave Zhao Yuzi a few more instructions and pointed out the directions for improvement in his sword technique. In the end, he said, if you want to change swords anytime, you can come again. Change swords. Holding the golden lion sword, Zhao Yuzi grinned. He would never change this sword. In less than an hour, Zhao Yuzi and the others had all chosen their swords. All right, you can leave. This sword pavilion is not a place you can stay for long. Han Wei waved his hand and leaned back in his big chair. Zhao Yuzi and the others looked at each other and bowed. Senior brother Han, when we return from our mission, I'll treat you and brother Six to a drink. After Zhao Yuzi finished speaking, he turned around and left. The others followed. Senior brothers, have a safe trip, Liu Gao's sincere shout came from the door. In the sword pavilion, Han Wei stood up, took the linen cloth, and went to wipe the swords. It was time to collect the sword qi. This time, 
he collected 2,500 sword qi and poured them into the other swords again. Han Wie enjoyed the process of collecting sword qi and comprehending sword techniques. Huang Six, who was sitting in the distance, saw that Han Wie was in high spirits. He bared his teeth and turned his head. He did not want to find trouble with Han Wie. In the afternoon, three more sword receiving disciples, one inner sect disciple and two outer sect disciples, came. Perhaps it was because Han Wie's reputation had not spread but the three of them were obedient when they received the swords. Even if Huang Six hinted at them, they still did not realize it. They did not give a single penny. For the next two days, Han Wei continued to polish the swords, collect sword qi, pour it in, and then comprehend a few sword techniques. But Huang Six was bored sitting there. For two days, not even a dog came to the sword pavilion. At the door, L. Yu Gao began to doze off again. Hey, is my sword pavilion a place for idlers? If you want to sleep, go home. Huang Six clasped his hands behind his back and glared at L. Yu Gao. Then he walked out angrily. Where are you going, brother? L. Yu Gao was not annoyed and shouted after him. The income of eight spiritual rocks had already made him fall in love with the task of being the gatekeeper of the sword pavilion. The gatekeeper. That was the title he had given himself. I'm tired of this. I'm going for a walk, Huang Six replied angrily and left. Then I'll bring you food from the canteen later, L. Yu Gao shouted after him. I want red braised pork and choose the softest one. Huang Six paused, then walked away with his back hunched. Hearing their conversation, Han Wei, who was wiping the swords, smiled and shook his head. Huang Six and his sword caretaker business had failed before it officially opened. No one had come for two days, and there was a freeloader at the door. Of course, Huang Six was depressed. Brother L. Yu, help me go to the Suhen restaurant and bring these herbs over. Han Wei walked to the door and handed a paper to L. Yu Gao. These were the list of herbs needed to refine the cloud chi pill. Over the past few days, he had exhausted all the cloud chi pills in his body and wanted to refine them. Those sword chi were huge sources of spiritual energy. L. Yu Gao took the list and cupped his hands. Senior brother Han, don't worry. I'll definitely settle this matter. After L. Yu Gao went to get the herbs, Han Wei sat at the long table and narrowed his eyes slightly, familiarizing himself with the sword technique he had just comprehended. Sword techniques could only be improved by practicing them often. Is anyone there? I came to return the sword. Suddenly, a voice came from the entrance of the sword pavilion. Return the sword. Who else died? Han Wei looked up and saw a young man in an intersect disciple's white robe walking towards the sword pavilion with a calm expression. According to the rules of the sword pavilion, no one is allowed to enter unless they are receiving a sword. Do you not know the rules, or are you not a disciple of my nine mystic sword sect at all? Han Wei stood up and spoke calmly. The white-robed disciple trembled and stopped in his tracks. He slowly retracted his steps and stood at the door with his sword in both hands. The inner sect disciple, senior brother Su Yang, has died. I'm here to deliver his sword. Su Yang. That sword. The image of the sword that had pierced into the green-clothed woman's heart and the appearance of the eighth in the outer sect Ji Yuan, who had fallen off the cliff, came to Han Wei's mind. Ji Yuan? Looking up, Han Wei trembled slightly. The person holding the sword in front of him looked 80% similar to Ji Yuan. Chapter 48, Brad Han, Do You Believe in Fate? This person was Ji Yuan. The eighth in the outer sect. Ji Yuan who had been missing for a year. Instead of hiding outside the Nine Mystic Sword Sect, he came to the Sword Pavilion. Also, he was wearing the inner sect clothes. Taking a light breath, Han Wei walked forward expressionlessly and took the sword. The sword was cold to the touch, and there seemed to be traces of killing intent on it. This sword had killed someone recently. Holding the hilt, Han Wei tightened his grip. Clang. 
the sword was unsheathed, and coldness appeared. I received an intersect disciple's sword today. The blade is not damaged. He sheathed the sword and held it in both hands. Then he turned and walked toward the wooden shelves of the sword pavilion. His hand rested lightly on the hilt of his sword. Hum! Images flashed through his mind. A wave of violent energy crashed into his mind, making him turn pale. In that scene, the sword in Ji Yuan's hand swayed. A sharp sword light swept past, bringing with it a bloody mist. A disciple of the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. The ones who were killed in that scene were Wu Teng and the others, the disciples of the fire type lineage. The murderer who killed Wu Teng and the rest was really Ji Yuan. In his sea of qi, the dark red sword intent surged, as if it wanted to rush out and kill Ji Yuan, who was standing at the door. However, Han Wei suppressed it. He calmly delivered the sword to the wooden shelf, then turned to the long table and picked up the ink brush. Give me the name of the person who sent the sword and which lineage he cultivates. His words stunned Ji Yuan, who was standing in the doorway. There's such a procedure for returning swords? Why didn't I know? Han Wei held the brush in one hand and looked up at him. You returned it before. Ji Yuan stiffened and quickly shook his head. No. With that, he said in a low voice, My name is Zhu Guangsheng. I cultivate under Elder Qin Lin of the wood type lineage. Han Wei took notes and nodded. It's done. Zhu Guangsheng turned to leave. Zhu Guangsheng, Qin Lin, Han Wei watched him leave and gently put down his ink brush. In his mind, a violent energy spread, as if it wanted to control him. Humph! With a low grunt, the sword intent in his sea of qi shook. The violent aura in his mind was instantly stirred into pieces and turned into nothingness. So no one remembers why this sword was here the last time because this sword has this aura that can erase the memories of the sword caretaker. In fact, the sword caretaker who sheathed his sword was killed by this aura. There was a deep spiritual light in his eyes, and Han Wei's expression darkened. As a fellow sword caretaker, he felt empathy for him. He wanted revenge. How did Su Yang die? Should he report this to the elder? He can, but it's not a good idea. He couldn't explain where those judgments came from. Should he kill Zhu Guangsheng directly? Not good either. Sometimes, killing people wasn't the best way to solve a problem. What was Zhu Guangsheng's motive for sending the sword back? Perhaps, the solution was in the sword pavilion. Han Wei turned to look at the long wooden shelves. The sword seemed to vibrate slightly, resonating with his eyes. Beside the sword pavilion door, there were a few dishes on the small wooden table. Han Wei, Huang Six, and El Yu Gao were sitting around. El Yu Gao could not withstand the corrosive effects of the sword qi and could only eat by the door. Han Wei was deep in thought and said nothing. Huang Six went out to stroll. When he returned, he was completely distracted. Immediately, the atmosphere became heavy. Brother, I specially chose today's meat to be extremely soft. El Yu Gao pointed at the big meat on the plate with his chopsticks and whispered ingratiatingly. Can't I, Huang Zhenxiang, even eat a piece of meat? Do I need you to choose it? Huang Six slammed the bamboo chopsticks on the table and stood up, returning to the quiet room. El Yu Gao opened his mouth and looked at Han Wei with a bitter expression. Han Wei shook his head and said, just ignore him. In the afternoon, Han Wei hid in the quiet room and refined a few batches of cloud qi pills. Every cloud qi pill obtained from refining pills with sword qi was supreme grade. Moreover, he could obtain five pills per furnace. Perhaps it was because his cultivation level had reached the essence cultivation realm, or perhaps it was because his body tempering technique had improved, but Han Wei did not feel tired at all after refining pills for the entire afternoon. When the sun set, El Yu Gao closed the door of the sword pavilion. Han Wei came out of the quiet room and saw Huang Six, who smelled of alcohol. Huang Six usually only drank before bed. He hardly drank during the day. Brother, 
what happened today? Han Wei frowned at Huang Six. Huang Six had a good personality. Although he was a little stingy, he had extremely good to Han Wei. Huang Six raised his head and looked at Han Wei with his yellow eyes. Then he shook his head and said, Hey, kid, how can a pretty boy with endless love encounters like you understand the bitterness in my heart? Endless love encounters. Pretty boy. In Huang Six's heart, was he like this? Han Wei wanted to refute, but he thought about Mu Wan and Bai Suhen, who had asked El Yu Gao to pass on a message and ask why he didn't go personally, and Chiao Ching Er, who had just come to the Sword Pavilion to apologize the day before. Was it true that he was more popular with women than Huang Six? Han Wei coughed lightly. Ahem, brother, didn't you say that there are three spiritual rocks at the foot of the mountain? It seemed that Huang Six had been holding it in for too long recently. He had to relieve himself. Little Han, am I such a person in your eyes? Huang Six glared at him. No, no, Han Wei quickly said with a smile. Huang Six shook his head and raised his hand to touch the wine gourd. He grabbed it and shook it. It was empty. He sighed, then whispered, Brad Han, do you believe in fate? Fate. Believe what fate? Han Wei wanted to shake his head, but he suddenly had an idea and forced a sincere expression. I believe you. A good listener of gossip had to master cooperation. Sure enough, Huang Six suddenly felt like he had found a confidant. He reached out and patted Han Wei's shoulder. I believe it too. Today, I saw her. Her. Han Wei's eyes lit up. He was no longer sleepy. After finding someone to confide in, Huang Six no longer felt depressed. It turned out that his hometown was a small city thousands of kilometers away from the Nine Mystic Sword Sect. More than ten years ago, a group of young people went to a cultivation sect to become disciples. Among them were men and women. The story was melodramatic. Huang Six fell in love with one of the women at first sight. However, he could only suppress his emotions. They visited a few sects together. Originally, there were seven or eight people. Some stayed in the cultivation sects, while others returned to their hometowns. That woman stayed in the sect. Huang Six was one who had returned to his hometown. So, brother, you once said that you wanted to reach the heaven realm because of this, uh, sister-in-law. Han Wei approached and asked in a low voice. Hearing him mention sister-in-law, Huang Six's already red face turned even redder. The guy was still shy. At that time, I did say that I wanted her to see me reach the heaven realm. Huang Six muttered under his breath. At this point, his shoulders trembled slightly. Then, he looked at Han Wei and lowered his voice. Brad Han, I saw Sister Ping today. It's just that she doesn't recognize me anymore. Huang Six leaned back in his chair dejectedly. He did not seem angry at all. Saw. He saw a person who had joined another sect more than ten years ago in the Nine Mystic Sword sect. Han Wei's heart skipped a beat, and he said, They're here for the gathering, right? Which sect is sister-in-law from? Clear Wind Temple. Sister Ping is now an inner sect disciple of Clear Wind Temple. Sai, she's already an inner sect disciple. I'm still an unknown sword caretaker. It's good that she doesn't know me, Huang Six sighed again. Clear Wind Temple. Han Wei had seen this name from the memories of Qin Yu and He's sword. This sect had already joined forces with the Great Spiritual Sword Sect. Han Wei's eyes narrowed slightly. Chapter 49, Do you really think that just because you are good looking, everyone will care about you? After sending the nagging Huang Six back to rest, Han Wei went to his room. As he cultivated, he thought about what Huang Six had said. Clear Wind Temple was not a large sect. The only expert in the sect was its master, Daist Dayu. He seemed to be at half-step earth realm. Even if such a sect betrayed the Nine Mystic Sword Sect, it would not be a big loss to the Sword Sect. 
but would they make a move this time during the gathering? If these people really did something, the outcome could be imagined. It wouldn't make much of a splash. Originally, Han Wei did not care what these people would do. In any case, he was in the sword pavilion and no one could find him trouble. He just did not expect these people to involve Huang Six's first love. No, it was a crush at best. Even if it was a crush, if this person was injured in the sword sect, Huang Six would probably be very sad. He could not tell Huang Six about this directly. It seemed that he had to think of a way to figure out the list of sects for the gathering and do something. He was really meant to worry. Why did he have to know everything first? In the morning, Han Wei met Huang Six in the small courtyard. Huang Six, who looked drunk, was stretching his back and legs, exercising hard. Yo, brother, you're early today. Han Wei held his sword and smiled. Morning, Huang Six turned his head as he breathed heavily. Seeing the smile on Han Wei's face, Huang Six seemed to remember something and blushed. Ahem, um, I drank too much last night and said a lot of things. Don't take it seriously, don't take it seriously, Huang Six hurriedly said with a red face. Han Wei waved his sword and nodded. What drunken words did brother say? Are you saying that becoming a Heaven Realm expert is drunk talk, or is everything about sister-in-law drunk talk? Huang Six's face was as red as a pig's liver. He reached out and took the outer rope hanging on the branch before leaving. Where are you going, brother? To eat breakfast. You're not going to look for sister-in-law. In the small courtyard, Han Wei smiled and waved his sword. The sword light began to become sharp. Invisible sword Qi began to gather. With his cultivation at the essence energy realm, even if he was only at the first level of the essence energy realm, he could be considered a proper cultivator. The sword light was very bright. Brother is safe and sound in the sword pavilion as a sword caretaker. I hope you won't affect his life. Han Wei said softly and stabbed out with his sword. Slash. A faint sword mark appeared on the stone wall ahead. In the morning, Huang Six sat behind the long table at the entrance of the sword pavilion, bored and distracted. Brother, why don't you go out for a walk? Han Wei turned to look at him. Okay Huang Six subconsciously agreed. Then he was stunned and shook his head. Forget it. I'm not going anywhere. Are you really not going? Han Wei stood up and said, if you're not going, I'll go out then. With that, he walked out of the sword pavilion. Huang Six opened his mouth and watched Han Wei walk out. After being stunned for a moment, he stood up and walked out of the pavilion. Brother, you're leaving too. At the door, El Yu Gao hurried over. I'm going to walk around. Huang Six looked up and walked down the steps with his hands behind his back. Today's meet, El Yu Gao called after him. I want the big ribs, came Huang Six's voice. You're already toothless, yet you're still gnawing on bones, El Yu Gao muttered softly as he watched Huang Six leave the sword pavilion. He turned to look at the sword pavilion door and felt the sword chi inside. He couldn't help but tremble and retract his head. He leaned against the door frame and dozed. This was how an errand in the sword pavilion was like. It was plain and unadorned. Han Wei left the sword pavilion and went straight to the trading square in front of the medical hall. Standing at the door of Sohen restaurant, he took a deep breath before striding in. Bai Sohen was not easy to deal with. After walking into the Sohen restaurant, other than Bai Sohen, there was also a female cultivator in a pink martial arts suit. The two of them were chatting happily when Han Wei walked in. The pink-dressed female cultivator immediately shut up. Bai Sohen looked up and her face lit up. My senior brother Han, you're really a rare guest. Bai Sohen's eyes lit up as she walked out from behind the counter and leaned towards Han Wei. However, after taking two steps, she saw the surprise in the eyes of the female cultivator in pink beside and stopped. Go ahead. Han Wei waved his hand and looked away. 
he was an upright person and wasn't used to flirting with Bai Suhen. Yes, after doing business for a long time, he still had to learn to get used to some things. Bai Suhen nodded and turned to whisper to the female cultivator in pink. After a while, the female cultivator quietly took out a high-grade spiritual rock and stuffed it into Bai Suhen's hand. Bai Suhen handed over a jade bottle. It's really a supreme-grade cloud chi pill. The female cultivator in pink exclaimed in surprise, then tightened her grip on the bottle and looked at Bai Suhen. Sister Bai, do you still have this pill? I'll increase the price by 1,000 spiritual rocks. 11,000 spiritual rocks each. This is much higher than the market price. The female cultivator's voice was not low. Han Wei, who was holding an herb in his hand, felt his arm tremble. 11,000 spiritual rocks for a supreme grade cloud chi pill. She paid 3,000 spiritual rocks for one and sold at 11,000 spiritual rocks, earning the difference as the middleman. What a scheming profiteer! Turning his head slightly, Han Wei's gaze met Bai Suhen's. Bai Suhen turned her head awkwardly and looked at the female cultivator in pink. She whispered, Sister Yuxia, if I still have this pill, I'll definitely sell it to you at the market price. Why would I need you to increase the price? The female cultivator nodded and put away the jade bottle. Then, she gritted her teeth and said hatefully, I wonder who from the Nine Mystic Sword sect actually broke my brother's Dao core with just a few words. Now that his cultivation has stagnated, he can't cultivate the sword Dao anymore. If not for this supreme grade pill helping him stabilize his dungeon and meridians, he would probably be crippled. If I find out who that person is, I'll break his bones. Han Wei looked curiously at the female cultivator in pink. The female cultivator's aura was solemn and she emitted a sharp sword intent. She was clearly an expert. Then her brother would probably be even more powerful. A few words could break one's Dao core? Who's that good? Hearing the pink-clothed female cultivator's words, Bai Sohan said softly, I didn't regard your brother's cultivation technique swinging the sword millions of times and crushing the mountain with one strike well. When he really swings his sword a million times and finds that he's still the same, I'm afraid he'll be even more disheartened. Swing the sword a million times. Cracking rocks and destroying mountains. Wasn't this person an outer sect instructor, Instructor Lin Shen? Those few words had broken his Dao heart. Ahem, could this lady's brother be Instructor Lin from the outer sect? Han Wei looked at the female cultivator and asked in a low voice. The female cultivator looked up at Han Wei, then turned to look at Bai Sohen. Sister Bai, watch your senior brother Han. Don't hit on any female cultivators he sees. After the female cultivator finished speaking, she glanced at Han Wei from the corner of her eye and strode out of Sohen restaurant. Do you really think that just because you're good looking, everyone will care about you? I, Lin Yuxia, don't fall for this. Han Wei shook his head and looked at Bai Sohen. Store owner Bai, shouldn't we set a new price for this cloud chi pill? Chapter 50, If They Really Have Other Intentions, Just Destroy Them The businesswoman bought at 3,000 spiritual rocks and sold them for 10,000, making a net profit of 7,000 spiritual rocks. Wasn't this a little too much? Seeing Han Wei's unfriendly expression, Bai Sohen walked over with a smile. Senior brother Han, I'm also earning hard money. The market price of a supreme grade cloud chi pill is only 4,000 to 5,000 spiritual rocks per pill. Sister Yuxia only increased the price because she needed it urgently. How about this? I won't earn anything from her. I'll give you all of it. How about that? Bai Sohan handed a high grade spiritual rock to Han Wei reluctantly. Han Wei took the spiritual rock and stuffed it into his pocket. Then he said coldly, Most people who buy supreme grade pills are in urgent need, right? Bai Sohan's smile froze and she didn't answer. Han Wei took out two small jade bottles and placed them on the counter. I charge you at half the cost. 5,000 spiritual rocks each. 
you will pay for all the herbs. Five thousand spiritual rocks meant that the price was almost doubled. Bai Sohan had a bitter expression and was about to speak when Han Wei retracted his hand. Do you want it? If you don't want it, I'll take it and our agreement is void. He turned to walk out of Sohan restaurant. Yes, yes, I want. Bai Sohan grabbed his arm, her eyes filled with desire. Senior brother, I want. Whatever you say. It's a deal, right? Fifteen minutes later, Han Wei left Sohan restaurant in satisfaction with eleven high-grade spiritual rocks in his arms. He even asked Bai Sohan to keep an eye out and ask about the sex that had come to the Nine Mystic Sword sex gathering. At the same time, she should also pay attention to whether there were any sects that had ill intentions towards the Nine Mystic Sword sect. This made Bai Sohan say that he was worried for the sect elders. Han Wei couldn't be bothered to stay in Sohan restaurant for too long. He kept the spiritual rocks and left. His pocket felt very heavy and solid, but he was considering if he should get a ring that could store items like Bai Sohan. This item wasn't cheap. Why don't he think of a way to get Bai Sohan's? Are you senior brother Han from the Sword Pavilion? Han Wei looked up and saw a female cultivator standing in front of him. Jin Yuan. It was the one who had seen through that he would not live for more than seven days. Han Wei felt that he had survived thanks to Jin Yuan's reminder. So it's Lady Jin Yuan. Han Wei cupped his hands. You're not dead. No, has the problem of your lifespan been resolved? Jin Yuan sized up Han Wei and muttered. Was she very surprised that he wasn't dead? Ahem, lady, thanks for your concern. I don't have to worry about my lifespan for the time being, Han Wei said. If his body could not balance with the power of the sword intent, his lifespan would still be affected. In other words, he could still withstand it for the time being. Jin Yuan nodded and said in a low voice, It's good that you don't have to worry. Junior sister Mu Wan has been worried about your lifespan. Mu Wan. Han Wei hurriedly said, Lady, do you know how is junior sister Mu Wan at the sect and why did she join the sect? There were cases of cultivators changing sex, but not many. Even if an alchemy cultivator like Mu Wan did not care about being valued in the sect, she would not change sex for no reason. You don't know. Jin Yuan frowned and said in a low voice, The Mu family is an alchemy family. Junior sister Mu Wan's direct ancestor is a powerful alchemist who can refine sixth grade pills. The disciples of the Mu family are not restricted when cultivating in the various sections. Sixth grade pill. Han Wei, who had some understanding of alchemy, naturally knew how precious a sixth grade pill was. A sixth grade pill was extremely important even to a heaven realm expert. An alchemist who could refine a sixth grade pill had the same status as a heaven realm expert. No wonder the disciples of the Mu family could cultivate at will in the various sects. Which sect would not give face to the Mu family's ancestor? Thinking of Huang Six's previous matchmaking, Han Wei's heart trembled. Was the Mu family's ancestor that impressive? How great would it be to be related? Mu Wan was such a good girl. How could he have missed her? Jin Yuan stopped talking and walked past Han Wei. After taking a few steps, she suddenly turned around and said, Senior brother Han, my master will definitely be curious about how you solved your lifespan issue. If you have time, you can come to the waterside residence to take a look. At the waterside residence lived Elder Sol Yang. Han Wei nodded and said, Thank you for the reminder, lady. I'll definitely go when I'm free. This elder Sol Yang was the only person in the Nine Mystic Sword sect who could refine pills that could increase lifespan. If he could build a relationship with her, it would definitely be useful. After leaving the market, Han Wei went straight to the inner sect. He did not know many people in the Nine Mystic Sword sect. Currently, the one with the highest status was probably Tuba Cheng of Three Stones House. As for the Sword Pavilion Elder, he had not been down to the third floor for a few days. How could he be in charge of the sect? When he arrived at Three Stones House, 
Zhao Piyu was not around. He directly asked to see Tua Cheng. After climbing up the wooden building, the tall Tua Cheng laughed. Little Han, are you too free at the sword pavilion and can't take it? Back then, we were all cultivating diligently. Only your elder Gao kept shouting that he was bored to death. Although he had nothing to do in the sword pavilion, he did not have nothing to do. At least Han Wei was willing to polish the words every day and nurture his sword qi. Uncle Master, I'm here to report something. Han Wei cupped his hands, then told him what he had made up. He was talking about the last time he left the sect with Mo Yuan. When he was intercepted by the disciples of the great spiritual sword sect in the Mo family, a myriad sword elder saved him. Among them, they accidentally heard from the people of the great spiritual sword sect that they had already instigated several sects to defect. I didn't hear it too clearly at the time. I only remember the Suyang sect. By the way, I wonder if their sect master's name is Lu Lishan. Han Wei modified the information he had obtained from Qin Yuanhe's sword and explained. Lu Lishan? He's indeed the sect master of the Suyang sect. Tua Cheng frowned, then his eyes flickered. However, a few small sects have been attached to our nine mystic sword sect in the past. Seeing that they are obedient, they did not take actions. If they really have other intentions, we'll just destroy them. There was no killing intent in Tua Cheng's words, as if he was talking about an ordinary matter. Uncle Master, when I was in the outer sect yesterday, I heard that the Nine Mystic Sword Sect gathered the neighboring sections. Someone from the Suyang Sect has also come to the Nine Mystic Mountain. Han Wei spoke softly. He came to the Nine Mystic Mountain. An indescribable power finally rose from Tua Cheng. All right, I understand. He waved his hand and spoke calmly. Han Wei cupped his hands and turned to go downstairs. It was done. As long as Tua Cheng took action himself or the sect took action and directly destroyed the Suyang sect, he believed that he could definitely make an example of them. The other participating sects definitely did not dare to take actions rashly. This way, Huang Six's secret lover would not be hurt on the Nine Mystic Mountain. As for the future, that could wait. After wandering around, it was already afternoon when Han Wei returned to the Sword Pavilion. As soon as he reached the door of the sword pavilion, El Yu Gao welcomed him. Senior brother Han, a few senior brothers from the inner and outer sect came to bid farewell to you just now. They left when you weren't around. Farewell. It seemed that Zhao Yuzi and Zhang Han had left the sect to complete the mission to eliminate the Three Qin Sword Sect. Their mission this time is to eliminate the Three Qin Sword Sect. Their leader is the Deacon Elder, Su Yuan. It's said that the fire-type lineage has sent out a large number of experts this time to avenge the thirteen fellow disciples who died last time. El Yukao told him everything he had heard.